tight Wanna let it go, wanna make them all fight Wanna make control, wanna model my mind Wanna gotta live, wanna gotta die mobile game stations and art station featuring our friends from Wacom. And on the opposite side, we, ha we have our mini exhibit featuring the many works of our iAcademy students. This event would not be possible without our partners and collaborators. We'd like to thank our partners and collaborators, Red Dragon Philippines, MSI, Wacom, Capture Candid Studio, The Good Scent, Eno Perfumes, Timepers PH, Cat DG Shop, Lacom Cafe. Season Pass, Siesta Press, Apple Studios, Ada's Confectionery, and Aspect Prints. If you are interested in joining iAcademy and joining the Game Changers, visit our admissions booth to know more about our specialized senior high school and college programs. But today, we have the day two of the Valorant tournament that will start in a few minutes. Zed, how excited are you for this? Considering these two teams, Deviants and Untamable Beast, who, will we, who we will be introducing in a few minutes, I'm excited. We've I'm seen excited. them before. We know they're good. Now let's see who actually comes out on top. So yeah, well, stay tuned within three minutes because that is when the last quarterfinal game will begin. See you there. Introducing the two teams for our final quarterfinals game for today. Untamable Beasts versus Deviants. On the side of Untamable Beasts, we have Unlimited Riz, Tekibe, Humble God, Dinkle, and Elsie Maki. And on the other side, Deviants, who have Linus, Jack White, JNXD Hades, The Levatron, and Axis. So these are the three maps that we currently have for this match. We have Ice Icebox, Pearl, and Lotus. Very different from the last maps we saw yesterday, uh, except for Icebox. That is a, something that we saw in the last match yesterday. And it's a very intense map, I'd like to think. These are a bunch of new maps yep. that... Yeah, in the newer end of the Valorant map rotation, I would say. I would say that I'm most interested in seeking a... Hopefully, reaching all the way to map 3 in Lotus. Lotus. You're excited for Lotus? Yeah, seeing as it's one of the... It's actually the newest map yeah. of the Valorant map pool. I'm interested to see how these th two teams have get learned. ready for Lotus. Yeah, like how prepared they are, how much they really know about the map, whether that be lineups for their agents, or just the experience, right? Because when you're in a firefight, it's important to know where you are, where are the places your enemy could be hiding, right? It comes down to experience in these maps, how comfortable you are. So that's why picking these maps so early or before the match officially begins is so important. You have to map it out. Can you win at Icebox? Can you win at Pearl? And can you finally win at Lotus? Because each team gets a pick. Each team gets a pick of their maps. For um, Untable Beast, they have Icebox. Deviants have Pearl. But for both of them, are they going to be able to win at Lotus? So that's going to be the question we're looking at, assuming they both win their respective maps. And now we're already at the agent select for the first match uh, of the day. And Table beasts ready have they're already hovering all their agents. <laughs> they're hovering a they're bunch ready, of duelists. Ready, unlimited Ray is ready looking on that. The Yoru's right there for Humble God. Okay. But okay. it seems like <laughs> they were just having fun. I think seems they, like we'll, yeah. we'll probably get some of the more standard comps here in Icebox, having 
a Killjoy and we're still waiting on the side of Deviants on who they want to pick for their team. So I mean with Icebox, you definitely want to have utility to be able to even enter sites like sites like A where you're going to need it as well. Um, Jet is also pretty good here. There's a lot of verticality within the map. So we're going to have to see Humble God blocks in the raise that we have Viper. Then we also have Reyna. So like here, double duelist on the side of Untamable Beasts. And we get a Killjoy as well. Seems that they're going for a mix-up of, of an agent that's been usually played here along with a a bit of a different way going with the double duelist. However, we Select did see this agent. yesterday and mm. unfortunately it did not pan out well. I mean, this is a totally different team. They may be better. They have maybe a better way of using it, better plans. Maybe they're just better as well as a player. But we also have maybe potentially double duelist on the side of Deviants here. And they finally lock Deviants in. are going Ooh. for the same comp as well. It's going oh. to be a m battle a of mastery for this mirror match. Yeah, it's a mirror match on Icebox. Okay, I've never seen that. I usually see always one like agent like different, right? I, I haven't seen much of a mirror match, so it's going to be really interesting. So they have all the exact same tools. It's going to be really up to the players to be make, being the difference maker in getting that win. There's going to be no different agents with their alter utility that's going to set you apart. It's going to be all on how you use it. So defending is deviant and untamable, untamable beasts are on the attack. And we're going to see how that pans out. And we're still on the loading screen. And now we're here. This is going to be the first round of the quarterfinals. Hello. And they're going to be able to go Hello. out and just prepare for 30 seconds because I Hello. just realized there's a time. <laughs> there's going to be a period in time where they're just... Oh, good luck. Have fun. We have quite sportsmanship on Deviants, giving them a... <laughs> Do you see the text chat? Good luck. Have fun. Ooh, good luck from Dinkle. I think this is just good sportsmanship all around on both sides. And For the mirror matchup in yeah. this set, uh, in this map, it'll all go boil down to who has the better setup and who yeah. can use their abilities and utilities better. Yeah, so obviously in Icebox, it's not really that different where a lot of people usually just go in and I don't think there's going to be any different. You look how they're going to be set up. They're actually Revealing area. kind of relinquishing control early. They might be playing for a retake here, but it's a pistol round. So let's see how this pans out. They're going to go forward, but they will be since ready and be able to claim some space. Not much of resistance, but the fiber wall does dissuade them from completely rushing in. Because they don't know where everyone is. The green lead comes out to Humble God, making sure they go out to the side. And Axis is ready by the Raptor. I think the Shock Dart caught a lot of people there to be able to go to 4 10. So they're going to go past the wall, and no, no one's dead just yet. They can get some small damage, but Hades gets the Tracer 1 for 1. Maki gets a kill with the Shock Dart. He's jumping in, he's happy. One enemy the remaining. But it's going out to the side of a team of the Beast. one for left, and they win the first round. Humble God went unchecked there. They're able to get at least two of them before going down. That was a very sort of fast how this chaos unfolds and at the end of the day it was untamable beast that just goes out on top and unfortunately, unfortunately yeah that's just how the shots just don't land so yeah for untamable beast it's expected for them to win this next round in round two with all the guns they're presumably going to be able to have but there's always you don't always count out the other team if they haven't won because they could be thrifty with it they could find ways find weak Revealing area. be able to kill them if they if they start to predict their movements and where they're going to attack but i don't think there could be any difference here they are now going to again the viper wall cuts them off but then she slows them down but you already see here there's two viper walls blocked on both sides and then we have to with the classic, but hasn't been able to pick up the spectrum. One enemy remaining. But Avatar gets a headshot, and there's only one person left. And now he gets gunned up by Tekibe on the other side, at the flank, and they get another win, 2-0. Pretty standard. We were expecting a 2-0. It seems yeah. they were able to convert. But now we're gonna have to go to a bonus, where one side has rifles and one side has the weaker buy. Yeah, so this is when things... Oh, are, but it oh. seems that they, most of them actually went for a Vandal and Phantom. Mm. So this isn't a bonus round. This is a rifle v rifle with the exception of the key base still having that Spectre. 
Yeah, so we're gonna see, see how this can pan out. I wanna see if there's any adaptation on the side of Deviants, because right now, they've been able to enter A, and they weren't been able to stop them on both rounds. So I wanna see how they're gonna adjust. Are they going to be pushing and controlling other sides of the map? Are they gonna change their setup for a bit? Are they getting ready? You see they're gonna be entering troop here in the kitchen, and see if there's any sort of resistance, but Dinkle's already pushing forward as the Viper. And see if we're shooting. Spike down A. Deviants, but the Deviants is able to kill back Satchel and now they're gonna be able to Ready in there. this side? No, they're not. They're still going through. They're trying to push to be four. And right now, I think they're going to be able here. to just... They have to relax. They're probably going to back off and find any weaknesses in in their defenses. Last oh, player so standing. Headshot immediately by Jack White. Hamble God is the only, the, the only person left. And right now, we're going to see if he's going to be able to do anything about it. But Humble God has been able to show he can frag out. Can get another kill? Into mid. You're not going to kill him. He's just holding that angle, trying to see if he can get him. Now he's gonna back off. He has 40 seconds. He has time to work with. He has time to cook. He's now able to. He's gonna. He's gonna go towards B. Seems that unfortunately the aggression there from Untamable Beast backfired. They lose yeah. a lot of members Ooh, but with Lavatron. Lavatron finishing this round off. Yeah, he was just. That's a good win. Good dub for them. And I think it was really good. They were prepared. They were able to kill them on not just A, but also preparing for the attack of the two. And that was, that was just a good round for them. They were able to win the firefights, kill them, and sort of use century. their numbers advantage to kill the rest. Untamable Beasts went for a different setup. But however, it seems that Deviance was just better prepared for that attack. Yeah, so I want to see what else has to be done here this time. They're, they're, so now it's a 3-2, yeah, or a 2-1-2 two, two, rather. One and four. And four. You see people are starting moving from the bridge. He goes closer towards mid, shooting through the smoke, but not able to do anything. But the mid, he God gets a kill with the Marshall, the Jack White. Hey, I think they're going to be able to push forward with not much issue. The Viper Wall goes after the split in the second half, but it doesn't persuade them. There's no one here. They're going to be able to you know, jump in the after this. But oh, Lapatron shoots through the, through the wall and gets a kill. Okay, Humble God is on. Is on one of the walls. Ah, he's just in the corner, but Hades flicks into the left. Is able to get the kill. It's a four for me. Axis finds him in the mid. Is able to kill him. Now it's going to be the one left. Does not get another kill? There's one person left. They're going to be able to hunt, that, hunt, hunt him down. But the spike is going on. And he's going to be able to Can he be able to cut him down? No way he is. He shoot him through the wall. He's going to have to go down. And he goes down. And I think it's just going to be due to there's still enough time for the defuse. Unfortunately, there for Untamable Beast, while they were able to get the site for free, it seems that most of them either just lost the gunfight or were simply caught off guard. So right now, we're gonna look at the guns here, and I think obviously from from the previous wins, Evians has the advantage based on having rifles, and I think right now, in this case, Untamable, Untamable Beast do not have much equipment. I believe Untamable Beast have grenade. a classic. Yeah, I think they are more than this round. Classic marshals. Yeah, yes. shar uh, sheriffs as well. So they could give it a shot, see what they're going to do. And I think in this round, they're going to go something a bit more unorthodox. So I think they're going to all... Um, I have this man in actually go to B this time. The radar goes out. And let's see if it catches anyone. Does it catch Jack White? Oh, it does actually. But Axe gets the first kill to do. Viper versus Viper. Humble got it made looking for someone, but hasn't been able to kill anyone before she with the sheriff. So... The advantage is on the side of Deviants who were able to get a kill, but they did have the advantage in guns. So I think they're gonna play it slower. They're gonna see if they can find anyone. And right now I think they're looking towards A as a potential site to go through. However, but Killjoy turned it detects yeah. Maki uh, during oh, the jump, but Humble God, God with the one tap on Jack White. Maybe this dissuades Dissuades them from keep going forward. They have to vandal, that's for sure. I think that's huge for someone like Humble God to have, where he doesn't have to rely on the But 18 HP is not enough. Oh, ahead. but Linus gets two kills at B main, and now Maki is alone. Just he has to re has to relocate gold with Techie Base because this is they have to regroup to find a way to push themselves into a site and start will backing. the two killjoys meet in mid? Oh, they will. Oh, Maki, Maki though gets Linus. Has 30 seconds left. How much? How do you want to play this? 30 seconds left. Yeah, back at the default. Like Blanton. Okay, he's going to be back off. Maki just there in the corner. Will be able to get him? No, he doesn't. AD speaks through and is able to shoot him. This is going to be 3-2 in Deviants, winning three rounds in a row. Good adaptation so far from the Deviants. It seems that they finally read how Untamable Beasts want to proceed with this game. Yeah, and 
that round, though, they did have a lot of disadvantages in terms of their guns. So, we, once again, um, defense have to stay on their toes because right now they are going to be in equal footing. Both of them have rifles. So, I want to see what done they will be start feeling. Do, do you feel like they can again go through A? Are they going to play slower? Going to look for picks? Uh, go to tree, go to kitchen, go for flanks? Are they going to go to B? We're going to see how that unfolds now that they have the best chance of winning a round due to their guns. So, I think. Okay, it looks like they're gonna be set up for A. And we see we have two two people at the revealing area. I believe with the old economy they currently have, they are going to be able to push this site fairly free if they decide to the use their own. You should run. Here comes the killjoy ult. I mean it's good, it has to push all the defenders out. There's no hope to destroy the killjoy ult. The killjoy ult, so they're gonna have to be able to run in and plant as they can. They have a few seconds and to be able to plant, but they're gonna to retake. But I think the deviants have are on a timer. Especially as the plant goes down. Let me begin. Spike planted. They have gotten Jack White. Oh. They have a counter. Nowhere to run. And the ult is going through. Axe, we're looking at the Raptor. And it's basically trade one for one. And right now, the ult is not going to be tied anymore. Oh, the player is standing. The back, let me do risk. It's another. It's going to be an advantage for a little bit. Axe is just there. I think he's surrounded, though. He's behind him. He's getting shot. Maki gets the kill. And now we're going to 3-3. Once again, if there's going to be a back and forth, this is going we're going to have a match in our hands. Beautiful use of their ultimate ultimates there by un uh, unthinkable beast. So the defender Gildroy, I think, actually was very problematic for the side of uh, they will beast, but they were able to pull it back actually, where I think they moved out or either destroyed it. There, it was really fast, but they're able to kill most of the members and. Despite the alts being used, they were able to secure the site early. Um, they use what they can and they were able to win the round based on that control on that space and killing the killing the enemies they saw. So unfortunately there for Deviants earlier, they did not have the Sova ult to deny Killjoy ult. However, Untamable Beast did have it. Unlimited Riz against Jack White. Who will win this gunfight? The name does get to Unlimited Riz. Jack White backs off. We'll see if the, yeah, Kills are seeing a tape to see if there's anyone lurking and telling teammates, hey, there's no one here just yet. We can relax. If B seems too difficult, let's go either through mid or through A. They're still playing yeah. for info. They're waiting to see if there's anyone that is overextended or someone that's trying to lurk, trying to flank them. That could be able to go forward. Hasn't yeah. found any conflict just yet or any contact. So he's just going to relax, going to go slowly into A, but it's going to have to be careful of rafters if someone's there. That could be just looking, looking at the angle, speaking. Not much yet. And waiting for their teammates. And I think they're gonna walk forward now. Both sides don't necessarily know where the other is just yet. Linus gets first contact where he tells them there's someone in. Their and it's probably an aim. The blind goes out, but it's immediately shot down. Linus with the Guardians. He's just gonna catch anyone, but gets shot down by the oh, oh, so quickly. And they're gonna be able to plant it. Uh, the ult goes out and kills Mafi. Hades able to get it. Humble got it. Attack. 30 Control. seconds left. Right there. Spike and planted. And gonna have to move back to A. He runs out the bullets and I have it. And the rocket launcher is not killed. They don't have it. He's still alive. He gets one through the wall in the corner. And then it's last two player two. standing. There's one person left in the side of the table. It's Nekebe. Is he going to be able to do anything? They're shooting him. They already know he's at net. One he's enemy remains. He gets one though. Can he get another? He's trying to defuse. He's the one on the timer. He's moving left and right. This is the good post plan position for Nekebe. He's just playing with him. Playing with him. But he's able to get this. They're just shooting through the wall. And the time is going. And he has to be ready. enough to not stick the defuse. Yeah, Unfortunately, I mean, he also wins the gun. Difficult. That's such a difficult position. I do like how they planted that. Because there's no way. Right? You either shoot him in the wall, hope to kill him, and if he defuse, you're right open to get shot. So that was a good plan. And just Nekabe having the patience to not die and just stay there and not get picked off so that they can secure that round. Standing ahead. A bit of a weaker buy here for Deviants now. And I mean, Beasts could take their momentum forward with this round. Yeah, Riz is going to push forward. Right now, they're disadvantaged with guns. So it's going to be very hard to win. They're going to have to look for Mix, pick up the guns. Riz is not able to fight the guy next to him. Staying at the corner, get shot with the margin from Jack White. But no death just yet. The plan is going down. They have to push it. Fight Not able to find anyone. Green is on. Trying to run out of the way. Oh my god, get the first blood. on 
the side of Unlego, gaining some more momentum, getting another two. Crazy tip from Jack Wyatt, typing it all, trying to, <laughs> trying to make a bit of a joke with their friends and with the team and the enemy. Humble God. Um, Humble God there with an the insane 4K. Unfortunately, yeah. he was just not looking for the fifth kill and gets killed instead. Yeah, but now we have a rifle versus rifle round. Let's see if Deviants can stop so this momentum still, being built I by unflammable beasts. Go through a, I don't think they'll necessarily change anything. I don't think they feel too pressured off it. Nothing. It, it's been going well thus far. So we're going to see. Humble God has always been pushing these, uh, going, uh, pushing in and entrying. So nothing else has bad, bad has happened Sounds yet. Oh, he's jumping into the air. Oh. He was able to kill him, but Humble God just running it under his dice. Humble God's going to get for Untamable Beasts. Well played there, by As you can see, Humble God leading the charge, getting a 3k right off the bat, with Dinkles keep being... being unbound for the entirety of this round. He gets the flank and pincers both of them. Humble God feels ve looks very comfortable on this race, being able to just jump in with the jump packs, get create space for his team, and rush in and get kills. That's what you want from the entry dagger. And uh, once again, I think this is going to go through. Eh, not much of an issue. Axis already here, looking at me, but then she might flank with it. And uh, maybe they have a different setup. They're already pushing forward, actually. They were, they're both very needed from that, but they haven't died just yet. But both of them, oh god, get the ready too! So early in the round! Perfectly played there by Untamable Beast. Humble God throwing a nade to ensure that even if, say, Unlimited Riz loses that gunfight, the nades are still guaranteed to kill. I mean, at this point, we might see more of the same. We might keep going A um, until they are stopped, which I I wouldn't put it back them. Dance. Um, but I think at some point, Deviants uh, have to make the adjustment or just try to commit to a side, make them play differently. And the fight, that's exactly what I'm talking about, the adaptation is the fight for all. But Humble God goes in anyway! He takes the knife to one! What is he doing? Oh, Linus gets to kill Humble God! Oh, yes. Humble, Humble God did a bit of a poor fun jump there, but let's see if this damages his team. Yeah. Axis hit really low now inside her own ultimate. Linus gets a kill. Linus has three kills this time. I think Deviants might be able to win this. Axis is... Oh, they see, does they see, see each other. Oh, but he gets a final here. Okay, Spike Axis is like in row here. But Can uh, Maki get a 1v3 here? I mean, uh, on the road, but Jack White gets it. <laughs> Humble God jump packing in with a knife. <laughs> I think that's a habit Last of his, round right? before He's the done, switch. I've heard he done, has done before in previous things. I don't know if it is a habit or if that was by accident because it felt like Thanks. when he jumped in, he was kind of surprised I, that I, he I had the knife so out. It looks so intentional, though. It looks so intentional. But maybe you give the benefit of that to Humble God. As, uh, it's trying to maybe it's maybe he jumped back and then realized it would be too late to pull out the gun, so he tried to go. He's just trying to fit instead. It's too late, so just have the. Now though, last round before the swap. Uh, if you're a fan of Deviants, you're gonna wish they can go five seven here, to give them a, a bit of a softer advantage, uh, softer of chances of getting back into this game yeah, in the next half. Jack White with his first blood on eBay though. Axe is trying to hold this B side all on her own. Gets one. Unlimited Drizzt though, trades it. Yeah, the wall is now Jack White, oh, yeah. Humble God, finds the flank in Jack White and gets the kill. Defender Killjoy also comes out beat. and Spike Last is dropped. Linus gets one on Humble God as well. Unlimited Riz with a 1v2 now. Oh, one enemy is, oh it gets Levitron, oh, 1v1. However, he's really low against oh, Linus. Oh. Oh. It. That's that's what we're looking for if you're in the side of Deviants of 5-7 enter into the next round. Not a switching side after how it felt like domination in such a few rounds. Unlimited Riz was unfortunately looking at the wrong side. Linus is already creeping over headshots. That was a defender's win. 5-7 with Antimo Beast winning so far. But there's only two rounds.
around the win, you can uh, through, through round lead. You can't really be comfortable with that. You have to keep going. You can't just let up because potentially they could go for a comeback. Here. Now we want to see with... We've seen Humble God play really aggressive on the attacking side. We're gonna want to see if he remains that... If he keeps that aggression in the defending side or if they play a bit more laid back. Seems for Deviants though, similarly to Antemo Beast, they're going to A again. Levatron with the first blood on unlimited risk contact is found that's mid though. Humble God gets access to the traded by Jack White. Mega base ready down to 69, cross from the shot dart. He is able to find him just a bit, but doesn't go for a kill. It's only a 4BT thus far. Deviants does have the advantage, but they're really the Levatron though. Ooh, detected by the alarm bot. This this bait untamable beast to rotate. No, it is not the right there. Dinko gets lined down. Beat. Jack White throws a nade in. Almost gets hit by her own nade. Elsie Maki though with a kill on Levatron back over at mid. 2v2 so though, but both Enemy are incredibly hit. low. The radar comes out. Not able to spot in them just yet. And I don't think it spotted them, nor did they shoot it. So they're trying to retrack any information. But Maki's about to go over to be able to see him. But doesn't hit anything. It is the pistol round, so we're gonna oh, see how this goes. He goes down to the Hades. He actually wants a gunfight. Jack White gonna be a bit pressured here, but now they have the numbers advantage. Gonna go to the max. Uh, shot back. Doesn't catch anyone. That could be at 39. And but the rest of uh, um, the, the attacking side doesn't have a lot of HP. Six HP. That could be. He's gonna have to push forward. Doesn't find anyone. But he's uh, taking pressure. And Jack White here, is able to get him. And they're able now to go to six seven after the plan. Numbers. Unfortunately, even though they were really low, they played around getting those individual 2v1s instead of fighting 2v2 and it works out for them. That Kakebe had to watch and it was just really difficult for him to get that. Um, at that point, I think it's okay for a loss. You look at the Humble God with 18 kills, but then we have to point out the difference in guns. They have, um, Unlimited Risk does have the Sheriff, but then she could one-tap someone if he's feeling it, but defense has the advantage just based on their guns. And they're all looking. I think they're gonna be all using their utility here. Viper throws a grenade over. Gonna use the wall, split the site in half, covering them. And they're gonna be able to go over That was the go jump over. But Lamaki gets the first kill. Maybe gets one. Maybe gets two. No, he doesn't. He runs out of ammo. He's gonna use the ghost, but the one on the other. He's just trading a little bit of risk. Getting Spike kills on the sheriff, a. saying that he can't enter this town. A 3v2. Jack White's gonna have to retreat. Levitron's watch the flank. Risk is gonna shoot into. Sorry, he's gonna shoot into the wall, not able to find anyone. And I think they're just gonna relax, go towards mid. Unfortunately for Deviants there, even though Untamable Beasts had the weaker bias, they were able to get more off of that oh, bush. Humble God? There's gonna be Humble God here. get more. There's gonna be God. He oh, misses one, he misses three, Jack White gets the kill. 2v2, yeah. they, they know where they are though, they know they're at mid. Will, will Deviants simply push all the way to B and get a plant off? Nickel's gonna go through kitchen here, look at They out. hear it, they know it's B. 30 seconds Jack left. Jack White pushing. Big go. 2v1 standing. here. Oh, 1v1. Unlimited risk. Oh, Riz. He does it. That shows like how that he has it. He has the Riz. He unlimited has Riz. Riz. Getting the 4k Riz. with the a sheriff. Not even changing guns Riz. up until now. Riz. Confident Riz. with that one tap of his. Stay alive. Yeah, now I they have to run. They hold on to that. Riz just pulling all use. I, I pointed out he had the sheriff. I was thinking he could one tap people, and he was able to just make use of it and kill four members of Deviant so quickly and so fast. Um, Unfortunately, there for Deviants, they weren't able to convert yeah, the not three rounds. Yeah, that's really unfortunate. Now they have Hard a weaker out. buy, but it's still doable. <laughs> See how this goes. They're setting up towards A. You look Viper is like positioned very really aggressively. Ready. Has the wall already split up at A. Humble God goes in. Oh, he's just gets running one. In. He gets one. Oh, he gets two. He gets two. He gets three. three. And he gets five. He gets four. Oh, oh, he's not able to get it. But that was so quick. That was one of the fastest rounds of the tournament. Humble God just says, I'm going to end this round. It was, it was a combination of both Humble God and Unlimited Riz. As you can see, Humble God just... Running in with unlimited Riz, unlimited Riz throwing the blood.
humble god. Get the fourth Riz got the other two. And um limited Riz and Humble God are just they're top ranked. They this is why they're the duelists. This is why they're the this is why they're the duelists. This, this is why you run double duelists. <laughs> this is what they, when you have two really good players that can aim and kill people, you want to have two duelists. Now how do <laughs> Deviants out. want to play this? He's trying to storm out and come back. Oh, he gets oh, one on the oh, he gets his other Dude. Jack White is giving them the uh, taste of their own medicine, going into uh, going to catch oh, it. Man, yeah. I think they're gonna be able to get a lot of control. They're gonna immediately rush into B. And Dinkle though, Dinkle's is right he there. ready for this? Oh, he hears he it. He gets one, one. Oh, but, but gets traded. Back. Player standing. Hades though finds Maki. Four v one. Can Takibe bring this back for his team? Spike planted. Okay, he's walking in, I, but this is a lot of pressure. Oh, oh, Hades with the watching. pixel shot. Now 7-9 now. The Evans were able to treat We are strong round. because we are together. Not let, they're Don't not forget letting that. them get another round off them. Not allowing them to get a three round lead. And I think that's so important right now. Or a four round lead ladder, or, or rather. And I think they keep st sticking with it. We're so close to match point. But <laughs> it seems to be a battle of the races. Who can go, go in better? Yeah. Jack White versus Humble God. I think Humble God just so definitively rushing at them, killing them. But you see, they're going for a split here. Yeah, Maybe they're up. getting up. They're trying to bait the other team onto A. However, the Killjoy setup is in B. He can stall as long as he wants. The, the Viper wall here is splitting up. Oh, Dinkel gets dangerous. one on Hades. Find someone, but Jack White with the kill. Now I think they'll be able to rush into the just based off that pick. Jack White can jump back and he's going to space. He has the ultimate, doesn't find anyone just yet. But it can be one person. He's about to come out. Does he know? He might get jumped from behind, but he's able to live. But no humble god. He's in the frame. And Linus, he has to run away. The last player standing. Humble god gets flee. Levatron, it's all on him. Another 1v4 for the Killjoy. Oh, on the, the other line. side now. Oh, but Humble God finishes it off with a 4k. That's a step. Oh, 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 even shocking. <laughs> Don't he made. Oh, oh. Oh, ah. Uh. Uh, yeah, they're just using their util. They're just having some fun. And now it's 7 10. And just making that was a very good win on the side of Untamable Beast. That was very strong, very decisive as they move in and is able to hunt them down. And I think they catch them off the road. They catch them into places they weren't expecting. And we're gonna see if uh, Deviance is able to find a different mode of attack here. They're looking at, they're now gonna stack A. Maybe they're gonna commit to this rather than trying to split up from B to A and see if there's any different. Perhaps the idea is to rush in with the Viper ult immediately you after. You have the Viper ult. So it However, is, if yeah. you look at the at the side of Untamable Beast, they do have the Razor to dissuade any sort of push. Enemy mark. It depends if there's a way to use it though, but he Let's drops the, the gun. gun. He's revealed. He's gonna run for it. Hades might be able to catch one, but only sees the turret. Jack, Jack White, White with first blood onto Dinkle there. Maybe this makes them go to B. No, it does oh, not. Oh, they were splitting up, but they were able to oh, kill. Oh, with Unlimited Drizz with one on Hades. Battle of the oh. Killjoys. Levatron wins it. Is this a free site? Do they go for it? No, they don't. They're going to room mid. Right, Let's see who wins. Right here. Ooh, Ooh, Linus though gets a kill on Maki. Now mid is free. Completely free for all of them. But remember, the spike is on axe. They're all separated though. Humble God finds spike the, down, the spike B. holder. Now, this is going to be a weird sort of situation here. The spike is split up from the rest of the Last attackers. Last player the standing. Units, and Humble God's going to rest on his laurels. He's going to be just relaxing here. He's going to guard the spike. And I think he'll be able to stop them. Humble God with a 1v3 chance here. Oh, but, but he gets, gets shut Linus. down by Linus. That was just quick. Despite the spike being dropped so early, so away from his team. Uh, they were able to finish up. He was just one person, but it was Humble God. So I was expecting more. Like maybe he wasn't able to hold out for a one uh, one v three, but sometimes you can't get that. And um, why I did say earlier stacking A, but they did off. They're able to get some picks. They're able to get some kills. And Maki was pushing forward and making it towards me. It gets caught off from uh, not Maki. Sorry, I think it was coming back. He's pushing forward and he gets killed. So that's something that um, they were getting picks. They're getting kills around the map. So. Oh, oh, he's going to go in. Jack White can't look at the tube, doesn't find anyone. Location revealed through the recon ball, though. Maki patiently waiting here at mid with the Killjoy turret at his side. Jack White. 
Viper ultimate the death A though to dissuade any kind of push there. Jack White gets one on Ebay, is being pushed out in mid. They know he's there in tubes. Jack White is screaming for help. <laughs> he has 20 HP. He has backup now though. Spike down, down mid. Back. Back. 4v3 with the Viper ult still at A. I think this is just an automatic just go B. Because of the Viper ult. Actually, I don't think so. Seems I that they're going through a different... They're going with a different idea here. Contact at mid. Ooh. Unlimited risk one. caught with the knife out. Now can they push this Viper ult? Oh, oh, the Viper ult falls down and is able to... Uh, Pinkle is found. In. Yeah, I, Humble I think God with he another one before. I think he was trying to flank them or, or, or something, but he didn't want to hold the. Perhaps the they saw that they were already rotating to be and wanted to go for a flank, but unfortunately, it works Humble against God him. Humble God has to do this one before. Uh, but but Humble God found. Him, but, he but he gets killed by Axis, and now it's nine ten. They're bringing it back. This might be. This wouldn't be such a decisive win just yet for Untable Beast. They still are going for it. Deviants are putting up a good show on attack. Beautiful use there, uh, beautiful idea there with the Viper ult at A. However, it just seems that they were found, unfortunately. So, yep, Axis look in the eyes of uh, Grace. Just chilling, relaxing, and spike down. And see, they're moving around. This seems to be a round that the Deviants can go in and simply win the round. Based on oh, old economy, go forward. the limit is goes a bit forward. Oh, oh but he gets that. Oh, he gets he barely he dodges it. Jack White, though, very aggressive once again. Does Dinkle oh. know? He knows. Oh, However, Dinkle, Dinkle simply with wins bulldog. with the Bulldog. Now that's, I think that's gonna be a huge pick and Dinko oh, now gets out a Vandal. Oh, Unlimited Riz though, is he, is he known? Is he's he known? Zed. He's not! He gets one on Hades, he runs away. He uses a dismiss. Oh, another one. Reyna versus Reyna, Linus is being the better Reyna on that gunfight. <laughs> oh, Linus. Does he don't know? Oh, Maki was right there on the left. Takebe is just now gonna be right there, relaxing and waiting because they have the numbers advantage. Axis throws down the spike. He's gonna be going to say, oh, hold, hold my beer. And he's gonna go forward and see he's gonna catch anyone. Levitron, look for anyone. On 4v2, however, they do have the better, oh, the more, the better numbers down. here at A. Now we see them rotating. Can, can they hold? Away. Can they keep a hold on for his team to arrive? It seems that he can. The walk on the Beautiful stall there by the keep a with the shot left. darts, dissuading them from going in. Spam through the ball as well. Just one oh, to keep them out. Humble oh, God, God with one. Humble God, God through the yeah. smoke gets another and wins the yeah. round. Down lead for the side of the table beast. <laughs> Celebrate that. Uh, yeah, one win for match point, and that was just very quick. They already lost a lot of their members. A part of it was the reason of um, they're getting control. They were able to jump into nest early. <laughs> the rest of the crew. Now we're at this state where I think there's no round to be wasted. You have to win every round as you can, because at some point if you get the 9-12, that the best you can hope for is win three rounds and go to overtime. And overtime's not necessarily the best thing you want to go into. It becomes a I think of endurance and everyone just has the economy in overtime. Oh, so. Axis though is a hit found by I believe the defending Viper. You see the both Viper walls are gonna make a cross section on this side. I think in order to win this round, they need Jack White to get the opening kill. This forces Untamable beasts outside the range, however, they're being patient. They don't want to commit instantly because of the potential that someone is staying within the ult. Levatron yeah, pushes forward. Actually that they're not there, Zero but I, players yeah, detained. Beast. They're now going to mid. But the contact found. Jack White's gonna push. Guns don't hit though. Humble God with the angle. He pushes forward, doesn't find anyone. Does he know? He's gonna climb up. I think he has to climb up though. But he gets killed. Humble God's able to get him. He was just waiting at B. Now it's a 4 before. It's been equalized. And Killjoy also. Okay. Oh, wait. Untamable Beast have a unlock though. Linus gets killed. No, but no, Onto Humble God. They move around. They move to B. It's actually a 2 Spike planted. With the Viper ult, I believe they'll be able to do this. Will they commit the Viper ult? Hades is. He's right there. He's gonna go to spawn. He might be able to catch two members on point. Like another, they both. Now there's only one Hades really low though. They don't know where the Reyna is. 
Do they know where Unlimited Riz is? I don't think so. However, they are holding on to the angle in case that they did come from spawn. Access is waiting. They were able to plant it. They are able to do like a crossover. Go back into A actually. But oh. Riz, does he know? Oh, Axis is one enemy he remains. Axis no. isn't looking. Over no, uh, is the Oh, but he actually has ult. Okay, he to get it. And kills. That was a good play. A good play from the side of Deviants. Um, so far. And was able to kill Riz even if he defuses. Good idea there from them. They had two players, however, one was really, really low. There was the Killjoy ult, then they transferred to B, and then Viper was actually going to A. Yo, chess pieces. I Beautiful like how that went. Beautiful post plant there from a 2v1 perspective, considering ah, Axis ah. was still full health. He can watch A on her Caution own. Here. And even if they do lose the gunfight, they still have the Sova ult from Hades on lock to deny the defuse. Wait, someone's pushing so early. I think un I think Unlimited Riz might be able to catch someone so early, so quick. He does get it in the axe. Spies down, uh, attacker spawn. Jackpot jack returns the kill. Now we're gonna go to a 4v4 situation. But I think already they're pushing. They're getting the Ooh, information found at mid they're by, I believe, Hades. I think they're gonna back off, not play too aggressively. You see, Deviants are still waiting. They're not dedicating themselves to a side. Now it's a 3v4 because while lurking, Linus gets killed by Dinko at A. Now they're spinning up there. That that is at best they're above at B or mid. Maki not really. keeping watch at mid. There. Does hate oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Oh, another recon dart. Information found at mid. eBay backing off, this having the idea that they might be pushing towards B. He only has a classic though. That might be very hard to defend with. And he's gonna have to peek. He's looking forward. Oh, jumpy. Oh, oh, but the, the, the nano swarm stops him from planting. Gives him a bit of time. Jack White's gonna look around, see if there's anyone he can pick off. Maki's right there with the Phantoms, he's able to catch anyone from yellow. 30 he's seconds also left. at the top. Maki just waiting. They're both so antsy, they're just waiting for anyone to peek out. Oh, the Jack White with the ult. Ooh. Get him. Oh, but he gets hit up by Maki. Last right player standing. Maki with is another. Down, B. Hades is alone. It's a 1v4. He's at yellow. He gets one. But he's getting killed by the Viper and the Colossus. It's 10 12. Match point for the side of Untamable Beast. And they're close to going to 0 1 match point. in this match. Kibe having the insight that they might be pushing B. Able to stall them out enough for Maki to get two kills and finishing it off with a classic kill. Match point though. I believe this should be rifle versus rifle round. It's 10 12. Uh, match point. You have to go for the overtime. Oh, it's a half buy from. It's a half buy from Deviants. Can they pull it out? Unlimited Riz though, going forward. Really aggressing Aggressive. right now. He's aggressing and gets They're five people. Yeah, actually, Is he found? Wait, Levatron. 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 Is someone aware? Hubblegod gets one, oh, but, Jay, but Hades and Linus traded out. Both duelists are now gone. However, seems like they want to go through A. Will they go through? Toxic Gathering information the with the drone. Elsie Maki is found by the drone. Throws a shock dart, dissuades any kind of push. They're not rotating yet. They believe it might Linus. be a bite bait. Linus, Linus the Kibe, who gets first oh, get contact? Oh, 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 Linus unaware! Kibe almost misses he's, everything. He's, he's shaking, Zed, he's shaking. So Axis is found by the recon dart. Maki with the shock dart going in. Welcome so, to Axis. my oh, world. Viper ult comes out. Right there, Hades gets. Dinko. Hades, aggressive oh. positioning. Maki with the ultimate. Doesn't find anyone though. Defending Killjoy. Oh, one enemy remains. Axis gets one. Destroys. Last player standing. Oh, but Maki gets one. Spike down. Does eight. he know where Hades is? This is so close. Sova versus Sova. Who is the better Sova of the seconds. round? Oh, this is so. This is. Stare down. Worried about the drop here. However, he has his eyes oh. properly. But Maki wins the gunfight. 13 to 10. Map Thanks one to goes to Untamable Beast. That was just a good match, a back and forth. It even comes down to the wire at the last round where Hades and Maki, both Sovas, staring each other down and Maki just wins. Advantage. So before we head to map two, we'll have a five minute break in between maps. But the next map is Pearl picked by the Deviants. We'll be right back.
hold a half of it I got dreams of looking up, looking up as high as I can get But nothing feel like how it feels To notice things that don't know yet The weight of everything And everything's just straight Sometimes I'm trapped inside and I don't know what I'm gonna do But to take on the world is the only thing that we know how to do Hello, welcome back. Now we're here at, we're going to be at map two for the last quarterfinals of day two. We're going to be going to Pearl, which is picked by Deviants, and they're going to be defending on this map. So what do you think Deviants would have to do? Now, the first game was very close, right? We could potentially put that to experience or comfortability on the side of Untamed Beast. But now Deviants picked Pearl on purpose, so you think they would be more comfortable. Put them up over the edge to win this, to win this game. Oh, I, I don't know. Maybe they do have a lot of set plans, but I'm more interested in this double duelist comp okay, that's oh. been locked in <laughs> by a, Untamable Beast. Dinkle has you. Okay, you have Yoru we and have Jet. a Yoru Jet game on Pearl. That was an insta lock. I was looking away for five seconds and they locked it in. And, okay, we're going to have the breach. And they're still sort of hovering. Maybe they're still discussing things. But for Dinkle and Riz, they said. This is the angle. You get the Yoru and the Jet in Pearl. Oh, it seems like they're, <laughs> they're baiting a 5 2 5 2 is call. We do have a harbor here for on the side of hovering Deviants, over it. but it's a hover. Let's see if they do lock it in and will we see our we first three harbor duelists. game. Three duelists so far for Untamable Beast. Do they commit <laughs> with five? Are they gonna go for five duelists? They're gonna go for They're four. going for four. They're, They're going, going for five. Duelists. Untamable <laughs> Beast with the five duelist comp. Now we're on waiting stage. to see with what deviants Select have in Select your mind. agent. They're laughing on stage. They're saying, guys, this is it. They're going to aim labs today. We're gonna show them off. We gotta show them what we got. And, but if you look, 
<laughs> a, a more Deviants. standard comp yeah, here from Deviants, Deviants with the fade, with double initiators actually in the form of we fade the Ocean and Man. breach. And we have our first harbor of the tournament Ocean here Man. with Axis playing <laughs> <They're clapping>. it. <laughs> Showing their five duel. <laughs> they're in solidarity. They're happy for this comp. They're gonna bring in the aggression, and I think they're all gonna be like, I wanna top frag this game with this sort of five duelist team. And, um. Will I mean, the flashes and the snares and the slows be enough for Deviants to they don't, they tame don't, the untamable beast? They only have jet smokes, right? So I'm not sure. I, I, I think it'll be quick with it. I just, I'm, I'm interested to see how they would like enter sides to try to defend kids with five duelists. Because Deviants are attacking after all. Humble God is just gonna jump around with the Neon Sprint and then he's ready back to shooting on Rage. So there you go. And swaps out to get the ammo back. So surely this is going to be a very, very aggressive game from Untamable Beast. Look at the movement. They're starting. Ooh, actually. I just I wanna see how this goes, but I think the read's correct here. You look you look it, on both it sides. It seems there's actually a mistake here on the side selection. However, we'll be continuing with the game anyway. Never oh, 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 First oh, kill. Oh, Linus gets one on Tekipe as well. Humble God. Does he get anything? Does he find anything? Does it? He misses. Access. Gets the kill on the Humble God though. Nickels was able to reach the back. Nickel play of Sandy. Oh! It's one bike down. Yes, does he get two? No. They don't know though. Oh, 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 oh no! Pulls out the teleport at the wrong time and Axis gets the kill on to <laughs> Dinkle. He has the grenade. <laughs> he the has the TP in. ready. He was gonna throw the TP. Thinks about it. Like if you can see here, he he, he thinks about back. it and then brings it back and then pulls it back out. <laughs> Unfortunate timing there. <laughs> Aggression were, working were all, against Untamable Beast, unfortunately. They were all stacked up at A. Um, the they were all stacked up uh, at A, however, yeah. they went in one by one in they true dualist it. fashion. <laughs> and died one by one. And they both, I think they're here for laps, but I think they'll try. They're rushing from They're playing B. for another rush. Axis though, finds them. Gets Mine's one on the Dinkle. Does he get two? Has to reload. Humble God. Oh. Does the shots hit? No, they're pushing. The they though gets flashed. Panics a bit. Inside. Clear from Jack White. Stun Ryan. coming out. It's in. Oh, 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 oh no, Jack, Jack White is oh. burning. Dies to the, to the Phoenix mod from Takibe. Oh, he gets oh, yeah, one on Humble God. However, has to reload and is killed by Maki with a one tap yeah. Sheriff. Levatron and Linus now at A. They're going to be able to pass able to Get a free plat here. Rotate coming opening. up from Untamable Beast opening. now. Now it is the raise in the jet. Um, if they still okay, so Raze still has the dash, still able to be able to enter and has Ooh, one smoke. Unlimited, unlimited Driz has the bulldog. Maki has the specter. They're not in a gun disadvantage anymore. Will they? Will they be able to oh, get this kill on Levatron? Levatron? Levatron, does he get one? Is he good for one? one. Oh, he's, he's good related. for one. Is he good for two? Unlimited Drizz though, really low. Can he, he pull it off out. against Linus? Linus with a flash. With another one. Oh. And is able to find Unlimited Drizz. We get to a 0 2 on the side of Deviants getting that early beat. Really this. close map though. For a ma round that should have been an easy 0 2 given the gun advantage. Really well played there with the flashes from Linus getting a kill on Drizz. Now we move on to a rifle round for the side of Untamable Beast. Now we'll see if these yeah, duelists five. have the aim to show why they're going for this five duelist comp. Yeah, so you see here, they're just... Gonna Early aggression here from Dinkle and Undimited Riz. Will they be able to fight on that? Humble God pushes in as well. Two walls coming in from the Neon and the Phoenix. Will they expect this? No one's out. pushing in from Deviants. Deviants expecting that this push might be from them. Dinkle though gets a kill on Axis. Jack White trades it for... Oh no, Mr. Riz actually. We get the flash and run out. The blind is going permanently push. blind by two people. Oh, but the Hades gets the kill on Dinkle for the cover. Spike down, attack your spawn. Spike is seen. 
Minus gets one on no. Oh, it's Kibe one on Jack White as well. 1v2 here. 2v2. Oh, 2v2 here. Levatron. Will they contact. find Levatron? Contact. Oh, Kibe though. Oh, Kibe misses. Levatron gets the kill with the Spectre. I'll see Maki. Last oh no, he standing. switches guns and gets hit. Linus really, really low here. Able to force out LC Maki with the utility though. Got the spike. He's able to retrieve the spike. Now, where does he want to go? Does he want to go to B? Does he want to go to A? Or does he want to save? Yeah, he's, stuck. he's just stuck in spawn so 30 far. seconds left. Think about it. He does have 30 seconds, but at some point he has to push forward. He's and worried go. about if Maki he is, is hiding. Oh. Oh, contact he's gonna go is missed. Through. He's gonna go they pass by each other. Will Linus make noise? I think he's just gonna walk it. But now he has eventually has to start running. He has not 10 seconds left. He has Maki. to eventually 10 run. 10 seconds he left. Okay, he has 9 seconds. He's okay, Maki. I believe Maki heard that aftershock. He's gonna plant it. He just has enough time. He has enough, he has enough time. Spike Will planted. Maki be able to get this? Linus, though, watches a different direction. They're going around each other so far. Does Linus know where Maki is? Will he be able to deduce it? He's looking at Link. Seeing Maki. If be anyone coming from mid from Does Maki top, tap Wait the defuse? No. Wait a minute. Oh, oh Maki. Maki is showing it. Oh, oh, Linus with the timing, though. <laughs> well played there. Hey, guys, he's over here. <laughs> <laughs> Maki is moving up and just says, Guys, I think he's here. Watch this. He's right over here. Unfortunate there. Shot. Really, Linus, even without noise, was able to deduce that Maki might be pushing that angle at that moment. It's not 3 0. It's not looking good for a table beast. Table uh, beast is a really weak buy here with sheriff's frenzies. But they're all and duelists. Goes, oh, search out frenzy for a ghost actually yeah, and all... now uh, they're pushing Deviant is going for a rush well, Dinkle will get to one a limited risk though stun Dinkle with the ultimate can he reposition himself he gets the phantom. For... oh he does get the phantom oh, he now oh gets is out. he gonna fight is he gonna fight is he gonna get Hades Hades flashes out oh, oh TP's clean. back oh it's really clean there from the Yoru Takibe exploring Contact is made, Humble Gun right in front, Axis though, ready for the Kibe, Humble Gun, does he get it? He does! Levatron, trying to force Humble God out of where, is he, where he is. They're all just at B main now, relaxing, they're going through, and you see that everybody's at spawn, potentially gonna be able to go to mid, but nothing has to be found. Rams, Humble God, they might be able to push here. Oh, gets Ball walled off, up. Levatron does get the kill. Last oh, player standing. Oh, Dinkle gets the kill, it's Spike a 2v1, down, B. only one left, Axis is gonna go here at Rams, he's gonna have to get the Spike. And this is going to be a bit dangerous here. He does have the wall for cover. He's looking for it. He's getting oh, shot through the wall. He gets a, No he more wall. A I think they saw him. Spike there. Okay, so after the round from Untamable Beast. After round, they only had... That's when they finally did. I think it started off... Dinkle being yeah. able to kill and get his yeah. ult off. Get the Phantom as was well. The was the go, go, go. Ultimately, he gets the Phantom, goes for the flank, and you see on the side go, go, go. Against, now they're the ones Broken the by. They're the ones that are now really from the boss. and classics being held by the Deviants. How do they want to play this Shrifty round? If you're, if you're Deviants, you want to get this round back in a counter Shrifty. Let's see though, Jack White with the Sheriff. We've seen him get some insane Humble kills. God. Humble God though, Humble holding an God. angle. He's holding it. Will, Li will Linus flash? No, he does not. Linus God gets one. He's good for two. Does he, is he good for three? Oh, he gets three. oh son, he gets three. Is, does he expect this? He's gonna look for four. He's jumping around. He's good for four. Oh no. He's looking for fifth. He's feeling it. He's looking for the fifth He's looking for the fifth. He doesn't know. Does he know? Does he know? Wait, he might get night back. He's gonna run! Wait, what's happening? Do they not Patience. know he's there? Wait, they, they don't know! No. Oh. Oh. Metal Gear, Axis, I'm running around. I'm going to A. Oh. Colonel, carrying oh, spike. Axis. They didn't see him, he was just hiding there. Axis might be able to find him. What insane patience from Axis. If this oh round God, works out, even if this round doesn't work out, he gets the team. Oh, he gets an, Humble God, oh, Humble God with the ace, though. They celebrate, they pop off getting the ace. 
but Texas was hiding, he was just there, and he gets through. <laughs> Even if they don't win that round, he was able to sneak in, get a plant off, and that helps their economy really well now. Are they, are they debating who gets Hello. the defuse? Yeah, I think the they are. I think they, they want to give hey. it to the Yoru. <laughs> Let's see yep, how it actually went down. Oh, it was an art. Go, go, go. I see. It is an art. There for access. However, I mean, really cool maneuver. <laughs> Insane gun uh, patience from access to not shoot <laughs> any so bullets. Funny. We were off screen and we we're like, he's probably dead, right? And he wasn't dead. He so was not. That was uh, three two now though, with the chance to make it a three three. Let's see if Untamable Beasts go for another aggressive play here. I think they're here. looking towards Plaza here. They might be able to find something. Um, I think they're going to find the lightning, but the flash goes down. He gets instantly killed. The flash doesn't matter. The decoy wasn't okay. in. Mach is going to shoot up the spot. Minus Rain Jack will get to go to mid. And right now, most of them at their Plaza are going through hard. They're probably going to go through A. Linus is going to keep going. The and the rest of the team is trying to respond. Ooh, Jack White. Oh, they know where Humble God is. Blind as though. Can they enter site freely? Maki is still undetected here. Maki gets one with the ulti. Does he know? No, Jack White player gets him in the head mid air. Now Humble God with his own ult. Oh, Jack White secures it. It's now through four. And after going through art, after an explosive, sort of get everything. I'm out of here. But the rocket launcher does not find it smart before it gets shot. Dead and just taps him in the head anyway. Oh, Mike Unlimited Riz has the operator. I think we're gonna look at that towards B main. But now, you see how they can stack up your B. Actually, look at this. It seems like they'll this, be is gonna, this is gonna be it. If they keep going without much hesitation, this might be a bit explosive towards A main. And we're gonna see how this goes. Wait for it. The wall comes out. Shockwave is getting one. Unlimited Riz. Does he find anyone? Does he find Linus? No, they're gonna go. But Hades does find Humble God. Unlimited Riz is one on Hades. Does anyone follow? No. They're a bit spread out through the map now. How do they want to play this out? He's just right there. Right there. Breach holding a really good area here to make sure. Yeah, it's at mid connector. Oh, we're going to find contact. Oh. Phoenix, does he dead. get one? He does. Last does he get two? Standing. He gets them both. Right down. Hey. This is now alone behind enemy lines. He's going to have to find a way, get some kills, go back to the spike and be able to plant it within a matter of 40 seconds. But I think that's going to be so difficult. He has to make his way soon. But I think he'll be able to kill the Yoru. Now they already know where he is. That line is now. 30 Stop. seconds left. No way. Yeah, I think he's going forward. 30 seconds. Line is at A. Lining. Spike towards A main. He has a knife out. He turns around. But they keep it. He was a key. He looks towards the left. Back to A gets a kill. And once again, the duelist win. And they will be slave a 3 4. The key bay there. Unsung hero. Gets two in a 1v2 scenario. Linus with a really good lurk. Unfortunately, if both of your teammates die, that yes, flash do doesn't it. do anything. That was. A, I just like how Linus was so in such a weird spot to guarantee one kill. It was just a shame that two of them got caught and killed early on. I think there's potential to find a way to get to A after getting picks, getting kills from behind enemy lines, but it doesn't work out, unfortunately. But we're in another round, and you see here, they're all going to our two plaza. Like the defenders, they might be able to find something. Oh, actually, no, they back off. They might be able to find something. But they to go. Have a drug, gets another. Now the 5v3. Oh, gets tagged though. They know where he is. Jack White. Linus. Oh, oh Linus doesn't do? expect Maki there. Maki gets one. Maki is good for two. Levitron though. Finally yeah, gets her yeah. down. Humble God with one. Jack White versus Humble God. Who can get it? Axis though here for the support. Yeah, now they're both in different. Both oh, Unlimited Risto marking that angle to make sure that 
one that enemy can't remaining. Be really, oh, Humble God just one. Rocket Chris with the operator kill onto Jack White. That's one. Come in. Let's go. Thanks to the fire out now. Equal to equal mano y mano. At the end of the day, it was the duelist that fought out on top with the operator. And eventually, Humble God able to get the kill onto the right side towards Art. Now they're going to get the one in main. Ah. And that as it is, it's now a four for four. Beautiful cover there with the operator. Now we will be looking to see who can take the advantage here. Who wants to go five four in a round with both teams so having might, proper guns? This might be potentially a free entry for them because no one's gonna be guarding a main. But see, humble humble God, God, God with the speed, so. able to wall up to deny anything. So, as well as Harvey, look at this. Oh, your speed. Oh, breach oh, coming oh, out. Oh, in the harbor wall as well. Only one gets hit though. Kibe doesn't get hit. He kills one. Backs off to the wall. Oh, oh, this. Contact. Oh, they're jumping in. Look at the chaos. They're all dying one by one. The Euro oh, Euro old. Old. He's gonna push. Last player. Oh stand. no! no. Levitron is right there! He was at the corner just waiting again. Deviants oh, are just stopping here. Oh, one enemy one remaining. Remaining. Good for one. Spike one down one. A. Vinkle versus, versus Harbor. Who's gonna get the first lead? Who's gonna get the 5 4? Does he know where Harbor is? Does he know where Axis is? Axis, though, looking properly. He looks at the main. He knows where it is. Right oh, and oh, gets Axis a head stab. Deviant's gonna be able to get the lead again. That was such a tense situation, Dinkle and Axis. But Axis knew where he was. He was looking right then and there. And with a dry peak, that was simple as it is. A simple, simple shot to to get them down. It's 4-5. And that's just going to be the advantage of the Deviants here. Deviants hoping they could go 6-4 here. Ensure that at least, at worst, it becomes a 6-6 six, six round to end the half. I can see though, Humble God, aggressive push again. Going to Plaza, there's gonna be a 2v2 situation at Plaza if this is gonna become a oh big And Tekkabe gets the first blood onto Axis, killing the, the last winner of the round. The last round. Maki forces Jack White off with the one skip. Oh, the shot has to hit. jump out, jump out. Jump begins. Almost gets hit through the wall, Jack White. Now popping the Empress. They're trying to keep a wall. Yeah, but gonna... Tekkabe loses the gunfight against the Stav Stavatron. Yeah. Linus though, now they want, I, I believe they want to push Art now with the Linus Flash. Unlimited oh, Riz though, so. with the knives oh, out, no, gets, gets one. one. Hades trades it out though, Linus at Art, pushing. Will he find anyone? Hades though, exploring something different. Seems that they all want to proceed to Art. Maki holding, holding around the A alone. Are they gonna go around, maybe through mid-connector, go through spawn maybe, no. Dinkle, Actually. Dinkle, does he expect it? Oh, he does, he oh, looks. However, his guns don't hit. Line is forcing him out, though. What is the answer here? Just go towards A. I think this is going to be it. But they're going to be surrounded, actually. All three points towards Mark. A is being covered by these one. Do they, seconds do left. they tag Humble God? Do they know where he is? One Humble God gets one. No. Humble God gets two. Down he can jump around. Dinkle gets the finisher for the they round. And did such an unfavorable position in the game. Unfortunately. <laughs> Location just had, had someone in there. And they were, they were, they, they didn't know where Humble God was. They knew where Dinkle was. <laughs> Unfortunately, Humble God being undetected left their backs exposed. And they really tried pushing Plaza there, which is interesting. And I think they were able, they were able to get the control over there. They go towards, um, they go through R and they are not to Connector towards B. Excited all the millions are it, and unfortunately that just wasn't the best place. And Seems so like this is oh. a save round for Deviants, aside from the Marshall in Jack White's hands, trying to challenge that. And B main. Oh. 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 Gets one. Yeah. one. Gets blind, Here though. Oh stun. Only hits Dingle. Yeah. Is able to dodge out. Dash is in. Goes aggressive. Jack White though and ready. Oh, oh does it miss? Humble God gets one on Axis on the other side of the map. Oh, now they're, they're being pincered. The five duelists are rushing forward. So it's a one the enemy old. remaining. He's going to get two kills. And they get the third. They Flawless the round from Untamable Beast. Beautiful aggression there, knowing that Deviants had the weaker body. Last, that was just, that round was amazing. Just all five duelists running down, doing their job, looking for opponents to kill. And that's what they do. And it's... <laughs> 
Ali just like that, and they did have a disadvantage with the guns. So now they should be able to make this last round count on the side of Deviants with their guns. Now for Deviants, you're gonna want to go 6-6 six, six here, but if you're Untamable Beasts, you want to get this round to carry on the momentum to the other half. Let's see though. Ooh, Takibi going with Look another aggressive push. He However, he's he has. Be able to get this. No, he doesn't. Axis gets killed. The Takibi. They're gonna move into A. Will they expect this though? Oh, oh, it's only got one for one. Mike down. Traded by Hades. One v four. I say v four, rather. Yeah, they're moving into A. Just so you see the wall is gonna give oh. them the cover. Oh. Killjoy ult is popped. However, unlimited risk gets Hades before they enter site. Now this should be they're a free plant. Whoever they're not going in. They're too worried about the candles. Harbor Wall comes out. Unlimited oh, risk with one Ooh. for access. One person is caught. Grenade! And Fortunately, no, no value gain from that killjoy. Oh, you're you now are one there. enemy remaining. Uh, Dinkle right gets there. wiped down A. Do they know point. where Jack White is? <laughs> Jack White is all the way over to R. <laughs> However, they are holding the spike. Will they be able to get this? Can he make a 1v3 work? Jack, Jack White. White. Mid-top. Looking Might through. find contact against Dinkle. Dinkle, Dinkle isn't looking. Doable. Throw the flash. Doesn't know where they are. Finds Jack. 30 seconds left. 30 seconds. He's on the Challenges timer. unlimited risk. However, unlimited risk just gets the one tap with the Vandal. 7-5 half. Switching sides. As we switch sides. I think the fact they have five this makes it so... Go, go, go. Volatile in the sense that any member in, in Untable Beast can pop off. Having five duelists on the defending side and Hard still out. managing there. to get more rounds there. than the other side? The, they're the ones that take advantage because they have the Harbor Wall, they have the Nano Swarm, they have a lot of these util on the enemy side, the Shockwaves, and they have to sort of concede because they can't really fight that. So, but then they're still able to win this. So I just want to see on attack, is it, how are they going to do it? How are they going to entry against the, the utility that they may have? But they are five duelists. So they might be able to supplement that sort of lack of CC with mobility or aggression. Oh, a five-man push here coming in. Is this in. going to be a quick rush? Neon wall, does Neon wall come out? No, they're being patient with their utility. Phoenix Molly comes out, Linus. Oh, the they know he's there. there. There no Linus is there with Shockwave Hall. Able to sh challenging. Does he know? Ooh, gets a one tap. He has to reload. Deviants now. now trying Morale back into B. Ooh, Jack White gets the kill on. Oh, LC Makito with one on Axis. Do they know where? One, one enemy remaining. Here. Right now they're just gonna. Levatron, yeah, 1v4. Tower. Can you win with this? I feel like they want to rush him in. They want to go for the knife. They want to go for the knife. Humble God with the knife on to Levatron. Good idea there from Levatron. Unfortunately, to, to just challenge the knife. For I believe he got hit. Look at Neon, so fast, so slick, and so quick with it. He's just jumping around. He's moving. He's moving. Then he goes for the he goes for the knife and gets the win. A fun game. Uh, hey. We can definitely tell that untamed, untamable beasts are having fun this game. They, do, they, they, they are, they are now having though, fun. Oh, look at this buy from untamable <laughs> beasts. They're just going to go all in through A. Look at the rush. They're gonna wall. Oh, Fade Eye detects Humble God though. Does he get the kill before dying? No. Shoots his own teammate as well. Jack White with a classic kill onto unlimited Riz. LC Maki exploring. Last player. Gets a boom button. Flash though. Kill on Linus. 1v2. He has the spike. He can run to B if he decides to. I think everyone has judges actually because everyone has judges now because they picked it up. Who has the better angle? He has the nade though. He run. He's gonna run back to B. He's going to B. Unfor <laughs> unfortunately, I, belie I believe it's better if Jack White just switches to a pistol. Yeah, but also Maki has the Sheriff, so it's kind of awkward right now. How Health advantage work. onto Jack White though, 70 to 90. Planting. Yeah, but it's so close Wait. with just a single shot of Judge within close range. He's gonna oh. kill him. He drops the Judge. He only has the Sheriff. He says, this is what I need. I can one-tap him. 
Oh, okay, he's gonna either go through Jack Tunnel White. or Tower. He has to pick one. He's going through Tunnel. Jack oh, White has a shotgun. Like Wait, oh, like and switches classic. to the classic to get the kill. <laughs> Both players had the same idea of baiting the other guy, thinking, hey, I have a judge. But he really have a Keep your weapons. This Beautifully like played so there from both good idea from both sides. However, Jack White simply has the better aim with the classic. He just he was looking at I, I was actually wondering what just happened. I was thinking like, he's trying to fake it as a Yoru, but no, Maki was a race. You know, I was wondering what was going on. I was so confused that I choked on my saliva and started coughing. <laughs> and um it was such a fiesta with five judges, and everyone had a judge, and somehow he still won. <laughs> So now it's eight six, and on the paper of untapable, uh, untapable beast, and now they all have sheriffs this time. What a what a four fun game untapable beast is having. Now they're going for another rush though. Levitron with the setup though will be able to cancel them out. Oh, who made it? He has to run away. Able to only lose at least they, the they are able to land the plant though. Oh, Levitron gets one tag by Fate Utility. Looking at Paul. Paul. Gives it a flash. Who doesn't get anyone though? Oh, Levitron gets six shots! And now it's 2v4. It's so bad. They both have shares. But they're now starting to do it. They're all taking it. They're whipping all of their shots, unfortunately. It doesn't matter if you can't hit your share of shots. You're all dead at once. And that's how it's going to go. It's now 8 7. They're climbing back. Yeah, so <laughs> right now I don't know what to say about this game. That the, the the two previous rounds have just been a bit more fun here from Untamable Beast. But now it seems that they're going finally going for a rifle I think round this is a good here. Read, though you're looking at this, two people are gonna look at the arc. One person can be able to guard main. Might be able to hold them off. They're gonna get quick control of the plaza if no one's able to contest it. I believe they're going to rush. Oh, but someone's challenging Reyna. Oh, 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 Reyna oh, gets two. Oh, he gets down. two. And he's not dead yet. But Humble God, God gets the kill though. Linus, is he ready? He is. He gets the hit. Doesn't get the kill. Linus. Oh, Nate. Yes, Horse out. Levatron though with a one tap on to Humble God now Linus and Axis one enemy behind. remaining. Oh gets a kill on Spike down LC Maki. Spawn. But Oh but look jet. Unlimited Driz all the way to Brazil <laughs> He went to Brazil He's going from behind taking the airplane to an airport that nobody knows He's going to he Seems go. that they kind of expect oh. it though They're, they're looking at the right the they're, they're, they're considering it Someone's gonna land they they find him. Oh, oh, one on to Levatron. He's okay to left. Fade Eye thrown, oh, but Axis gets the killing the blow. Tide. We're tied right now. It's 8 8 once again. And this is another close match after the first one. And I don't know what's happening sometimes with the five judges. And now I don't think they can do much. Even if they have to all sleep with either Sheriffs or Classics this round due to their economy. So this might be a quick 9 8 for the side of Deviants. Jack White really damaging that push from Untamable Beast with the quick 2k. Almost got a third, however, shut down by Maki. Now the round starts, you're gonna go into here, they're entry, they're choosing the wards to go to B-Main, but Killjoy has already set up there, this might be a bit difficult on their side, but Hades is able to get first blood at the day, so it's not looking good for Untamable Beast. Now the wall comes down, they're gonna go into the wall once again, the wall bot's triggered, and now the swarm bot as well. But wait, the wall bot's already here, he's gonna go through the tunnel, 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 he's gonna what do you think about the five duelists right now in such a close match? Unfortunately, uh, they're able to rush they're on this side quickly, there. but they're not able to get the plant off thanks to the Killjoy utility. And whenever they go for an aggressive push here, they're simply getting detected by the Fate utility as well. Unfortunately for them, their team comp just seems to be better at defense. 
I mean, that's what I was talking about. They have so much util, especially if five duelists enter a site with Killjoy, with Nano Swarms, with Barn Bots, with everything, the third as well. You don't necessarily have smokes on your side aside from Riz. That's just so difficult to enter. I as an untamable beast, yeah. Ooh. What adaptation do you make to get the win? It seems that their adaptation is just go in with our ult. I'll handle this. Do However, control. though, we do have unlimited Riz with the Lurk here on mid. Oh, they found. They found one. Oh, humble guys, really down to, uh... Can they get Levitron? Getting Levitron off of this angle is very Plans. important for them to get the plan. They oh, do get unlimited Riz, catches someone Plans. all the way at mid. Jump over. You're Killjoy dead. also is oh, committed. I'm not sure how effective this is. It's such an it doesn't it doesn't cover any of the important areas though. Oh, keep a push. Line is going forward. Now the has to the side with the wall. We're running through. But running I get oh, the get stunned on the harbor wall comes down. The harbor wall they makes it so hard. Flash! Run the enemy. Oh but they could get two kills with the shot! Dinko getting two horrible. kills with the judge before dying there probably a, helped that round. There was a harbor wall, there was a neon wall, there was flashes coming out that looked crazy. Dinko right. with the aggression on Yoru has been insane so far. Yeah, so it's 9-9. Nine, nine. Jack White looking, so to push a, looking to push Plaza here. Yeah, it's looking just so close here. I mean, we're just on edge. On the, on the edge of the seat because right now you see that rain is going to push towards the main not able to find anyone the adaptation is once again running down the seat using the decoy forward to be able to catch Fade anyone able to catch two stun comes out from Linus now they're dissuaded from going in a little bit drizzle gets one on the axis Fatal coming in from Hades here Dinkle spamming through the wall 4v3 though Hades has people tagged. Jack White with the ult. Can he kill? Humble God though with the one tap before Jack White gets the kill. Stun though. Levitron. Flash and stun and flash. Hades gets one. Flash. And all we have is flashes and guns. And that's the 10-9. Again. Again. Their fear is attractive. The first step into this win and potentially go to the semis. It seems that the game plan here for Untamable Beast is you have Breach for Flash, we have Phoenix and Yoru. <laughs> we have two, we have walls too. <laughs> they have the Neon, they have the Phoenix, right? They have the dashes and smoke. They you have, have all one the wall, we have two walls. You have one flash, we have two flashes. <laughs> we have everything that we need. And now we're gonna have once again, even if this is gonna be able to insert the Roman Earth here. Unlimited drift, drift pushing A. Wild drift of the two B. Hades the though with the operator gets one kill. Linus one on Maki as well. Dinkle so finally trades it though. Hades. Find you. Ooh. Flash thrown by Takibe. I thrown by Hades. One and no one gets it. Jack White though gets the kill. Do they know where Riz is? Riz is on another adventure. He's now rotating from airport to Brazil. He's going around. Do they know? I don't think they know. They're not looking at any angles. However, they are in places that cannot be seen through heaven as well. I think they're watching the flank here. They're actually being very smart. He has to shoot oh. the trigger you know where he is, and Hades just pulls the trigger. It goes to now quick. Uh, goes to a 10-10, and it's so close. Hades, Hades unexpectedly. We might be going to overtime for this round. This one. Hades unexpectedly really proficient so, there with the operator yeah. on fade. Yeah, just a reminder. It's Deviants fighting for the tournament lives here. Until OBs have sure another game, it is 1 0 for them. But if you're on Deviant, this is it. You, This is like the clutch moment there. for you because if you you have to win every round at this point, you want to be sure to keep winning. And when it gets to overtime, the nerves will increase, the tension is going to keep going. Get out of my way! That's what, how it's going to be. Jack White with the aggression here onto Takibe. Takibe though gets the lead off. They're waiting. It's so tense. Let just go. waiting this time. How are going God's for another A for another wall. Yeah. Push, though. The Yoru has to go. Oh, but then it's a Dicko. I don't think oh. he does the flick from Humble Let's God. Go. It's going to be running through. Dicko. Humble God going for another one. 
Everyone rotated to B. Now they have to face Unlimited Riz. Oh, oh Axis, Axis with the one tap though. On to Unlimited Riz. Shorty here. So LC Maki. Risky. Does he find the hate Oh no! Hades oh. gets flashed and doesn't even know that LC Maki is already behind. Axis, can he get the Humble Axis. God here? Humble God, Humble God go gets the first kill. Humble, Humble God is running. Oh. Oh. Humble God gets the first kill by sprinting. Jumping. Movement from Humble God the there. Move. Beautiful. Smoothing. And that was smooth. They were just rushing in. You see them immediately using the wall's cover, going through hall, killing whoever's there. They're now running straight into tunnel, get control within spawn, and flank them and put them into positions where they're gonna be killed from angles they don't necessarily expect. And I think that was making good use of what you have, the Yoru TP, the Neon Sprint, using what you got to your advantage. Even if you meme about the five duelists, they are using them to great effect. Make or break round here for Deviants. If you lose this round, you go into an eco and you're at match point. Again, the wall comes out. This is such a good wall on the side of Neon. And oh, okay, Humble God. Oh, this is not looking good, but he's still alive. So what's next punish? And right now, he's going to be able to look into the wall. He what? gets one from Hades. He's going to push the tunnel, but he gets killed by Linus in the train. But Dinko is be two on the side of the, of the Ante Wubis. It's now only two people. Levatron with the flank though. Does oh, he find yeah. anyone here? Going from T spawn. Jack White pushing now. Does he commit to a fight or does he wait for the flank to come in? It seems like he wants to commit to the fight now. Throws a leer. Oh, Jack finds has both. Much one power. heaven, one, yes, one below. Right. Ooh, Ooh, Levatron though gets the key bay. They're now they're stuck time. here. But they're Who's losing time. Yeah, bro, I they have. They I think they're saving. They're saving. So they're gonna try to win two rounds instead. They're trying to go for overtime. They're gonna go in. They're gonna go and challenge overtime instead, hoping for exits here. Unfortunately, think, though, they I won't think be able to choice. find it. If they find it too hard to enter with the people that you have, I think the best you can do. I think you can also get kills here, Found just them. so that they have to fight. Oh, Never try. Never try. Get one. Oh, oh he no, doesn't. He doesn't. Oh, okay, oh that one gets one. Match okay, point. Okay, so Riz has to buy another weapon. <laughs> so this is it. Match point. <laughs> uh, they will be on the cusp of getting to the next round, to the semifinals. And, Volume. Uh, yeah. And Deviance is... um. They need to win two, two rounds straight, and then they're going to have to win overtime. Overtime giving both sides equal, uh, like, ultimate points, giving them Ooh. equal guns. Look at the look at the guns here on the side of Deviants. Two hero rifles from Jack White and Levatron. However, so far in this game, if you want, if you want anyone holding... Again, but I think they're ready for this. I think they're actually. ready for this. Ready. Humble God. Levatron is ready. Oh, Get Levitron. stunned. But he's going to die. Humble oh, God almost died. He's saving for HP. He's rushing right through Jump the tunnel once again. He's going to find anyone. But Dynes returns a kill. And they're going to be on the side all what they will be and right jack, now. jack white though with a quick oh. flank here do they know he's Hades rushing and access challenging unlimited risk oh, does goes. he go in access waiting humble god really oh, really though now jack white challenges gets the kill on to unlimited risk 3v3 no, advantageous so position close. here for the side of untamable beast one though. enemy remaining Ooh, the key gets oh, one what? more it's all on the feed. It's all on the feed. Hades, can you do it? He gets the drop with the buggy. He can get the vandal. But then he might get the drop with the buggy. Wait a minute. Another one. Wait a minute. This looks so precarious. He's reloading. He has the buggy. He's not getting the pistol. Oh, he almost misses everything. That was so Attackers close. Win. But unfamable beast. We almost the had the bucky highlight. Oh, the that was the bucky highlight reel. The Unfortunately, the I believe jump. he ran out of ammo. Yeah, but he didn't pick up the Vandal, he goes for the kill, and then he rushes, thinking he can do it. He gets one, and then you see Maki just running, gunning, and that was so close. Fortunately, they're on the side of Deviants. Really close game between these two teams. However, it ultimately ends in a 2-0 in the favor of Untamable Beast. So next, we'll be going to the semis. The semis is gonna be... They're going to have their photos. Um, Unfortunately, we won't be seeing Lotus today. Maybe yeah. the semis or the finals will have it. That was As a, a reminder about the tournament structure, 
today we will be playing semi-finals and finals, all being best of three, single elimination. Now we will see both teams take on the stage for their photo op. And that was a good showing by Deviants. That was a good showing, in my opinion. Um, unfortunately, they get knocked out so early in the quarterfinals against Ontario Beast. But congrats, uh, congrats to Ontario Beast for making it to the next round. But we hope to see Deviants again in the next game zone or the next tournament. And we hope to see them next time. And they have their photo. And before we officially move on to the next match, let's let's do our general announcements once again. And that anyone and. They're gonna give handshakes, fist bumps, handshakes. sportsmanship. Untamable beasts, please proceed to the center of the stage for your photo op. There, there, they're doing it. So if you are interested, do people passing by? Okay, they get. <laughs> they're Congratulations,
From the eye of the Horus, took you Alexander the Great, then I am the Force, coming straight from the mud like I am a Lord. So hot in your cup, well, guess it's okay, got too much here, look up. Take to kiss him in the room, the Mugu Sans and Adaru, the room is a cemetery, funny bit to the cemetery. Jamie, you are Maroon, you are the home of Hito Karo, and I hit him a creep to be the chief, jumping the pen and a very cheap. Better believe you're gonna be, pick up a seat, get your team. I'm the king of kings, brother in arms in a battle. You all gonna die if you act like a vandal. Bring the realms to reality from every angle. This is the public service announcement from Mumbai to the rest of the world. I am the Raja. I am the Raja.
fucking grow flowers on a barren end. Break a mountain with my bare hands and step back and cross the literal avalanche. Shit, all about us traveling. I'm still for giant meaty, just a little enchilla. Now, hey, we told a mirror, just a poor but you got Camilla. Made a guess, I'm mini got going not to work to work. I hate to be past the peak of a minute. Could be a couple of cocky, fully got comforted, coolly, and just look up the memory. I got the lot to load. I come to me and you just gonna die. That's really a given. I am invincible and you are invisible. See, that's really a difference. Get out of my way, I'll leave the world. The choice is yours. I don't kill my enemies, I play with them. That's what the toys are for. From Mumbai to the rest of the world.
time slows down when you can get no worse I can feel it running out on me I don't want these to be my last words All forgotten cause that's all they'll be Now there's only one thing I can do Fighting to the end like I promised to Wishing there was something
presented by I Academy. If you haven't yet, feel free to register using our uh, social media pages. Just head on over to iacademy.edu.ph or head on over to our IG page to register for this for today's event. We will have mini raffle prizes and major raffle prizes as well as our ongoing Valorant tournament. So have fun, stick around. And uh, yeah, have fun. <laughs> slows down when it can get no worse I can feel it running out on me I don't want these to be my last words all forgotten cause that's all they'll be now there's only one thing I can do fighting to the end like I promised Finals. It's Shadow Garden versus GG side for now. And the first map is going to be Ascend, if I remember correctly. It is. Yes, it is. But to introduce the teams first from Team Shadow Garden. Oh, unfortunately, I think there's a missed time here. There we go. For Team Shadow Garden, it is Hokori, Yazeos, Jumpy, Jumpy, and Myojo. And on the side of GG's side, it is Deathwish, Tres, Amarok, Machu, and Blanket. 
these two teams had a good showing in their respective matches. IG decide playing a, a third game in their best of three. And so we're immediately on to agent yeah, select. We, we are in a sense. This is a map that's been played a lot in this tournament. I think a comfort for many. So let's see how this goes. Shadow Garden played Icebox and Fracture in their games. So we haven't seen them on Ascent, but we definitely have seen GG side on Ascent, if I remember correctly. This was also yes. their first map. Yes, it was. Now, t I... Oh, wait, actually, different look here for Shadow Garden, having the double duelist in the form of Jet and Reyna. Jumpy going for the Omen, and a very much expected Killjoy here from Yojo. However, on the other side, we also have another Killjoy as well, expectedly. Now, yeah. we're going to wait on who their choice of duelist will be. Will they commit with Choose the your raise? Agent. They do they commit, do with, commit the with the raise. They get the breach. So, I don't think they're going to go for dou double duelist here. So, they get the breach, the Sova, Omen, and a Killjoy, and raise as their entry duelist. Jumping into the jump pads. But you see, on Shadow Guarding, they have Jet. They also have Reyna. So, they have two duelists on their side. But, initial feeling initial well impressions is that gg side has a lot of utility compared, utility compared to compared to shadow garden who are defending on this map utility indeed now uh, all of the attack patterns that will be coming off from gg side will be heavily reliant on the breach and sova engage so seeing like, as yeah. the uh, seeing as rays can only go in and unlike Unlike Jet, who has a smoke to cover herself up, she'll be going in alone with a very deep, without any any sort of coverage. So I want to see how they're setting up here. You see that... It seems that we have a temporary pause. pause. We'll be waiting to receive any information regarding the pause that has occurred. Please stand by. Oh, it seems there is a ping issue on one of the players right on the side of Shadow Garden. We'll be looking to fix that as soon as possible. So, while waiting, however, we would like to announce to anyone passing by watching the tournament now that there are boots to be had, boots to enter, that there are VR game stations, PS4 stations, PC stations, and mobile game stations and an art station featuring our friends from Wacom and a mini exhibit with our works from iAcademy students so please check them out and we'd also like to thank us a group of partners and collaborators for today we'd like to thank our partners and collaborators in Red Dragon Philippines MSI Wacom Capture Candid Studio The Good Scent Eno Perfumes Time Purse PH Cat DG Shop Lahom Cafe, Season Pass Siesta Press, Apple Studios, Edis Confectionery, and Aspect Prints. And if you're interested in the Game Changers in iAcademy, please visit our admissions booth over there to know more of our specialized senior high school and college programs. And thank you. Right there. Right there.
are back with the first map of the semi-finals match between Shadow Garden versus GG side. I think they reset the lobby so they can get a better ping for um, Shadow Garden who had a ping issue but we, that should have been resolved now. So let's see how they stack up here. It looks like they might be choosing A for their dish for the first round and I want to see how this works out for them in comparison to... Uh, there. Well, it's the one, GG side are the ones attacking and Shadow Gardens are the ones defending. I think. There. Oh no, sorry, River. There. Wait, it's, yeah, okay, the names are different. I'm so sorry. But yes, so let's see how Shadow Gardens is going to be able to defend this. You have two people going to exit the catwalk here and they're going to enter straight into main. See if there's anything they're able to catch out. It is a pistol round, so it is a very volatile round. And let's see how this goes. And they're just going to play slower. HKS is going to look to see if there's anyone there. I don't think so. Tress is peeking. There is a smoke, but I don't think it will catch anyone. Are they able to catch anyone with that? There's no one there. They move slowly into A main. Nothing is really happening. They're going to relax. The Another smoke drone. comes out. If they were to push in, they have to push through smoke, which is very disadvantageous for the person looking through. Blanket, Blanket is going to enter wines. They're going to just chill. They're going to relax. And so far, not much is happening. Shots fired, though. Yeah. Seems to be expecting that they'd be passing the smoke. The Seems that out. they want to engage another, now, though. <laughs> another smoke comes out, and uh, they're just oh, waiting. Oh, they're actually not going for it. I mean, when you push Ooh. through smoke, it's, it's so dangerous, and you just have to wait. Caution, here. I think I they're calling they this. I think they all know it's A. The Shadow Garden the is door. prepared for this. The Boombot goes out. I think they're going to enter this when they pull the trigger. The grenade Forces goes out. They're finally going in the shockwave. They're going here. It's going to go to Switch, but it's already close. It's already destroyed, actually. Shooting the smoke. Can anyone? HBS is able to dash out. The trade on both sides. They're going to jump in. Jump in. Gets a heal. Gets another. And that's the spike. Has been dropped. And Arkham is going to push forward. Gets one. He's going to get the heal. And it's going to get Machu. And that's a kill for Shadow Garden. A first win for them. And they pop off like yesterday as well. Good read, Shadow Understanding the GG side would most likely want to commit towards A. Beautiful hold there by Jumpy, fighting alone really on site. And also, the Sova Dart destroyed the door already. So they weren't able to stop it, they weren't able, even despite the smoke being there, someone was able to push through the door, smack them, and kill them. And I think that was able to contribute to them winning. Now, on the side of Shadow Garden, they have the advantage with the Spectres and someone with a Stinger. And they're most likely going to win this unless um, GG side has something head. special prepared. Amarok though holding the Sheriff for his team and we've seen him hit crazy shots yesterday. So Can he replicate it today? He's looking through screens. Seems like we're going for a control on mid. Death, Death wishes and catwalk just waiting. No one's there though. But the Discovered by the oh, drone though. Death wish jumps. Ooh. Doesn't get caught just yet. The grenade goes out but... Puts it back in, he doesn't really use they it, know. smoke comes out. Ar Arctic and HKS are just waiting over there by the catwalk to jump on They anyone. should be known. 
However, no one's really pushing them. Shots fired towards HKS, none hitting though. Nethish keeping watch guard. of this smoke. They have to push at some point. They have to They're right beside spot. each other. Scans though yeah, by Yazeos. Yazeos oh, with a good kill. Two thing. kills. It's, it's another, I think they should be wiped out here. It's that they are. It's a flawless for Shadow Garden with GG side not able to get a single opponent on their end. And I think it's a very good win for Shadow Garden. Good conversion from Shadow Garden in that round. Now, the other. GG side will have rifles with while Shadow Garden keep their specters and and stingers. St stinger. Stinger. <laughs> only one. So we'll we'll see if they can convert into a two one here or if Shadow Garden can take over so and get Killjoy, a three zero. Expect Killjoy to one solo holding B. And I don't think I think they know that, so that's why they're not going. Oh, the shockwave goes up, it doesn't catch anyone within catwalk except for the jet. HKS has to dash out and not get killed from screens. Now they're gonna have to hold on here. I think they're gonna get control over courtyard, but HKS and yet. Arctic don't want to let go control of this area. Oh not another smoke comes out that's gonna be the move box. I think within the corner they're gonna Are they discovered the though? Right. Crossfire fade Ooh, Amarok with a trade though. Arctic He's has run. to run away. Can't hold it on his own. Jumpy with an interesting angle here. Just waiting at the corner. Still waiting if someone comes from A main. And they're still holding out the catwalk. They're not able to push forward because they've been repelled. Another smoke comes out. I think it dissuades the breach from going through. Mid Black is being Mid. held by Azeos. Azeos is tagged though. Has to run away. He's getting hit through the smoke and Tress. ultimately dies to Tress. Forward. Does this make them go towards B or do they push mid? Seems I that they're deciding to go through B instead. Yeah, B is not looking really good though, because Killjoy is still defending there. You have the Nano Swarm, so Alarm Bots and the turret right then and there. Miojo the being corner. careful of their own spawn, acknowledging Shadow the po potential that they went through mid instead. And smoke, and can, no he hold, can he hold on his own until his teammates come through? And activate the Nano Swarms, I think this is it. Miojo is going to look on the side, to. looking to both house, going to hold up the speedway. He oh, but he doesn't blanket. look at Blanket. Arctic load switches to the Vandal. 2v4. Can they do Spikes it? Planted. Two v yep. Thress is very low. Machu is around half health. Can they? Oh, beautiful blind there by the Omen. I don't think that does much because no one can fall up on the blind. But Jumping with the kill. Anyway. Do they know? Amarok oh. is at. They found the Amarok. They know where Amarok is. He's at the corner. I don't think he's going to peek it. I think he's going to be disciplined here. But Arctic's going to want peeking. He's gonna, he has to be the one that has to be aggressive here because he has to get the spike. He's going to deal with Amarok for something. He can't Amarok him. with now one. Both through. of them are hit. Can he pull it off? 1v2. Gets hit by the Nano Swarm. Gets one more. Dodges the blind there. Machu has to play for time here. There's no time. Oh, but this is the Delicious. Can he get the defuse off? I believe he can. I believe he can. Beautiful play from Arctic with a clean 1v3 there at the end. That he stayed calm, he used the overheal to his advantage. Great dodge there on the Omen Blind. And securing what seemed to be a GG side win, a GG side advantage round. And they're able to get it. Arctic, cold as ice, and able to get that win. So they're gonna again set up. Again, that's what I'm talking about. Killjoy at B. Despite being the only person there with the utility, it makes it so hard to enter the Nano Swarm and everything. And, but, he, but for the matter of fact, they did get killed by Blanket, who came from both and then came to the other side and shot them within sight. HKS with the operator and. He finds nothing. No dice. <laughs> Doesn't find anyone. Seems that because of the state of their weapons right now, GG side is opting to just stack on one side and Blinded. hope that there's only one person covering. Uh, let's see how bottom. they want to enter though. Seems that Deathwish probably has a... This probably really intends to jump in at some point with the, cha with the satchels and using the shotgun to his advantage. However, Jumpy still keeping this I think they're waiting. angle. I think they're waiting for a certain time Unexpected until they pull the angle. trigger. Shock Here comes Trying to go in. They're going for the engage. Here comes Deathwish. Oh, with the bucket, but he misses. Jumpy gets the kill with the Phantom. Blind thrown by Arctic. They can't push the smoke, though. HKS with a kill on Tress. Jumpy avoids everything. Arctic with another kill towards Amarok. Now they're corralled here. Arctic with one more. Machu, can he get at least one? And he doesn't. 
flawless round for Shadow Garden there. Starting no off with a 4 0 clean no game. Again. They have their rifles, they, have, they still have the operator in HPS. This is not looking good even then for GG side who, who are going to be able to get rifles now, but they're not able to put a dent within Shadow Garden. And they tried going A. B is also hard. So right now, they're going to have to find something different here. They could try going for B. But I'm not sure what the success rate is going to be on that with what they have. It's going to have to be played to perfection to go enter B because it's very disadvantaged on their end. Arctic with a really aggressive really push again. here. Radar start. Oh, I don't think we're able to get anyone, but they do know no one's going to be going through mid. There. Arctic Ooh, has the such operator an is at mid. Will they here. meet with Killjoy? HKS, HKS, will he find Tress? Tress seems to be looking as well. Charges the dash, however, doesn't get any value from it. He gets bolted. Now they know HKS Ooh. is holding out the catwalk. Arctic, unfortunately, oh, doesn't get the kill. Traded by Miojo, though. Does this make them push? They, it does not. They're playing it slow. I think this. I think they put the trigger at some point, and I think they're gonna do it after the smoke. Want to mark it? Want to see here? They're being watched on all sides, though. Zeos with a shot dart. Here's a recon ball. Will he find anything? Doesn't find anyone. But this does dissuade GG side from pushing any further. It's gonna be hard to enter. I, 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 I'm waiting for an angle, but the raise, the one who would be jumping in, is unfortunately dead already. If anyone were to enter, they would just have to walk in and they're gonna be shot by anywhere. The blind goes out, it doesn't catch anyone. 30 so seconds. Much the Black gets to be on the Azeo, so early market gets to kill the Drake. Can Yojo hold on? He gets to Yojo, and that's gonna be allowed at the end of the side. He gets another kill, it's Jumpy, the only person left. It's gonna be a 1v4, it's gonna look difficult. This might be the first time for GG side. Gets shockwaved, and he's disoriented. He has to wait for it to calm down, and this is not looking good. And then there's a recon dart. Found by down. the recon dart. They know he's there. Forcing him in. Goes in. Fake TP. Used. They're just shooting into the smoke. They're yep. not letting Jumpy get any angle here. Deservedly so. Consistent shots. I think Jumpy's just going to try and play for exit here. Yeah, gonna try to see to catch people off. He might get one. Oh, wait, he's oh, going to right. He doesn't get one. He, can, he doesn't get anyone. And unfortunately for Jumpy, he was looking left and looking right. Then he looks at the middle and gets shot in the head, unfortunately. Uh, finally, the first win for GG side. Good idea there from Jumpy. Playing for the exits instead to damage the already failing economy of GG side. Unfortunately, the shots miss, the shots swift. He goes left, he goes right. And yeah. ultimately falls down. So I think they're gonna keep trying B again. We look at how they're posted up. They're gonna go through B. It gave them the success they needed, they despite the Killjoy it. having its utility there. They were bot. able to enter. With ease. Alarm bot. And Arctic Placing was in a, was in an aggressive position, but immediately dies to Death Wish. So we're gonna see how that plays out. Because I think they're gonna try again at B. So the shock darts with the recon. He gets recon vaulted, but I think only spots him. They don't know where the rest of the team is. And you see. Jets pushing at A, they're able to get some info. There's no one in A main. This is looking like they're at B. And when Boombot goes out, they might be able to follow up on this one. No, they don't. And they're just gonna hold off. They're gonna get the ult orb. Zeos is just waiting there within market. And they hold it off. They're gonna just go somewhere else. Do note though that Breach does have the Rolling Thunder ready to go. When whatever whichever site they decide to go to. It should hypothetically be a free plant. Yeah, with such a like such a strong ultimate. Now though, HKS control. holding here at the line. He'll be able to hear any sort of aggression coming in from GG side. Oh, oh she She's hears. Just waiting. Do they, is the call to rotate? Is anyone gonna clear the call it? is to rotate. You should run. Here oh, comes the feet. Killjoy ult. Wait a minute. Oh, he doesn't get that. Wait the reach a minute. Ult, he gets one. He gets oh, one he though. He gets, he gets two. He, gets two. he, he could have gotten four. But that's okay, he gets two, that's good for his life. Yeah, Zeos, Zeos gets Zeos one though. Down Lockdown gets one, but they don't know where it is. They go to plant hold, but Arctic is a 2k. 5-1, and that's how it's done on the side of Shadow Garden. Looking strong, looking dominant for this match. And, I mean, the side, they have to look for something. Because if this goes on, we're looking at potentially... If, Based on ratios, we could be looking at like 8-2.
key point there was HKS being able to get two off during the initial right entry from GG side. And confirming that all five of them were there. Right, so they were able to move wherever they needed, whether that they go to catwalk through garden, just knew HKS where they was were. an aggressive position again. Right there. Doesn't seem like they want to commit. They're, I think now they're deciding to play slow. They're just waiting for picks, getting some info. Um, this will give Opposite like. from Shadow Garden to also do the same thing, get some info, trade whatever they can, push where they push where they feel they're safe. And shots are being fired, but none are none of them are landing. Just waiting here. See towards courtyard. They're still looking at a I look believe at they the want to get the result here and entry with the rocket. However, oh. Shadow Garden is positioned Oh, far away from the site. And so even if GG side decide to commit with the raise ult, it will not amount to anything. Another smoke comes out at mid. Not Amarok trying to find anything at mid. HKS is still there. HKS ready. No, but get shot. Oh, Naturally. but he got shot. And then he jumps with. in. Does he find any rocket launchers? HKS is already down. He's not able to find catwalk as a weakness. Arctic gets one. Down. He gets yeah. banned. He has right. Three seconds left going. They might be able to close the door, then they'll be able to plant the default. Be, okay, they get Tressy, but they'll jump it at Garden. They're still going, and then they'll be able to finally close it off. But the ult comes up from Silva, delaying the plan, but Blank is nice to Miojo. It's a 2v3. I don't think the ult has find that one just yet. Tress now will finally, finally be able to plant 12 seconds. They're able to get it. The defenders have to push in, and they're at disadvantage. They kill the turret. Miojo reloads. 33, uh, 33 HP. Not uses the turret. Now and gets waiting, looking for Tress. Ahead. Radar comes out and gets destroyed immediately. Tress is at hell, on looking for someone. Amarok still there at wines. Yojo really low though. Yojo, oh, Yazeos, 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 can he hold this? Actually, it's Wait, positioned it better for him. It's for him, but oh, they have oh, the old action. So Never mind. Comes out, he's dodging, dodging all, he's everything. Leaving. Oh, oh he's and he decides to go for another. That was a good post plan. They already use over has all they plant it there in the place that he can shoot back and he's at wines and he just ults and it was a simple kill and he secured the round to five two. A huge gamble though from GG side. If that Sova ult did not kill, they would have had a hard time trying to enter site and stop the defuse. I mean they got it anyway. I think there's also still enough time, even if the Sova missed, that they can just rush in both of them. But I think that was enough to get them. In that tag him initially for the damage. Now we're gonna see how this goes. It's one Standing four, we're one towards B, four towards A main. Let's see how this goes. An Great. exchange of They're recon bots yeah, here at changing B. It. The info's out, and HKS is pushing, but I don't think this is good. He beats all four of them. I think they're gonna rush in here. But no, Judged don't. by Deathwish. The smoke goes out, and they're gonna have to hold Arctic off. Arctic pushes forward, though. They're waiting, and they're playing slow. I think they prefer to play story this time. That's how they've been getting their wins. They can't really rush in because that's how they've been losing to Shadow Garden. So they're gonna play more conservative with more poise. And another smoke comes out the courtyard. They could potentially go through catwalk safely. Isaios is watching. Jumpy spamming through the smoke. But it's not able it to find, find anyone. No one's even close. Now, is, good, is this going to be a five-man commit towards A, or they will could. they decide to go for a different one? Is I that, think this is it. I believe that the team is now. They're going in. They're able Jump to go in. Jump bad. Not able to find anyone. Safety. It's safe. Oh, but Arctic it's gets Amarok. No one was looking, unfortunately. Oh. 30 seconds man. left. Now, though, they have, it. they have them surrounded, unfortunately. Oh, Arctic pops the Empress. Unfortunately, doesn't get one. I does get Tress, though. They get the kill. It's now 6-2. That was a quick re-entry on the side of Shadow Garden. Able to get now to 6 to defuse it. And that was just very quick. Shadow Garden jumping in from all different directions. And confusing GG side on where to aim. Well played there by Shadow Garden to be able to infuse GG side enough to get all of the frags in. So they planted the spike. I think they're playing it for hell. Because like that's the only place where you can watch it. Or they could be playing again for Sova or maybe a lineup. But aside from that, they all rushed in. Shadow Garden was able to kill all of GG's side. 
And now we're gonna see how this goes. And maybe another exchange of recon. Uh, recon the area. Here. No, no exchange no. actually. Doesn't catch anyone. But that doesn't really confirm anything. You don't know if um, a, a defender was able to hide. And Killjoy has been playing towards B. And if you know that, you got you still gotta be careful. So this might Arctic just weaving left and right at trees, waiting. Yep. <laughs> Left and right. He's just very disciplined. Not pushing. Just waiting. And I think GG side are waiting for a time to pull the trigger. Because they're not necessarily pushing certain areas just yet. Now they're moving into courtyard. I stand corrected. The Zeos is blocked by the standing smoke. ahead. Um, can't able to find anything. The recon dart goes out. But able it's to been find people. destroyed. They're still waiting. And they're still holding their positions. Two are at A, once at market. And if ever, they do have numbers advantage here for a 5v3 at B. They might concede it, but they also have to be wary of the Killjoy setup, which might halt their advance if ever. Jojo is just waiting by the Here boat. comes the engage. Here we go, the flash. Left. We're gonna jump in. This is it. The grenade goes out towards the market. The smoke comes out on both sides. Jump pad goes out with the line go. He shoots a line button, but he's gonna get this nano swarm. 90 HP. The shock Ooh, wave. Self -stun. Hit it's a self stun. Jump jumping jump gets an unmachu. Do they know where Yazeos is, though? Shoot down HP. Now they know. Oh, Ooh, but Jumpy gets one more. Yazeos kills the kill on Amarok. Jumpy finishes the round with a 4K. They, they hold out strong as the defenders of B and are able to halt GG side's advance. And that was just a strong showing from them. And that was just really good. It's 7-2. This is looking bleak for uh, GG side. They can't let them get away with this one because if they do, it's going to be so hard to come back in this game within the next half. Do note the team composition though. They have do double duelist on the defending side and are still winning. Now they likely have the advantage as well when they move when they eventually move to the attacking side. So if you're GG side you want to get a few rounds in now, seeing as they have rifles, they definitely they are definitely primed. However, the omen ult from Shadow Garden able to get the information that they are at A main. They're holding off. I don't think they're committing too much of a rotate here because it's so easy for them to just back off, go to courtyard, or go towards B. But it's good to have that information nonetheless. In. Okay, you have there the radar. They, they have the reach ult and the killjoy ult already. Amarok with one on Jumpy, not being traded by HKS though. Here comes the breach ult. This might be it. They're gonna go enter this good fight. Do they this know is where the HKS is? Here comes Deathwish. Yes, we spam through the smoke. Arctic Reyna. gets one, Arctic gets two, but is eventually killed by Blanket though. Three Killjoy ult is out. Deathwish detected. Spam through by Azeos. 2v2 now. Will someone get detained? They're gonna have to hold off on the Killjoy. I believe one detained. Ooh. I believe it is Sova, but now does this bait them to going in? It does not. Oof, Myojo almost hits it. They're gonna have now, to go in here. No longer detained. Guard. Another shock guard. They have to jump in. They have to shoot the three. They might be able to get it. Miojo gets one. one. Miojo, does, does, he know, does he know where Thress is? Is he able to fight it? Killjoy from Miojo. Force, forcing Thress out. Does he have to time actually? Wait, he might be planting it. He might sink it up actually. He might be detained. But it doesn't know. He's right there. It was a nice attempt. And he gets detained. But the timing was a bit off. A bit too early for the defuse. And Thress was still able to shoot him down. And I love the idea, but unfortunately, does, doesn't work out with a few seconds. They, they were on the timer. He really just had to go in and defuse. He had to do it. And I think he thought that he would be somewhere else. But he was at hell, waiting and just shoots him from behind. That's a 7-3 for the side of GG side. Unfortunately, no time there for Miojo to do it. And it seems we are on a pause. Mouse issue, sorry. For Jumpy, you're gonna try to get that. There is an issue on the side of Shadow Guard. And it, it has been resolved, I believe. The thumbs up comes out, so I think it's already been resolved.
seems like eight. another A push here from there. the side of there. GG side. However, a weaker buy. All right, there's a push here. No RC. A bit early. Arctic oh, gets one though. Arctic gets three. And they Jump. just do it so quickly. That was explosive. They decided to rush all, both the duelists Last and they go round in and in get the all the targets. Unfortunately, therefore, GG side, even though the previous round, their economy was in shambles due to the fact that they all had died. And now, I believe this was actually a misplay by Shadow Garden because HKS went way early before he would throw the Leer in. But, but eventually it all works out due to the gun the difference. Because well, they were blinded. Yeah. So well played there overall by Shadow Garden with a medium few missteps, but overall good round. Despite all the knives missing, Arctic Ooh, was HKS able to with a quick operator kill on towards the attacking raise. Ooh, Yazeas though finds Amarok. Trade blows. Is left really low. HKS finds Tess, gets mid. another kill with the operator. Yazeos forcing Amarok out. Throws in a drone. Oh no, pushed in. Doesn't get the hits though. And eventually oh. loses the gunfight to Amarok. HKS getting spammed through her, his own smoke. Is he able to fight back? No, doesn't find anyone. Amarok calls for his teammates now. A rotate towards A. However, gets a tag, I believe, onto HKS. Now, for pushing in, does he attempt to close the door? Does he push it? Is the door even still up? Pushes it though. Is it aware of Arctic? Stun thrown by the breach. Machu throws in a smoke, but now they can't go in anymore. Who oh, it seems to be the decision is to go towards B. However, Killjoy is still there. Decides to cancel. 30 seconds Ooh. left. Yeah, HKS left. running to catwalk in case of any rotation goes back to A to support Arctic. Arctic still holding this area. Smoke throw in by the defending omen for support. Flash thrown in by blanket. Doesn't HKS with a double on the phantom as well. 4K two with the op, two with the phantom. Right there. Now we move to a 9-3 side. And the Shadow Garden is That's looking very strong here. And currently the attackers, and they are four rounds away from completely winning the first round and looking very dominant. And that's something you have to look towards here to see if Defender is much of a better side for, for GG side and if they're more comfortable being there. But they have such an uphill battle to climb, uh, to climb because they have to win at least six rounds straight to even tie it, right? And that's enough cushion for Shadow Garden to do as much as they want, to be more aggressive in whatever they want to do. So we're gonna see how that goes as you see that um, Shadow Garden are gonna prefer B and try to look for something here. They're just holding, yeah. relaxing, looking for anyone if they go for a push. Now Shadow with the reset vault going forward, they're gonna be able to see if they can find anything. The drone goes out. And uh, doesn't get shot down yet. He knows his way is free. Shock guard is able to find someone. Go towards the boat. It's been smoked out. Arctic's gonna push forward. Gonna be able to find, but Trent is able to kill Arctic just like that. Gonna have to get able to uh, hit the market door. Amarok is shooting, but not able to find anyone. Jumpy gets killed. It's a trade from Rufon. Jumpy gets another. He's about to pop off Miojo. He's looking for the white spot, but gets killed. And now it's a 2v3. Amarok's gonna jump in. Gonna see if they find anyone. That's both house. Oh, gets shot guard. Remaining. There's only one person left. They're gonna be able to find it. Amarok is looking. Yes, Eos gets another, but can he get this one? He's working HP. He gets it! It's a 1v1, but the grenades is able to get him. It's a 4k for Deathwish. He's gonna make it a 9-4 on the side of GG. Uh, GG side on the defenders. They make and they're able to hold on. Beautiful use there of the nades from Deathwish, able to get it. Yezeos though, with a valiant effort, getting two, however, the, re the reload of the grenade simply ends the round. Now though, will they decide to go to the other side? I believe they are. Realizing B does not work, let's go to A. But however, the read here from GG side, also perfect. Understanding the idea that they might just switch sides. Now they're about to be more spread out. You see the Reina from Shadow Garden is going to be able to just go towards B. Maybe a Lurker. Smoke comes out the courtyard to block any vision that shows that we ha they have now control over courtyard. They can move there freely. Um, they just have to be careful of that within uh, Cubby at Catwalk. 
They just have to wait. Machu, still blocked off by the smoke, not able to find anything. And they're just moving along. No contact made just yet. So we're gonna see, we're gonna be on our the edge of our seat here to see if anything just happens. HKS, moving to tree, get shot from, get shot from Garden. Looking like one Archie's enemy side win. Arctic is alone. He might get the kill. He gets one, but he's not able to get the other. It's a 9-5, a quick two-round game by GG side. Good conversion there on the free round from GG side. Now, can they keep the momentum up and hopefully mount a comeback to make this game a whole lot closer? And that's a question, isn't it? Whether they can really like conquer the gap. When they start, it was 9-3 to get two rounds. You have to ride this, but on this specific round, they're gonna have to fight against rifles, right? So this might be a bit difficult on the side of, uh, on GG side, and we'll see how that goes, but now let's see how they, they plan to attack this. They're now going towards courtyard. Really the bot goes out. Does it catch anyone, I believe, because... Tags Machu. Ma yeah, Machu's in... Is this, is a, oh, this is a four-man, five-man push Good on point. towards three. Deathwish, though, with a nade to dissuade any sort of aggression coming in from Shadow Garden. HKS has a dash. HKS, dash He's ready. Doesn't find anyone. Oh, but flashed. flashed. He can't go in anymore. He has to go in. No, he doesn't. Blanket with another flash. He's able to hold them off just a bit. The smoke comes out. He goes pushing it. He gets killed by Blanket. And the spike goes spike down. down but he's able to regain it. And they're going to have to run off, go to courtyard, and reposition. Maybe they're going to go towards... Goes, goes towards mid here, goes to courtyard, the entrance. Machu is holding them off. It is smoke. They might go towards B or return back to A, but they might be pushing. They are pushing smoke. Machu is right there, but Jumpy is able to get him right at the corner. And Galir goes out, not able to find anyone, but they have to push into B. They're going to keep going. No one's going to be able to stop them. Amarok with a solo hold. Can he keep them interested until his teammates are able to rotate? Does he know someone is behind him though? He does not find HKS. Now this becomes a left. difficult 4v3 for GG side. Can they do a retake here? Oh, Jumpy gets a kill on Tress. Increasingly. I mean, I think that was your smoke. Deathwish gets Ooh, another Death kill. Right finds there. Miojo unaware. Wait, he's jump padding. He doesn't find anyone. Black Actually, he's getting killed standing. off this side from Arctic. And oh, that's so low. I don't think Black can do it. One straight bullet. He can't even together. pass through. He'll get hit. Here oh, comes HKS. Wait a minute. He's able to get them actually. He's able to oh, but the way the smoke runs out and Jumpy was just shooting there just in case. And I, I thought there'd be something right there, but now it's a 10 5. And they're two wins away from match point. Now, another rifle around here for GG side. And I believe Shadow Garden actually has a weaker buy here due to the fact that most of their team, three out of their five teammates, had died. So gun advantage goes to GG side. However, can they get, can they convert during this rifle round and continue trying to climb back? That's gonna be what it is, right? Let's see how they're gonna do this. There, I think this might be an A rush. The shockwave goes out, not able to find anyone. The smoke comes out towards heaven. Black is able to charge it. Looking around, he might be able to retreat. He's gonna use destroy the door as quickly as possible so that they might have a flank and be able to enter so quickly. The drone goes out to see if they can get information from his AOs. Okay, there's no one else. We're gonna get the 360 view, and then they're able to jump in. Smokes are all around. HKS is at the corner, and right now, over, and they're trading kills two for one, and for the defenders. It's a 4v3. The attackers are trying to hold. No plan just yet. HKS dies to blanket. Blankets get returned, killed by Yzeos. He's gonna get one to kill. Yzeos gets two. Right now, two bo both at side at CT. They're holding Jumpy off. though. No, oh, Jumpy though. dies. It's a 1v2. He's so low, but Tress is able to clutch it. It's now 10 6, and she's GG side. Hold on for another round. Eventually, the gun difference does, mat uh, does make a difference there for GG side. Now, how does Shadow Garden want to play this? They had force bought like half by during that round, so now they don't have enough economy to actually compete against the rifles on the hands of GG side. So let's see how they set up here, and we're looking at, they seem to be more spread out this time, time or on out. the side of Shadow Garden. They're not all stacking in one side, they might try to get more information as they split. Shockwave comes out, but Yzeos really doesn't really get hurt. The Shockwave just is saving any sort of quick rush. Deathwish gets hurt, 50% of uh, 50, 50 HP down, 49. Get out of my waiting. way! And they're gonna be holding the location they have. Deathwish shoots it, HKS. HKS pops the knives out, and getting ready to get a 
few more kills before per, un, uh, likely losing this round. You see here, no one's gonna be able to contest courtyard actually. No one's within cubby, so they might actually get free range, uh, uh, free reign here over at courtyard to ever push in into mid. Um, but nothing found so far. Smoke does go out. I think they're gonna try going to mid here. This looks like a mid play. They might be able to go through. HKS does have the knife. They might be pushing through. But Amrock actually gets a shock dart kill onto Jumpy. Gets the marshal. Let's see how this goes. Has the knife. They're just holding it. Now going towards catwalk. Gonna enter Amarok though Amarok. holding Amarok. that angle. Revealing area. Ooh, I feel as well. Reveals oh, all four. four. So here comes the Razor, oh, so right Rolling Thunder oh. thrown. Oh! HKS with a no scope right there. Another one! It's a one to one, but oh. it's Step 7 and GG side secure another round. 3 round gap. 9 6, uh, 9 3 earlier. The game and there no almost being bang. saved by HKS. And this might be another one. Look at this. And another one. That was spicy, but again... Two no-scope headshots with the Marshal, all while being stunned. Almost overcame the gun difference, but luckily... Um, Macho luckily for GG side, Macho was able to secure it. Now Shadow Garden should have the rifles ready. Can they finally go to 11, or will GG side continue to run their momentum? Okay, they're pushing towards B. There's no split here. So they might be looking to commit to this. They just have to wait to pull the trigger. The drone might come out. They do have an Odin on hand. And let's see how this goes. The smoke is there. You should run. Okay, the Backer kill kill goes out. being committed. They have to back off into... Yeah, they have to back off into spawn here. Press now they out. Oh, now the swarm goes out. So you don't have to even squeeze them even further. Push them even back. They're going to be able to hold off. The, the Killjoy ult does not find anyone, but gives them the space that they need. Right now, no shoot. No kills just yet. Full 5v5 retake here on the side of GG side. Only off the charge comes out. It might Defender get Killjoy ult is no being committed. Run, Tress run. gets the kill on Jumpy. HKS able to oh, trade it though. Oh, HKS, HKS gets two. Has to reload. Oh, oh, hits the door. He Unfortunately. He's the table, now he's, he's out. Run. He's not the big However, Myojo gets one on Amarok. Gets two and finishes the round. Beautiful hold one. there by Myojo to one defend. win away from match point. This is so close right now. <laughs> Now the trade of Killjoy ult, it was less effective here because Shadow Garden just had more space to work with the side with the attacker Killjoy ult. Unfortunately, and that it. defending Killjoy ult did not cover the entirety of the boat. There's still people waiting in Bound House. They moved in from to pizza. They were able to relax, right? Go out and then re-enter. So we're gonna see how they do this. I think the read might be off here actually. You look how it is, two people towards A. I think this might Ooh, be an this even might easy. be a mystery. This is an easy entry an on easy the side entry. of Shadow Garden. So they know who Odin yeah. or from Yazeos to guarantee that there was no one at both house. Unfortunately, now though, another 5v5 retake on the side of GG side. Can they convert only with the sheriff, you know with what? a bunch of sheriffs and a shotgun? Yeah, no one's at the flank here, so you're gonna enter primarily through market and through spawn. But I'm not sure if that's the best way to do it. The charge comes out, not sure it's gonna be able to kill anyone. Deathwish has a buggy, but it's gonna be very hard to find. This must be Arctic, though, gets caught by Blanket. 4v5 jumpy gets stunned. Oh, HKS though, with a kill on to Amarok, but Yazeos with the Odin here is getting spammed through the wall though. And shorty right on the face. Beautiful thrifty round there coming from GG side. 11 8, they hold on for another round, not giving them match point, and it is a thrifty round for GG side. And that's really good. That's what we're looking for if they want to come back in this match and claim 1 0 for the match. The entry was good from Shadow Garden as it was an open free site. However, during the defend, the, during the hold, Yazeos was simply alone on site. Everyone else was outside. And unfortunately for them, they don't win the gunfights. Get out of my Can way! Head. They now we're split here. Shadow Garden's gonna be up for a more slower approach this time not looking for a rush and you see that the way they're set up one in one in trees or one in garden rather and two at the site itself for a 
So they are predicting, or at least believing, that they probably go for A. They want to cover that. And if ever B gets taken, they might play for retake instead. HKS, though, does have the knives out. I wonder if he'll use it to conquer mid. They're still holding. No info gained yet from both sides. Just feeling each other out. But I think Shadow Garden does have control over Courtyard. Except for Cubby, they're gonna have to be careful. They don't necessarily know if anyone else is there just yet, but can easily confirm if they do have the market contact. Oh, knives out. HKS is able to dive in. He's right there at bottom mid. Shockwave goes out. Doesn't Ronin. catch him. Doesn't hit anyone though. He's holding off. Just waiting for the rest of the game. And Ooh, Jumpy, Jumpy gets, gets first the kill, kill. onto Amarok. They're gonna be able to smoke market. They're gonna be able to enter. The EP doesn't Ooh, go HKS in just with yet. the kill on Machu as well with the knives. Arctic. Shoot. Five 30 seconds left. Blanket. Unfortunately for them, they're caught sleeping. Arctic though, holding. Can he find Thress or can Thress get the kill onto Arctic? Ooh, Deathwish with a kill on Jumpy. One enemy Ooh, Arctic remaining. does find Thress. Oh, Deathwish Death Wish. gets one. Get oh, getting, he's jumping around. Getting classic HKS. by HKS. Now they're at match point. They're on the cusp to winning this, becoming 1 0. Match point, match point for Shadow must Garden. Be good. Cool. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Beautiful attempt here by Deathwish. I believe he gets two. But ultimately, he dies to the classic of HKS. And, I mean. They're so close to just winning the match. I want to see what they think Hello. they have absolute confidence in. And it looks like they're going to do something different. They haven't been here a while. My they haven't been at A. Yet. So let's see how this goes. As they're going to have to push through main. No one's going to be at catwalk this time. And let's see how this goes. They are holding the position quite well. Recon bot is immediately destroyed. They're able to get some info. Two people have been pinged by the recon. Take let's flight. see if anything else happens. A drone flies up. Take catch anyone. Catch HKS. HKS. In. Dive in. Trying to shoot through the wall. Not able to find much. Just nicks him just a little bit. The smoke is out. It's the block people from heaven. The robot goes out. Doesn't shoot anyone just yet. Okay, the silver ult goes down. Arctic is going to be run. hunted down. The attack, the attack and kill drag goes out. It's going to be a tree. Down, it's still hey. a 4v4. And I don't think it's able to catch anyone. They're going to be relaxing. HK is able to peek it. You might get two. One and this might be on the end. It's going to be a win for Shadow Garden. It's 13 8 and it's 1 0 for Shadow Garden. And we're going to move on to map 2. A really dominating game from Shadow Garden. GG side being able to pull it back a teeny tiny bit there. However, the aims, the timing from HKS. Look, they were using their util. Unfortunately, didn't have their guns out. The final play remaining players up. But we're gonna go to Lotus. We're gonna get some GG's. GG side pick this. So maybe they feel more comfortable in this map. They were very close, but the gap was just too large and they were able to win.
Instagram and stay updated with their latest selections. We're giving away an amazing selection of perfumes, diffusers, essential oils, car scents, home sprays, and linen sprays from The Good Scents and Eno Parfum. To enter, like and follow at iacademy underscore edu at, and at Eno Parfum and at The Good Scents Home Fragrances and register through tinyurl.com slash iacademygamezoneammb. Make sure to be present during the draw at I Academy Game Zone this February 26th, only here at the Activity Center, Ayala Malls, Manila Bay. Other sponsors, Capture Candid Studio, The Good Sense, Eno Perfumes, Time Purse PH, Cat Beat Shop, Lahong Cafe, Season Pass, Chiesta Press, Apple Studios, Ada's Confectionery, and Aztec Print. If you want to join our game changing squad, visit our
finals match between Shadow Garden and GG side. And with Shadow Garden having the advantage, they are currently 1-0. And if they win this map, they continue and go on to the finals, which will be another best of three. So, Lotus is dead. An interesting map. And honestly, something that I do not have much information on. So we'll be, <laughs> we'll be working with whatever we have. <laughs> I mean, we'll do our best, right? We'll call out different things. Um, we, got the f we have the first lock, though, on the side of Shadow Garden being Raised Neon and Chamber. Okay. A double duelist comp on the side of Shadow Garden. I think they're feeling confident here. A bit similar to, um, to Untable Beast. But not so much so. They still do have some neutral. They do have Harbor and Faith. Ooh, the interesting Phoenix lock by GG. All right. I think... Select your agent. To be fair, though, this was selected from GG's side, if I remember correctly. Right? So maybe they have some special tech here. They have some special strategies. And that's something we have to look out towards. So let's see how that goes on their end. I and do have to say, though, the one time that I was able to play Lotus... I had a phoenix that simply popped off with 20 plus skills. So we'll see uh, you know, if this is the same Zed. style of phoenix that we'll be able to see. Zed, this is my first time seeing Lotus. Ah, I Three see. Three spectator screen. <laughs> I mean, it's a good first experience as any. Looking oh, the Lotus is a pretty fresh map. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a, it's, it is a new map, so... Um, We'll see how that goes. A but very, very varying team compositions, though. I don't think there is a single yeah, same agent yeah, here so in this game. Here. So there's completely separate agents here. So, ev so even if we just say the agent name, it is them. There's no one else that could be Phoenix. There's no one else that could be Harbor. So I want to see how that goes. Attacking is uh, Shadow Garden and defending is GG side. So we'll see how that goes. Double and duelist for both teams, though. Yeah. Double duelist. Oh, the chamber was picked um, from Jumpy. It was it was looking like a triple duelist, but not so much. And we're still loading into Lotus. Maybe it's because it's a map that's, that we haven't you know, loaded, that we haven't into, loaded yet. into yet. So it might be taking a while. But it does have three sides. It does have C. It does have B. It does have A. Right? Three sides. And something we'll have to look towards. We'll see how that goes. And um, I guess it's different that way. It's a unique selling point of Lotus. It has three sides. And um, similar to Haven, but different because it's not Haven. <laughs> Haven, Haven indeed is not Lotus, and Lotus is not Haven. Perfect analysis here from the caster's desk. <laughs> Seems I'm, that I'm we're taking my... a while to load into the game, however. Not sure if there's an issue. Maybe it really is just the loading times. We'll see if there's um, any Burn. issue at some point. But I don't think so. We're just loading in. So anyway, let's talk about Shadow Garden and um, GG side. What do you think? GG side didn't let it go. Oh, oh never here mind. We go. Here we go. We have the map out. And look at this map. There's so many ways to go around to each side. And look at C, look at B, look at A, and it is the pistol round. We'll see how this goes and see which which side they're gonna play towards. And I'm just looking at the screen, Zed. It looks so different. Seems that there is going to be a pause. The screen not oh. loading for Shadow Garden's HKS. We're gonna have to wait. Yeah, I mean that is a reasonable pause. We, that Seems that they're stuck in loading screen. So it's either you may have to reconnect or just wait for the game to catch up. And um, I guess we can continue that line of thoughts, Zed. What do you think GG side have to do to win against Shadow? Ooh, I believe they need to get a quick hold on their feet here. Because as we've seen, starting from yesterday, GG side tends to be the team that falls behind and starts trying, or at least attempting a comeback. If they aren't in a disadvantageous position right from the get-go, they may be able to take the game off of Shadow Garden. I mean, GG side was able to win a tough best of three, and it was a long match on the third one, and they came back, in fact, they were able to win. So I think GG side are not just any pressure, because they did play in this weird position where they had to come back, go to game three, and start, doing, uh, start winning, right? But I do agree, GG side got their 
matches have been the ones playing behind, so I want to see them secure some early leads. Because if you don't have an early lead, you have the economy, you have the way to win, right? It's hard to come back from from a six lead deficit, a six round deficit. So they have to give themselves like that pad. They have to just win more matches and be able to win final fights. Which I think is possible considering the fact this is their map, so maybe they have more experience. The They're situation. more comfortable in it. Maybe caught, guard in, maybe caught off guard in certain areas. So we're gonna see how that goes. We are now back though for map two. It seems that the monitor issue has been resolved. Now, considering a this is a three site map, I believe it should hypothetically be attacker sided. But as we can see, it seems that they're, they're simply go stacking to towards A. Ooh, Jumpy with the first blood already onto Deathwish. Yezeos with the wall. Pushing Pushes them back. Slows. Ooh. HKS with the jump though. Amarok with the one tap. Arctic simply winning the fight against Black Ghetto. Ooh. Can Amarok get one more? Unfortunately, he does not. But Tress gets one into Myojo. Tress is gonna push 3v2 forward. though. Spike planted. Guess Chamber up. trip. Destroyed. Arctic. All the Here. way to drop. How do G, G side yeah, try to they're retake gonna, this? They're gonna have to run into the side here. See if they get anything. Arctic is at the corner. One but he misses. Watch if he kills the trade. But the is able to secure the round. Make it 0 1. And Shadow Guard get first blood. Good fight there from both sides. Honestly. And unfortunately though, for GG side, they were simply outnumbered by Shadow Garden during that initial push. Aggression though from the side of Shadow Garden could eventually backfire on they, them. They had a very good use of the harbor wall, making space, allowing them to move forward. Because if you get caught in that, I don't think it's advantageous for you. So This now time though, change. other side of the map, they're, they're going towards C. They're gonna keep going. And they're passing by. No one really finds it. They're pushing up. He gets the ult orb. Actually, no, he doesn't. HKS is going to push forward. Maybe that's something else happens. The wall goes through. And they're going to jump in. The they're so rushing the onto the site. Arctic goes in. in. Gets tagged, though. They're inside. This looks very messy. Arctic. Arctic looks away. Recon dart. Doesn't find anyone. HKS gets Machu. Traded by Deathwish. But traded again by Jumpy. Two for one, there's gonna be advantage for Shadow Garden. It, Arctic is just waiting yeah. for the judge, not able to find anyone just yet. Blanket is still smoked out. Has to wait. Blanket, Blanket right fires. there. Myojo. Ooh, Arctic, Arctic with the push on the wall. Dress though. Sova's right there. But he's 83. But he shoots him anyway. Arctic yeah. gets a 3k. And the gun difference they're making yeah. the making it different. Who's here? You mean look you Good look at wall this. here from the harbor. Very push good them wall. back. Look at this. Okay. Now, ooh, almost Tress getting the kill almost on Arctic, but Arctic finishes off with a 3k. 2-0 I mean, for Shadow Garden. GG side should now have their weapons. And this should be their win considering equipment and also their comfortability within the map. So let's see what Sh Shadow Garden is now switching it up again. They're going to go towards A here, going to push towards the rubble. And Quick the rush again out. here from. Shadow Garden nice trying to spam through. It's almost gets tagged by the fade. It does eventually get tagged though. Do they want to force the issue? Arctic kills Amarok with a judge once again. That should be a free rifle. Oh, unfortunate flash there from Tress, I think. Jumpy gets the kill. Blanket though gets a gets three. Myojo though shuts down Deathwish. It's a 2v2. Right now, Machu's gonna have to look through the harbor wall. Doesn't is not gonna really push forward. It's gonna wait. Blanket's gonna use the uh, Astro Stars to see to smoke out. Blast kills the chamber. Ooh, Myojo oh, finally shuts gets down Blanket. Machu but he looks doesn't wrong, look at the wrong. Myojo way. is able to run and gun with the Spectre and gets 3-0 despite the gun disadvantage. Unfortunately for Machu, there he was looking at the wrong direction. Almost brought back there though by Blanket, getting the 3K during the initial push by Shadow Garden. But Shadow Garden's aggression is proving to be better right now. Myojo was just playing Apex Legends. 
Not true. Gunning. He was just running and gunning. And With the fair, gun situation, that was definitely yeah, the correct that it choice. It was the right play. Right? When you run and gun, you make it hard for um, the Ooh, enemy to aim at seems you. Seems like they want to commit again. I mean, is this going to be another with rush? With the harbor, it's so easy because you just use the wall and cut them off combined with the neon. Press though, with actually. the bucket here. Right. HKS just going in, gets spammed out. through the wall and the smoke wall. rushes in. Oh, he's already on site. Arctic Goes finds up. Tress. Goes on top. Ooh. HKS, Reading. does he aggress further? No, he does not. Fade Eye Throne doesn't find anything. The is in. It's a Information is not gained. HKS holding this angle. The wall finally drops. Will he find anyone? Ooh. The oh, stuns all of them. Oh, Ray's ult misses though. Throws a stun, accidentally hits the Arctic. Gets a kill on the Death Wish. Arctic, another one for Matthew. Do they know? They Wait do not. HKS doesn't find anyone. Turns around and gets blanket with. Oh! We even have a little bit of BM here from the side of Shadowgarden. GG side, I what mean, is your response? I mean, HK, I mean, Shadowgarden just feeling themselves as attackers. They're entering side and just dictating their will upon the match. It is, uh, it, they, they have a surmountable lead. They have a final lead here for zero. So once it again, it seems like if it's not. It's not broken. It's not looking good because like on the previous I'm match, they here. did say at some point GG side has to win one. They can't let them get away with this because if they do, they'll just keep stacking their economy. And now they're gonna try. They're not trying anything else. They keep going towards A. It's However, this time it's them. a bit more patient. Doesn't immediately rush on to side. Yeah, Gets attacked by the Sova drone though. Yazeos with the first blood on to Death Wish. Amarok though gets a kill onto Jumpy. Blanket, can he hold the site? Blanket decides to move back. Machu gets a kill on Yojo. Oh, Amarok gets another Down kill A. onto Yazeos. 3v2, the two duelists against the two non duelists actually. Arctic gets a kill onto Machu. Three sites on B. Seems like no, they're rushing towards C instead. One enemy and remaining. I mean, HKS catches Amarok during the rotate. Now, now, this is not looking good for GG Blanket side. Blanket being a bit more careful. Does he decide to save? Spike planted. Might be the choice here. They're playing slow, but seems finally like, they reunited as they're going to go towards Seems like Blanket is being conscious of the possibility that the Neon had stayed with a Lurk. Now, though, Spawn doesn't seem to be looking for anything other than maybe exit. Does he try to fight the 2v1 and get the defuse off? I mean, he's committed to it. He's already here. He's placing stars. HKS really low. One one bullet. Oh, gets maybe he's the just kill. playing for a kill, actually. Who unfortunately jumps off, tries to run away, but is found by Arctic. Arctic willing to sacrifice his life to deny Blanket a save. 5 0 on the side of Shadow they, they Garden. They have the money for it. They have the money just to sort of trade that. So it's looking really good. He tries to run away, but Blanket gets shot down by Arctic. And Arctic tries to so They have the money for it. HKS feeling the heat, fanning himself, you know, trying to cool off, trying to relax. Going 5 0. Up, so and one Operator on to jumping. How much value can he find with this? I'm not sure how much value you get out of it because it's the same thing again. Ooh. They're going to be not pushing A. They're doing something different. They're changing it up. Clever they understanding that they could get pushed with the Astra Star in place seeing as they threw a stun there. Now, they're, now though, GG side on the aggress. They decide no more will you rush us. Now we rush you. They actually are getting control of Rubble here actually. Now that they're able to get it. Death Wish at B, just waiting to see if they're able to catch anyone. No one beam. just yet. Right, currently they're going to B main, maybe looking for something. Arctic finds Tress. contact with Tress. Oh, the jump pad doesn't get anyone. It gets Arctic, it. Arctic gets a kill on to Tress. First blood here. Do they push B from B main or do they run through C door all the way to C? Face your fear. It seems like they want to commit to B with the fade ult. Ooh, Death Wish though gets a kill onto HKS. Oh. Amarok with a kill onto Arctic. Both duelists now down. Defender Killjoy ult also used. Yojo doesn't find Death Wish. Death Wish was not good for another kill. Now, Jumpy with that operator, does he find anything? 
Still holding on Astro here. was committed as well. Yazeos. Does he find anyone? Amaron. Good for oh, one him. more. Spike down now, Jumpy, beat. do you save this operator? And that or might do be the play hide? here. You don't want to give the operator Ten two, seconds left. Two, two GG side who are to losing by a big amount. And I think this is a good save on the side of Shadow Garden, which will allow GG side to get their first win within the match. 5 1. Still a dominating game by Shadow Garden. But GG side finally finding their first round. To get on the board. I think that's just the first step to potentially coming back in this game. Um, but I mean, it's still difficult. You still have four rounds to go through. And I think the economy of Shadow Garden is still pretty good. So we're gonna see how that's gonna go. Because it seems like GG side um, have to, if they wanna get rifles, they have to go for it. They're looking to get half armor actually. And you look at the guns, this is advantage for Shadow Garden. Pushing A again. Going for another push though. Stunned CP. by the Astra. Doesn't seem like they want to go for anything more though. Gonna be waiting through. They're gonna push towards Rubble. Going through the ending. door. Finds the they tree. Trade. Gets traded by Myojo though. Myojo finds another one. Now I think they're gonna be able to enter the side. Amarok here. being careful. HKS oh, no. is found by the Killjoy turret. The Unfortunately, oh. they might find each Wait. other around mid. Amarok. Amarok was loses. not looking towards HKS. HKS gets a free kill here. The now, Deathwish Death Wish on the side. Can he fight against three of the players on the side of Shadow Garden? <laughs> Jet Cloud goes out. Jumpy. Jumpy with the operator, probably looking One for anything. Yazeos gets the kill onto Deathwish. Machu is Machu discovered by the eye. Ooh, gets a kill onto Machu though. Oh, gets gets another, another one onto Myojo. This might 2v1. Be it. One more. Jumpy oh, gets a jumpy. kill with the operator. He just ends that sort of momentum. I thought he might get the 4 k if he's but no it was clean from Machu, getting one, getting the other, but then you sometimes just can't outdo an operator. <laughs> Beautiful one from Yazeos to maybe dissuade any sort of push in the first place. However, better aim from Jumpy instead. Now, a 1 6, kind of a broken buy here on the side of GG side. Now it seems like they're stacking towards, towards C. C. However, there is a Killjoy set up here that could dissuade them from going any further. Oh, HKS is jumping in with a short hit. HKS is going through. Looking for Doesn't anyone, find he's anyone. rushing in. Look at him. He might find Amarok. He finds Amarok. He's, down. He he kill. he's he looking for more. Over. Is, is this going to be an overheat? No, gets the stun onto Tress, but Blankets with the trade. Blankets. Does he know anyone is here? I think Being watched by two areas. But Arctic is just relaxing at the corner. And Arctic he gets with it. a head. Machu though. Can he push this wall? Will he decide to push this wall or will he save? Being cut off. And Arctic. Oh, yes. he almost gets the other. It's a 1 7. And it seems like Shadow Garden are sort of just running away with it at this point. Not Remember, like, we don't see another two. round win you from GG side. You have to think. It's looking like the same match again, unfortunately. From the previous match, from the previous map though, they were able to sort of come back even though for a tiny little bit. And it seems like there might be a pause here. Yeah, I mean, talking about that though, it just seems like in, like in that game, in, in a sense, it seemed much more closer in the rounds despite the numbers. But here, in the Garden are winning definitively round after round. So I'm not sure how this is gonna go. And um, if they go into the half with such a big lead, I don't see GG side winning at all. Unfortunately for them, it seems like Shadow Garden just has the better attack patterns over them. We'll see how it happens. We can improve it one by one. It's gonna take a lot of effort.
as you can see, seems like Shadow Garden want to aggress all the way to A once again. But they're spitting off actually. They're going to but it seems like there's a four there's four people from GG side here. Ooh, Chumpy gets a kill on Machu. HKS gets two. Oh no, GG side the really hammer off. So it's a flawless in so few seconds. Under 15 to 20 seconds, they just get the round the one hydrated? in. Did As I was talking sense? about, just Shadow Garden just looks so dominant in Lotus. And it's, it's so not hard even to see. their map pick. It's not. But it seems like they're just doing it. They're having fun. But it seems like they also have some experience because Zayos on the harbor has been so instrumental in the way they push and getting space and getting control towards A. And I mean, Arctic looks relaxed. So as well as the Neon, they just look really good. Jumpy, Miojo, they're all having their moments. HKS. HKS though, aggressing once again. Doesn't find anyone. It seems like GG side has finally decided to let the aggression go. Zeo, with a push. Where are Blankets, can he get, can he get one? He doesn't. That's the way. He loses the gunfight towards, his, against Yezeos. Arctic. Forcing them away, Spice Deathwish though, with a flank, gets hit by Jumpy, unfortunately. Does he know that there's stress there though? No, he does not. Tress get, finally shuts down Jumpy. Machu, how do you enter the site? Tress, do you fight for the door? Seems like they're going to push. Yazeos gets the kill onto Tress on the door. Machu, can you get more? HKS is rushing for him. HKS is running in. Low. Finds him. Doesn't seem to be. There we go. Oh, we have Machu to get finally gets one kill. Doesn't get revealed by the fade eye, but they know she's there. Machu, good for another. And it seems like Raze and Fade up. will just back off. No, no longer wanting to get their econ damaged by Machu. Once again, Machu being sort of a shining light towards GG's side, being able to hurt the economy of. Shadow Garden, as you can see, Arctic. No, Arctic actually has a lot of money still. Unfortunately for them, Jumpy has just been untouched for most of this round and most of this game, and still has a lot of economy backing him up. They, they have the Phantom, but the rest of the team for GG side doesn't have anything else. Hero, Hero Phantom here on Machu. Can he carry his team to a one-round win here? They're gonna go for towards C again. And Jumpy jump with an instant kill onto Deathwish, and that's a sign for them to instantly go in. Harbor Ult also committed. Doesn't hit anyone, though. They immediately are able to control C. Not much resistance there. So it's going to be remake for GG side to move forward. And the walls are out. Harbor and Neon using those walls effectively to control the map yeah. so quickly. Neon pushing forward. Able to control Hall. Are going to get to spawn for C. HKS is just waiting. But Jumpy gets another kill. The Machu. Blanket gets killed by HKS. It's all falling apart. They're going to run for HKS. He's right behind you. He gets another kill. He might get another. No, he doesn't. Yaseos gets a kill. But he was going to revive. He there behind the wall, the rocket launcher is out. Arctic is gonna use it and kill Stress and causes the lead. And they are just using everything. And it's a one he even band. kills his own teammates. Last round before the swap, though. And side pull it to a 10 2 round. I mean, this looks so dominant. For sh this is probably the most dominant half we had in the tournament where it's really 1 10. At least at some point with other teams, they were able to come. But this one is legit. A one, could be a 111. We'll wait and see to s with how GG side want to play their last rifle round of the half. You want to play? Let's play. Chamber was used as well. Yeah, with the wall, they're rushing in. Arctic gonna go through the hard wall. Already out. Hammer up. Hammer up. Able to kill him. Back is still waiting off the side. He's there. He's gonna get the one on Tress. It's a 4v4. We're just gonna run in. Get the Gonna get HKS gets a kill. Right now, its advantage is on Shadow Garden. Blanket has to back off, but now they're going towards B. They're gonna have to be playing for the retake. They're gonna go for the plant already. Blanket's off to the side here from spawn. Be able to see if they Spike see planted. anyone, but no one just yet. Astro Wall and Killjoy Ult are ready to go. Will they commit it? Blanket. Can you find anyone? Myojo though with a head tap. Oh, another, another one on Machu. Fade ult thrown onto Deathwish and ultimately dies against Jumpy. 
111 dominant dominant half here from Shadow Garden. It's Can GG side bring it back? It's it's a 10 round deficit. I am a believer, but sometimes even the most devout of believers have doubt, Zed. And I have doubt in this case. If they just look so strong, there just hasn't been enough flashes of brilliance or flashes of capability for them to overcome Shadow Garden. So, I mean, maybe they reset here, it's a new half, they turn off the scoreboard, it's 0-0. Otherwise, though, I'm not sure how this is gonna go. If you're GG side, you want look, to look, win this round. Look at, their, look at their positions, though. This might Seems be a read. Like they're so ready for it. This might be an excellent read. They're gonna be able to go through, and this is gonna start this where it begins. And they're gonna be aggressive. the ones first. They're the ones aggressing here the ones on the defending forward. side. HKS is going forward. They're pushing into their spawn. Hammer off though. Yazeos gets Slide one down. on Deathwish. They're spawn. being pincered. They're being pincered here Jump over at right A3. There. They're going forward. This is their trap. They're gonna be able to make Yazeos gets, gets one more Arctic. Gets one. Yazeos with three. They Finished one by... 12. 112 on the side of Shadow Garden. They said we're they the defenders, but we're point. rushing. They knew already. They're the ones that have been rushing A, and they just decide it's now our turn on the Xbox, and that's what they do. They get another, and they just get so many kills and gun them down. It's fun, and it's so, so dominant. And it's so hard to see if there's any other angle, a little sliver of hope for GG side. The only thing I can say is Let's maybe they can delay it for another round. Forced by here from GG. They have no other choice but to win this round. Another aggression from Shadow Garden. They're pushing through. They're pushing HKS through. With Will they expect it? HKS. Oh, Hammer off with the kill on this to Mojo as well. Play, however, because he already lost two Manders with Arctic with the judge. Arctic one. one. He's moving Spike around. Down. He might be able to get another long range shotgun maneuver. Jazeos get gets one on to Tress. Unfortunately, Arctic gets one more. No. Killing them. From an advantage, numbers advantage. They're pincered. They're pincered here over at the attacker side spawn. Is well, Yazeos, Yazeos, is he good for three? No. He's, good, he's good for two. Can he get the last he's one? Hit. Wall here, oh, but Arctic it. finishes it Defenders off with a long range win. judge kill. 13 1. Dominant game from Shadow and Garden against their own enemy's map pick. Shadow the grand finals and wait for either Polybrum or Untamable Beast to move on and they are gonna sit comfortably as a 2-0 and a dominant game on both ends and congratulations to Shadow Garden for moving on and well it was a good showing from GG side we're able to win against the same stars but their journey ends unfortunately and we're not able to get the game off I hope to see GG side in the next tournament see if they got more to show but for now it is gonna be Shadow Garden that moves on if you could call Shadow Garden to please come to the center of the stage for your photo op. Time slows down when it can get no worse. I can't feel it running out on me. I don't want these to be my last words. I'll forget.
the nexus of hexagons. In nature, believe it or not, we have a series of hexagons seen outside of traditional drawing. Hexagons are present even in the smallest to the grandest of things. We have endless associations to prove our infinite presence. We are inevitably present, synergetic at best. The almighty hexagon is here and now. And together, we are Nexus. We are a network of different things, capabilities, power. We are the focal point, the center of change, the reason behind catalysts. We birth ideas into the world, the tiny spark of electric pulses in each brain that pushes for change. We are the needle, always different, always game-changing. We are the noise that disrupts the normal and choose to be heard and to be seen. We don't hold the shape we're expected to be. We create our own shape. We are a different group, a specific type, a nexus of different purposes. We exist to propel. We are the present, ever capable, of changing tomorrow, we make dreams come true. Through our nexus, we are made stronger. We see our power. We claim this. We let it be known. We are the hands that shape tomorrow. This is who we are. But the question is, what's next for us? Well, tomorrows are certain, okay? This is how we visualize tomorrow. It stops there. It's infinitely available, but it always stops there. Now is how we even create a tomorrow. The future is not next. The future is now.
job.
hindi pa nabibreak sa shells nila. the nexus of hexagons in nature believe it or not we have a series of hexagons seen outside of traditional geometry hexagons are present even in the smallest to the grandest of things we have endless associations to prove our infinite presence we are inevitably present synergetic Almighty Hexagon is here and now. And together, we are Nexus. We are a network of different things, capabilities, power. We are the focal point, the center of change, the reason behind catalysts. We birth ideas into the world, the tiny spark of electric pulses in each brain that pushes for change. We are the Neo, always different, always game-changing. We are the noise that disrupts the normal. We choose to be heard and to be seen. 
We don't hold the shape we're expected to be. We create our own shape. We are a different group, a specific tribe, a nexus of different people. And we exist to propel. We are the present, ever capable of changing tomorrow. We make dreams. stronger. We see our power. We claim this and we let it be known. We are the heads that shape tomorrow. This is who we are. But the question is, what's next for us? Well, tomorrow's our certain ahead. This is how we vision our tomorrow. It stops there. It's infinitely available, but it always stops. Now is how we even create a tomorrow. The future is not next. The future is now. Want to win special prizes from Wacko Meninja? Head over to the freehand drawing station across the activity center and show your creative genius by using the art materials stated in each of the tables. Get a chance to bring home one by Wacko by sending your artworks and illustrations to corpcom at iacademy.edu.ph. Include your name, school, and contact number in the email and share your entry by tagging at iacademy underscore edu at Wacong Philippines and at inzel.corp and use the hashtag hashtag iacademy game zone. Looking for unique, high quality items designed by talented individuals? Visit Siesta Press at iacademy game zone and shop a selection of carefully made products like tote bags, mugs, shirts, and more, all designed by the alumni game changers from iacademy. Explore the magic of AR at the play corner across Activity Center just beside Hawker Chan and see wonders come to life. Play Corner is selling AR-enabled shirts and stickers for less than 300 pesos. Visit their booth and check out their cool stuff. Any coffee lovers in the area? Lakong Cafe offers caffeinated and non-caffeinated drinks such as strawberry lattes and Hershey's cocoa. Visit their booth today and get your coffee fix today for only 100 pesos.
nexus of hexagons. In nature, believe it or not, we have a series of hexagons seen outside of traditional geometry. Hexagons are present even in the smallest to the grandest of things. We have endless associations to prove our infinite presence. We are inevitably present. The almighty hexagon is here and now. And together, we are Nexus. We are a network of different things, capabilities, power. We are the focal point, the center of change, the reason behind catalysts. We birth ideas into the world. The tiny spark of electric pulses in each brain that pushes for change. We are the new wave, always different, always game changing. We are the noise that disrupts the normal. We choose to be heard and to be seen. We don't hold the shape we're expected to be. We create our own shape. We are a different group, a specific tribe, a nexus of different people. We exist to propel. Are the present ever capable of changing tomorrow? We make dreams come true. Through our nexus, we are made stronger. We see our power. We claim this. Want to win special theme. prizes from Wacom we and Inza? Head on over to the freehand drawing station theme. across the activity center and show this your creative genius by are. using the art material stations in each of the, the tables. Is, Get a chance to bring home correct. one by Wacom well, by sending your so artworks and so illustrations to corpcom at iacademy.edu.ph and include it's your name, available. school, and contact but number in the email. Share your entry by tagging by tagging now at iacademy underscore edu, at Wacom the Philippines, and at insult.corp. And use the, the hashtag, hashtag iacademygamezone. Now. Explore the magic of AR at the Play Center, Play Corner, across the Activity Center, just beside Hawker Chat, and see wonders come to life. Play Corner is selling AR-enabled shirts and stickers for less than 300 pesos. Visit their booth and check out their cool stuff.
WWHI, we have a mini exhibit featuring the many works of our Eye Academy students, and this event would not be possible without our partners and collaborators. We'd like to thank our partners and collaborators in Red Dragon Philippines, MSI, Wacom, Capture Candid Studio, The Good Scent, NO Perfumes, Time for CH, Cat UG Shop, Lacom Cafe, Season Pass, Siesta Press, Apple Studios, Ada's Confectionery, and Aspect Prints. And if you're interested in joining our game-changing squad, visit our admissions booth to know more about our specialized senior high school and college programs. But aside from that, we have the second semifinals of Untamable Beast versus Polybrum. Now, both of these teams we've seen before. In fact, they were the finalists of the last game zone I Academy has hold has held. So, yeah, exactly. So there, this could be just a replay of the finals, and it could be definitely an explosive match. And to introduce have, yeah. the players for Untamable Beasts, we have Unlimited Riz, Takibe, Humble God, Dinkle, and LC Maki. And on the side of Polybroom, we have Alden, Edit, Hapsal, who is currently benched. In replacement, though, we have Caribou, Class, and finally, Brickay. So these are the three maps that are going to be used for the semifinals. Bayan on the first map, Breeze on the second, and Pearl being the decider between the two if this ever goes to a game three. Bayan and Breeze has not been played in this tournament, so it's going to be the first look and see how, and we're going to be seeing these teams first time on Bayan and Breeze in this tournament. Definitely new map for both of these teams so far. And Untamable Beasts will be on the attacking. As you remember from the earlier game from today, Untamable Beasts did play a five duelist composition, so they're definitely well versed on the idea of attacking. And uh, to be fair, though, I think we have to admit that was sort of a four fun comp, right? They were feeling comfortable, but I don't think they have the luxury to do that against Polybrum. Especially if they want to make it to 2-0, they have to be playing seriously. But the thing is, you can't really count out Polybrum. They're also really coordinated, they're really strong, they were looking clean in their first map. And, uh, but the first map is advantage on Table Beast because it is their pick. And we want to see how this goes, how these two teams clash at bind. And we're going to have to see their, also their aging selections and see what the difference they're going to lie with both compositions. Speaking of the brackets for Valorant Tournament, we have Shadow Guarding awaiting the results of this semi-final match between Untamable Beasts and Polybroom. And here's the thing, right? Untamable Beasts, and un I think unlike the first semi-finals, we mentioned this was the finals in the previous game zone. These two teams are both strong. So I think what we can expect is a really good match on both ends. It could go either side, whether they're prepared for today, whether they show up, right? This Polybroom show look good yesterday, but they don't know if they look good today. We have seen Untable Beats play today, and they're looking pretty good. They're relaxed, they have fun, they're laughing, but I want to see if they keep up that same energy when they get into this match. Now, let's highlight some of the standout players from both teams so far. I believe we can both agree that Unlimited Riz Unlimited. and the Humble God were stars of Untamable Beasts for their earlier game. And as for the side of Polybroom, it was Edit and Brickay making, making some noise, as well as their sub, Caribou, as well. Yeah, they were having some moments. Caribou had actually a 1v4 um, ace, if you remember, cor uh, yes, remember correctly. Yes, on the map of Split. So, yeah, it's going to be a matter of, we just have to see how they play, see how the first rounds go, and then we'll see if anyone gets an early lead, whether it's a trade of one round after another. And that's where the excitement lies. But in terms of what I think is going to happen, right? Um, the results of the finals in the last one is it was a untamable, untamable beast win, right? Polybrum, I think, fall. Um, it was a best of one. So after one game, the MEG were eliminated. But this is going to be a best of three. Best of threes are a different beast compared to best of ones. And you actually have time for adjustments. You have time to get um, to feel the opponent out and make adjustments. Unlike a best of one, which is very volatile. So there, it could very well be one person, uh, one team wins the first map, then the second, and then the adjustments on both sides will lead them to a win at game three uh, in the third map. And that.
that's going to be sort of what difference in teams who can make the adjustments, who can stay strong throughout three games. We'll potentially see a really explosive game, especially coming from Polybrood. To them, this is their revenge match for the qualifying finals, and we're immediately going to Agent Select. Class with the insta lock on Viper, unlimited oh, Rizdo hovering the Yoru. I'm looking at it, but I think this time we don't see the five duelist hover, so I don't think we can look at it. We might get a double duelist though. However, we have Chamber, Breach, and Brimstone locked it in look, for Polybroom as look, well. Polybroom looks like they've talked about this, they just instantly locked in all their agents and. They seem ready and poised. They look ready to go. They just want to get into the match. And that's what I want to see from Polybrook. They just want to be like, let's get into the match. No need to wait. Let's load it up. Let's go. No need to run the timer down. So Unlimited Riz is on the jet. We've seen this before. He's a very good player. I think we have to look out, uh, look out at that and see if Jet's going to pop off in this game. And everyone else is still hovering. Maybe they're still discussing what do we need? What do we want to look for? Now we'll wait and see to see who is their choice of smoker as you can see from polybroom here they have decided to go with a double controller with the viper and the brimstone will untamable beasts follow suit their choice of sentinel seems to be a cypher Ooh, not I too rare cypher. with the thanks to the cypher buffs giving yeah. them a longer um, if from what i remember with cypher cypher tends to be a really good um, defender for B, right? I think he's really good there with a lot of tripwire options, definitely with the cover as well. Um, I think it's just a really good pick. It also has some options with A. I think Cypher is underrated. I really like him as an agent because he's just my boy. I love Cypher. So I want to see how that is going to be utilized. And they also have a Sova. They can get a lot of info with this crew, the tripwires, the recon darts as well um, for the side of Untamable Beasts who are attacking. But on defend, defending, they also have their own fair share of crowd control. Now, we'll be waiting for the map to load behind being a new one. Maybe that's why the loader, the loading is taking quite a bit. We have, okay, Zed. I think we're getting to the point where it'll be interesting for this matchup. Who do you think is going to win? Who, do you, who is your bet on? I am betting on Polybroom for this one. Oh, why is that? Ooh, I believe the con the double controller just lets them get in like more space as compared to Untamable Beast. But we'll definitely have to see how Polybroom decides to use this double controller game. However, we are now starting. So let's see how they split up here. Um, right now, this is the interesting fact with Bind. There is no mid here, only entrances to A and B with teleporters that go from side to side. So that is the uniqueness of this uh, for this game. And the teleporters could be could, work. could be something to look at, see if, how they use it, how to make plays out of it. And for me, Zed, I'm actually thinking on Table Beast. I'm feeling they will win. You're, you think they're going to keep their momentum because, from the earlier yeah, game? Yeah, because I think that's the thing, right? I, they're, fe they're confident right now. They played a really oh. dominant game. Here comes the aggress oh, here from Polybroom, though. Let's see how this Seeing goes. if they can catch anyone off in this push. Launching Aggressive smoke. push here. A short moving in. They're ready to get Rushing control. In. However, Untamable Beast actually going through B long instead. They're going to have to reinforce B. Caribou oh. caught sleeping by Dinkle. Unfortunate. Claims the Sheriff. Caribou Cage just three. got caught. Cage Dinkle nice going cover. for a solo push here. Perhaps baiting oh, the other oh, team. Dinkle misses. Dinkle the misses though on Alden. Alden, can he get the kill? Oh, he's Alden down does ready. get the kill. However, class is unchecked here. Unlimited Riz going forward on spawn. Doesn't seem to find anyone. Class still undetected here. Over at the elbow. Yeah, this is a very um, Humble God enemy gets lines. one on Alden Hold though. On. Do this they know where class is? They seven. don't. They Reload. get one. He might get another. He gets two. He gets another. It's a 1v2, but with the shorty. 1v2 though, with the shorty, switches to ghost. He has it, he has one, no! Oh. Humble God with a 4k, a 3k there. Oh, you see Humble God putting his hands up. Oh no, sit down. 
down and he gets two kills here. We're talking might see something Beautiful special. Beautiful attempt there from Class though. Remained right undetected there. over at Elbow and was able to get the beast. That was a 4k for Humble God. Look at him. He's looking strong. And this is what I'm talking about. I think that's the reason why I really like them is that they just see, they haven't been pushed to the limit yet. They look so comfortable in a lot of their right matches. There. So right now, that's why I think they're the favorites to win for this match because they just look so good, right? So we're gonna see how this round goes. If they're expected to win it for sure based on guns. This time, Polybroom with the gun disadvantage, deciding to back off a bit more, being more defensive. Will Class get another kill on Shockwave? Shorty doesn't seem to be the Class. case. Gets stunned though by the Breach. They're all hovering over Venom. B here. Dissuading a push a here from Untamable Beast. Untamable Beast, though, patient, waits it out. Glass, still undetected here. Waiting in Luka. Dinko sets up a camera. Unlimited Riz with a kill on Brick Gates. Glass, will he be found? He is found, but Ooh. he almost gets the kill. However, Dinko taps him in the head and gets the kill. Yeah, so this Spike is a 3v5 situation. They're planting at B. There's going to be no other angle except they're going to be coming from spawn. I, this is going to be a bit difficult. The smoke's already out. They're all looking at this one place. Another smoke. It's going to be so hard to push this, but they're going to have to bite the bullet and go for it. The smoke is already down. The grenade is out. And Okay, Alvin already dies, but gets a grenade on the One Dinkle. enemy remaining. And the Kibe gets one on edit. Stunned okay, on the oh. Rebu. Then ultimately dies to the Kibe's long range specter. Yeah, a lot of these times we look towards class as the Viper at B. And he's had shorts in both occasions, uh, has a shorty in both occasions, right? Which limits his options in moments that he can't really use it at range, right? Or use it at an effective range. So we have to look out now. That Seems though that adjustment. they have a different adjustment here for this round. Yeah. The I rifle guess. round, very important here for Polybroom if they want to stop the momentum of Untamable Beast. Yeah, we don't want to get to a 3-0. That makes it so much more different because you have to like, give up another round based on your weapon. So let's see how this goes. They're all stacking towards A. They're going to go towards Bath and we'll see how that goes. Right now they're pushing. No contact has been made yet. The camera's out. No one has been spotted. The camera goes back to Dinkle. Now they're going to push forward in yes. through short. Alden looking at the teleporter. Nothing else was happening. There are two defenders into A. They could use this as a summer's advantage. Smokes goes out. There might, this might be the trigger, but the poison's out. It stops him. Alden's gonna hold here. Does he know what's going on? Dinkle's just right there. He's gonna be spotted, but Alden's the one that loses the gunfight. And Ricky might be able to come over. He's gonna be able to shoot him down. It's a 4v4. It's now equalized. That's looking good. But and then the Grizz, though, gets a kill onto class. Now he's Smokes inside. are gone. He's not going to be waiting in the laps. Okay, Riz is going to keep going forward. The smoke is out. He's going to be able to push it to side. They might have the space. The spike is ready to be planted. Ricky is just waiting. Riz is just looking towards the spawn. Edit has to go in. But does he know Riz is there? And yes, he does. Edit is going to be able to move in. It's a 3v3. They still have a chance. They still have a shot. They're shooting. But no shots have been seen so far. Through the crate. Kyro gets one. Will they get another? It's a 2v3. It's 2v2. Ricky looks at the, the long, the wrong side. Okay. Yes, I think Polybroom able to convert the bonus round, going 1-2. However, losing three of their players in that round as well. This may be damaging their economy quite that, that, a that, bit. That's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt. But now, I think on the side of Untamable Beast, they should have their rifles ready and loaded as well. We'll see if they can, if Polybroom can go for a 2-2 or if Untamable Beasts can convert the round to make it a 3-1 Yeah, you look, you look at what they have. Caribou and Class have to opt for a classic with full armor. Right there. And oh, they actually get the judge though. But like, it, but like you said, the three deaths hurt a lot in that third round. So this might be disadvantage for them, but they want to be able to tie it up to 2-2. Right now they're going to be moving forward. They're split up here. The attack approach is a bit different this time, but they're going to go for one too long. Use the flash. Dekabe is going to move forward. Rikke is right there. Ready Rikke trying to go later. aggressive. That dodges the stun. He's just Ooh, pixel. In. He's going to shockwave. He's holding them off. He has to run away from Garden, but he's gonna, the smoke's already out. Dekabe in the smoke. What are they going to do? Will they aggress? No, they just want to pick up the orb. They're still waiting. The trigger hasn't been pulled yet. They're still waiting for the right moment, seeing if there's a rotation coming from both sides. They're still oh, waiting because there's a new cut. The bolt is already out. Coming in. 
Stack your base. Block. Edit. Edit gets kill? kill on to unlimited risk. And judge kill on to Alden. It's traded by LC Maki though. Brickay. Can he get one enemy remaining? Brickay gets one. Spike can he get two? Kimo Beast is last, last member. Stassing. Can he be able to do it? He is. Do they know where home. he is? Karibu doesn't seem to know. I think they know. I think they know. Brickay. Oh, wait a minute. Watch. Wait Karibu. a minute. They don't know. Thank you, can you know oh, they he know? The Karibo was just waiting. Karibo. Good, conf good convert there from Polygon to make it 2-2-2. Two, two, yeah, two, two. We were worried because we look at the spot of their guns, right? And they're able to secure that very cleanly. They're able to get the kills that they need. And now we're going to see how they're set up again because now this is sort of a refresh here. Karibo with the operator. Feeling good about himself. And... Damaged yeah. economy for Untamable Beasts. However, they do have one hero rifle on Unlimited Riz. Yeah, I mean he's he's been a star of the show from uh, from other games, so we could potentially see a pop off here. Now they're gonna be playing for both short baths and potentially long here. They split up they split up their team. And there Edit though seems ready for any aggression yeah, here. Caribou is the kill. one, but Maki gets one on task on the other side oh, of the map. Unlimited Riz left really low here at 3 HP. Will they continue the aggression? Alzi Maki finds Alvin though. Rikki gets one. Rikki gets two. Is ultimately killed down by Unlimited Riz. 2v2 here with both spikes. So planted. low. They're so, so low. low. This might be a bit hard for the side of Antero Beast. But you know what? Things can happen. Magic can happen here. Edit is moving forward from spawn. Gonna put the smokes for safety. I think smokes that's a very down. good Stim play. Down. But he has the Karibo. He gets one. But Dekka now runs standing. away. This is the offering. Does Karibo gonna switch? The shock wait. The shock's gonna miss. The charge's gonna miss. 30 HP. Can do it? He has his knife out. And then he just rushes him for Karibo. Calm and ready is able to put down Takabe and is going to be able to secure the lead for his team. A quick switch from the operator to the master to make sure he can fight in equal terms. Beautiful play there I, by I like how he Hollywood. just rushes it. He knows he's low. He just grabs a gun and shoots him down and swaps and goes for it. That's what you love to see. Now it's 3 2. We're just. This is going to be a back and forth game from, from, from the looks of it, Zed. Rifle round for most of the Untamable Beasts except for Unlimited Riz. However, he does have the knives to work with. Will he get value from these knives though? You see here, they're actually going up the hookah. They might be playing for... Uh, for Prepare for get help! Out of my way. For with the oh, aggress here. Going. Doesn't seem to go. Jumping in. They're the on knives. site. Unlimited Riz going in. Aggressive. They're already on to A. That can base at 30 HP already. That's a bit dangerous. But Karibo is smoked out. Can be able to get the plan. The Cypher smoke goes out. They have to guard them. There's shots. Class is still gets one on the key base. He cancels can the, the plan. Oh, he gets, gets one more on Humble God. Unlimited Riz has. Oh, it's killed down by Karibu. However, traded by Dinkel. Ult comes out of the breach. Can they find everyone? He's Cypher hiding on the side. How they can find anything? LC Maki get gets one on Rikki. Okay, misses the off shot. Alden, can, he, can he get it? One enemy. He gets one, one on LC Maki. Going with the shorty. Going with the shorty. Oh my god! Oh, he runs out of oh, the rocket launcher. Oh my god! No, oh. they traded. Unfortunately for Alden, Dinkel gets the kill first. That was explosive. He just pulls out the jump pad. He tries to shoot him, misses the first shot. He turns around as a rocket launcher, but he gets he dies in 11 HP. Classic right click there from Dinkel. That's so unfortunate there from Body Broom. Oh, that is what I love to see. This is Valorant, the close matches, the close firefights on the edge. But unfortunately, I think they will be have the advantage in this uh, in this round. Now, can they recover? They have a weaker buy here. Maki uh, seems to have tagged someone. Just holding. Right now, they're trying to get info. With they're a hero moving slowly. Vandal, I believe. Let's see if he can convert something with this. The point drone. They're actually moving oh, towards. Oh, the Driz gets the first blood onto Brickay. The drone seems to be able to spot finds out. Alden. They know he's there. What do they do with this information? It seems that they want go to back run, out first. Edit seems, un seems unchecked. They're on to the side. Edit left unchecked. Ooh. Got one, however, ultimately falls to the key bay. Not ready yet. 
There's going to be a retake on the side of Polybrook with two members left, which might be a bit difficult considering the numbers advantage on the side of Antimo They Beast. do have the Vandal and the Operator on the side they of do. Glass and Caribou. Oh, they can maybe make both. magic here. Glass is just shooting. Doesn't find anyone. He's going to move up to Elbow. Fortunately, they don't have Wait info. And in Glass finds someone. Finds one they see someone at Luka, unfortunately gets unchecked. Oh. LC Maki with a 2k on class and Caribou. They now are able to break the tie and get one round lead on them. But, you know, the game goes back and forth. And that was a disadvantage for... for did I say it? Someone was disadvantaged in that and someone won. <laughs> anyway. Seems I mean, like a, once again, Polybroom on a really bad buy. Cool. Yeah. Seems like the hero rifles didn't did not work at all. I mean that's Crack what happens, right? Down. Now we're looking at here, they're changing their approach. They're gonna be going towards A, and only one member is there. So it's ahead. only class. Can he hold off this assault? Because five members are rushing in. He First might have to relinquish the control oh, so early. He does have to share. Can he go for the one tap? No, he doesn't. Riz is able to kill him and shut him down quickly. Riz is gonna move into heaven, immediately getting control into spawn and holding them off. And right now the rest of the team is scattering. They're gonna be able to try to enter the different sides. They're now moving to bats. The smokes are gonna be out. Breaky is gonna move forward, gonna use the flash and then move in. Riz is waiting at spawn. Humble God gets a kill. They're trading one for one. 3v4 right now. Riz is right there. But Karibu the shots him down. Edit also with a Last frenzy kill on El Maki. Takibe looking Karibu. behind. Can he do it? No, he can't. Unfortunate miss there from Karibu. Could have had it all. Could have gotten his team one more round. 3-5 towards Untamable Beast. They Unfortunate miss there. A lot of this wins. Margins by the slimmest of aims, and that's what makes this so tense right now because both teams can are can win a round. But right? that was an eco round for Polybrew. Now they have the rifles. Can they go four five against Untamable Beasts? That's gonna be right the there. question, isn't it? Break Seems like Untamable Beasts want to aggress. Doesn't seem to find anything. Spike, but Forces this, Alden out. Yeah, this is looking like a B angle right now. They're holding both. Going to enter both from Ruka and from Garden. But they're going to go slowly. They don't have Unlimited much Riz just yet. Going really aggressive here. Riz. Shooting at the crate. They know Alden's there. They just kill him. Oh, he gets one. It's Alden a gets one though. Down, B. Edit. Being fired at. Seems to live though. Unlimited Riz. Does he aggress oh, further? Breach out. ult coming out. Able to find edit there. That was a good all. Was able to shut down the defenders of V. Karibu. Now Karibu can, can try do again? something again. Spike planted. He's, hold, he's waiting. He's holding. He's gonna go towards elbow. He catches, catches Maki. Maki but he's, not he's gonna have to go forward. But he's running away just like that. And Last he's still alive. And Glass is dead. He's only one alive. And they surround him and kill him. It's a 3 6. They're pulling away with a three round lead. Unlimited Riz there, getting all, getting almost everyone from Team Polybroom. I mean, whew. that was a very definitive round that starting from the Breach Alt was able to kill two defenders or put them in a state to be killed. Okay. That was an excellent timing for the ult. Looking at Untable Beast, they just look so clean, look so coordinated and finding ways to attack. And this time they're switching it up again. They're not... Just staying in one side, they're gonna be attacking in different sides. Now they're going to bats with different numbers, and four people might go pretty short. I'll then get shockwave. He's right in the corner. The grenade doesn't hit anyone just yet. He has to remove, but they know he's there. He's getting flashed. He might get gunned down. He's right there. He's not even gonna kill. But the one for one, Rick is gonna have to fall back with the stinger. He's gonna look up, doesn't kill anyone. He's shooting through the smoke, and Dinko gets a kill. It's a 3v4, and the rest of the team has to run into A. Because Flash is the only one there with a the vandal, but he trades him back. He might be able to hold them. Class is gonna hold. He's gonna tell them to get away. He has the shorty, yeah. get the foot on the poison. The Dinko's right there. Does he know he's just holding it? He doesn't know he's Karibu. still in the Can he hold B on his Wait own? Oh, he shoots him down. He hears him. Now they transfer towards B. But this Karibu falls down to Humble God. Now Edit and Class have to retake B on their own. Spike planted. Edit with a weaker gun, only having the Sheriff. Class, however, having the Vandal on his hand. He has to rotate fast. He's going... He's gonna go to Garden. That's Humble God, ups. really low. Will he? Will Edit be able Hold to on. find him on this pocket? Wait a minute. They might. They might not know where Glass is. Oh, Edith. they know. Oh, they know Edit's there, but he's able to live. 
Now, class, does he fight back? Who humble God? The time is going. The clock is ticking. They have to Last go if they want to get this round. Class finds Class humble God. Can he find the key bay as well? He's running forward. He shoots and looks over else. But no, no, the sheriff. He gets him. And, and he gets him though. Get does him. he have time to defuse? I think they do. I think they wait. Oh! Oh! No. oh. Three seven Point by three. milliseconds. It was so zero zero point zero three. Insanely close, their unfortunate four polybroom there. Now they move to a 3 7. But however, Caution here. another shining light is that was another eco round by them. It they might not here. be damaging the economy of Untamable Beast too much because of the rounds that Stacking. they've been able to string together. But they are fighting back, they are showing signs the of Rebo life. does have the operator. This Pretty might be now with the ready. operator. Now they're sort of splitting up again. This time they're not really being more aggressive. They're holding back and they're gonna slowly walk, get some more info. They decided B is gonna be the, the approach here. Ray's gonna make Edit first contact. Breaking. Oh, Almost kills Brick A through the wall, but doesn't know someone's Brick A. They, 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 they have an idea. Right there. They have they have idea. One. Edit, can he get out? He's able to leave as well, smoking out, smoke. denying another push. From Untamable Beast. Oh, Untamable Beast, though, both, with no. another aggress. Molly, yes. though. He's running this... into the smoke. Edit. Edit. Can he sneak in? Wait a minute. There's he has a pocket. Wait a minute. He gets one. He gets two. He gets two. He gets two. He gets three. Edit. He saves this round. It's a 1v4. And there's only one member left in Hookah. And he's down. They now reclaim another round. It is 4 7 with Edit with a 3k. 4k, actually. 4K. That triple kill though, Ooh, that was clean, let's go! A clean a clean first kill there with the help from the breach setup, but as well as another solo triple kill there. That was good. He moved into smoke and they weren't looking there. He they found weren't the anticipating pocket. the aggressive push through the smoke by edit. Able to see a pocket wherein he can shoot everyone. That's a type of play to bring your team back into the match. That is the play we're looking for Get from Edit. Now they're gonna hold off. Seems like Jet though from Untamable Beasts going to aggress Karibu still with the operator, I believe. Edit does have ult. He's gonna wait and hold on from using it. Right now, we're still playing slow. The shockwave goes Edith out. He is stunned. Hit by the stun. Oh, he he's getting ready, ready though. He's getting it ready. Doesn't Waiting for the top from teammates oh, actually, and guy. now is able to use it and blocks uh, blocks the side from Garden, but catches no one. But it delays them even further. Right now, you see two members at Bath. They might be looking for a quick flank, but they actually still don't know how many people are at B, who are at short, who are at Cubby. They they don't know just yet. They're just holding off. This is playing slow. I think. Untamable Beasts are looking for a pick potentially, but they are gonna eventually move up. They have, they're gonna wait out the smokes, and they're gonna Cypher, look for a favorable Cypher though, able time. to sneak in over to A is. Wait a minute. Is Ray's looking? Cypher? Ray's oh. is looking indeed and gets the kill onto Dinkle. Oh, Edit it. though, preparing the molly, throws it out. Unlimited Riz trying to get a kill with the judge. Edit. Thirty yes. seconds left. Gets pincered in two sides though. They claim the side. They're gonna have to play for retake here, but they still have members within B. They haven't claimed elbow. They still have sort of control there. They're still in the main side. They have long. They have. Uh, they also Jet have aggressing short. though. Will he be able to get? Oh, oh. he misses. Alden trades it though. Three v three. All ults available for untamable I beasts. Think have, though. I think they have a post plan here actually. Here it comes. The ult. Breach ult comes out. How oh, Alden's ult does not hit. Brigade though aggressing. Pushing forcing forward. him out, yeah. gets the well, kill on to breach. Looking they're looking for the brimstone to hopefully no. a counter. No oh, one. Oh, oh, no. another Sova oh. insane post plant here by Untamable Beast. They can't so refuse. Oh, oh, no. Can they he knew. get the exit though? Brickay gets one. At least damages Maki. Switching the economy, but it's a switch side. They it doesn't even eight matter four. anymore. 8 4. Doable though. I can see signs of life from Polybroom. Right and just more clutches coming out of Untamable Beasts. Now that here. just shows how powerful when you have ults available for the post plant. A combination of Brimstone and then you have Sova ult. It's unplayable. It's un. 
it's undefusable at that point. What are you gonna do? Unless the rest of your team is able to push forward and find them, but all they have to do is just go back because both of those alts can be, it's global. You can do it from anywhere. And with the right pings, you don't even have to aim with the Sova. You have to just trust your teammates. And now, but they're on the attack though. Things sw switch up. Right it's a metal reset on right both there. sides. Polybloom, they want to win this round and hopefully get themselves in a position to go 6-8. Karibu with the first blood onto Unlimited Brickay. Riz. Bricke preparing Brickay. a flash for Alden. Pushing forward. Ah. Oh, Alden blinded, gets blinded though. as well though. Able to live. Takibe though with Slide one down. on edit. Okay. Humble God. Does he get Alden? Alden finds Maki. Loses. Unfortunately loses the gunfight. Bricke though trades it. Humble yeah, God remained it. undetected. Gets the kill onto Bricke. Takibe holding back. 2v3. Karibu really low here. Can class hit it. clutch one out? It's waiting. Right now, 2v3. Still a chance. It's pistol round. And they're not grouped up, actually. Potentially, they could just kill them one by one. But they have to be careful here. Both Crossfire Humble here. God is right there. This blast. No, he turns around. He gets him. The Grievous here. He shoots him again. Humble God shuts them down. And it goes to a 4 and 9. They're getting closer and closer to a game one victory. Humble God with the 3k with the ghost remained undetected for such a long time unfortunately there for the class he sees him for a millisecond but also turns away now 410 is the expected round here unless polybroom can find a way to win with pistols only i mean that's gonna be hard right here it's gonna be probably a 410 if if they're not able to do anything. You see, they're gonna play Unlimited so Riz going for the address. Gets a kill on Alden. Rikke gets, gets one on Humble God, but Unlimited Riz ultimately gets two. I like this camp. Now they're pushing towards the A. Are they prepared? Is Unlimited Riz ready? No, Class Spike gets him, but Takibe with the trade. They might actually be able to get something. Edit, can he go one? So oh, gets two one. Do. Two v two, two now. Unfortunately, don't have the guns to back them up, though. Spike now. Karibu tagged by LC Maki. Maki throwing a shock dart onto Edit. Edit is so low. Gets shock darted and ultimately kills Karibu as well. Clutch play there from Maki. Thanks. Maki, well played from him. The shock dart catching Grimstone. No, you know, and Edit was stuck there, unfortunately, and he gets shock dart to the next dimension, to the Shadow Realm. And he, he can't do anything. What, what can you do? Run out and then get shot? You get shot guard. And Mac will secure that. And now it's 4 10. Who wins until match point for the side of Untamable Beasts? Now, if you're Polybroom, you're gonna wanna force something with this rifle by. Get a momentum started. Something to note though, they were able to kill three of five players from Untamable Beasts, which means Untamable Beasts has somewhat of a broken buy here right now. Oh, okay. Jet Aggress. That's able to get it. Kill on, ooh, two kills on the side of Polybroom so far. That's Will not. Alden push for anything else? Doesn't seem like it. Dinkle has control over at B site. Yeah, you look at Cypher, this is just an extremely safe way to look into Hookah and potentially those pushing into Garden. So I'm talking about with um, Cypher in B. Now you get now that you get the Boombot out, is there gonna be anything else you're gonna be able to find? He Dinko should be able to see this because of the camera. And I it hasn't been shut down yet actually. Or maybe it has. The, the smoke is now out Dinko there. Staying it's, over there. It's gonna be hard to push through smoke. We can Ooh, they are found them. by the Sova drone though. That they are, they now they're pushing really from slow. Hookah and B-Long. Can they hold this? Can they get a kill? Can they plant the bomb? Dinko is the only one here. This is going to be difficult. Going to have to use every sort of wit that he has. But the shockwave might just get him in there. And he's stuck. He's in the active trip fire. He's shooting through the wall. He gets him, actually. He's going to be able to pop off. He's still he's holding. Wait a minute. He's, he's able to in. buy so much time for his team, Wait, too. Dinko is running in. He's going to get shot down. He's looking for a kill, but gets killed by Glass. Humble God gets two. They haven't been able to plant yet. The time, the delay, the Humble God gets three kills. And you thought they were gonna have it with the gun advantage, with the numbers advantage, but Dinkle. Beautiful hold there from Dinkle, able to keep four people out. 
enough, giving this team enough time to rotate and get the kills. 3k there coming in for the, from the Brimstone. I thought the Shockwave, the, the stun, the, disorient, the disorientation would have been able to put him down, but that wasn't enough. Unfortunately right. there for Alden, he just barely ticks the trap wire and gets stuck and gets Toxins gunned down yeah. by the Cypher. Now though, Unlimited Driz with the Operator aggressing here at Bath. Oh, they're gonna Does look he for get? it. Oh, Karibo! Gets him with the Bulldog! That is showing that Gundip doesn't matter if you're good enough. He gets another! Karibo popping off at Bath. He might be able to get a gun advantage. He's still looking. He changes he into off. the Operator. He's Swaps out. Spike. Oh, LC Maki though with oh, a kill on to edit. Humble God gets a kill on to equalize class. Karibo with another kill though. Alden, Alden pushed forward, able to get a kill on to Maki. Oh, Dies to the Odin from Dinkle. Now let's see. 1v2. Oh, he's Spike getting gunned Spike. down by the Odin as well. Solo. Karibo with the 4K saving his team from Doom. Teleport's ready. Who said Chamber? <laughs> Who said Chamber wasn't good? This just shows with the right agent, you just got it. Kariba bang! And that's able to get them five rounds. But if we think about it, that started with that challenge bulldog. over as Bats with the Bulldog getting the one tap on the Jets' head. That's just how it's going to be, getting two one-taps with the Bulldog. 5'11", they can't rest just yet. They're so close to match point. They have so many rounds to make up for it. But we're going to see if they have it in them. Humble God is stunned. Will they be able to find him? He's just at the corner. Alden throws a grenade. He's right there. He gets two. Humble God Spike ruins their chances. So does a little bit of The stim goes out, but nothing left. They're immediately down to two. Unfortunately, they don't check. They don't check they Humble be. God. They don't check Cubby. They're not well, gonna push forward. Humble forwards. God he has Last gotten minute. away with so many kills just by lurking around. Humble God, though, does he know? He gets one on edit. Oh, but God, Class. Get him. Able to trade it. 1v3. Can that do it? He gets one. Let's fly on to Unlimited Driz. However, the Kibe finishes him off. 5 12, favoring Untamable Match Beast point. now. Match point to go 1 0 in this semi final series. This is looking like such a match, despite the gap. A lot of this round, a lot of the rounds have been close, right? So I think there is still a chance for Polybrum to win any round at this point. But it's gonna be difficult for this particular game. They're down seven rounds, but you know what? Run one round at a time. That's how you make. That's how you. You want to play? Up. Let's play. Yeah, let's go. Seems like they just the want to the rush. Rush. go straight in. With the judge, they're just jumping in. Lucky and Humble God kills them. Spike and then straight back. He gets two actually. It equalizes. They're going to be pushing forward. And right now, I don't think there's much to manage. Okay. They have the space. They're going to keep going. Karibo with the ult. He's going to look towards heaven. No. And looking at the wall. Doesn't find anyone just yet. Can he find anyone with the tour de force? They're holding on. Operator. Operator Bear versus ult. Oh, right barely there. misses. They know where he goes. The other is unlimited risk with one. The shots are not hitting. He misses again. Can he get another? Edit though with Wait three. Oh no, he dies. Me. But edit, edit with four. Can he get the 1v5? Edit. No, oh, no. Oh, then he gets him in the head. And that is map one of Polybroom versus Untamable Beast. Untamable Beasts go one and zero. That was a good showing by Untamable Beast. Now we're gonna go over to Breeze though, and this is Polybrum's map. So we're gonna see if they can make a comeback here and force a game three. But until then, we have a few minutes in between matches and we're going to take a break.
following these easy steps. One, follow I Academy and Capture Candid Studios on both Facebook and Instagram at CaptureCandid.studios and at iAcademy underscore edu on Instagram. B, iAcademy and Capture Candid Studios on Facebook. Don't forget to add the word cosplayer after your name when you register for the event. Winners must be in full costume on the day of the announcement and must be present at the venue once they are called. Otherwise, another winner will be picked for the raffle. Two lucky winners will be selected and given vouchers for Capture Candid Studios self-shoot photo booth packages. Good luck, Game Changers! of perfumes, diffusers, essential oils, car scents, home sprays, and linen sprays from the Good Scents and Eno Parfums. To enter, like and follow at iacademy underscore edu, at Eno Parfums, and at the Good Scents Home Fragrances, and register through tinyurl.com slash iacademygamezoneamm. Make sure to be present during the draw at iacademy Game Zone this February 26th, only here at The semi-finals, just a reminder, this is a best of three, and whoever wins this match or this round will be able to move on to the grand finals that will happen later tonight. What Breeze has been selected by Polybrom, this is where they could come out uh, to make a comeback here, but unfortunately, if they lose this, it's all over. It's a single elimination tournament, and they wouldn't have a chance to even come back in any way, shape, or form. This is where Polybrom have to make their stands, and it's a map that they selected, which is Breeze. Now Polybrom being frisky, hungrier than ever, seeing as they already lost to this to Untamable Beast in the finals before, and now going down 0 to 1. I mean, if you look at that round, Polybrom, while able to fight toe-to-toe -to -toe in certain rounds, it's just that. <laughs> Table Beast just looked really clean. They were really coordinated. Clash and AG locking in their signature pick with this Viper. Seen them a lot. Uh, I've seen them play it a lot. And here we go. Unlimited Rizzo again is on the jet. And we're going to see how the Asian selection pans out. 
So far though, Polybroom hovering two duelists. But so far, the, we already have a mirror matchup here in Breeze with two Vipers, standard picks. Karibu now on another Sentinel. However, this time it'll be the Cypher. Brickay locks in the Phoenix for Breeze. Edit going with his signature Sova, it seems, and Alden on another duelist in the form of Jet. Yeah, so with this, with Breeze, you're gonna have to be really good at aiming. There's a lot of long firefights, right? So certain guns, like let's say the Judge or the Shorty, it's gonna be harder to use because there's not a lot of places where you can use them, only certain places. So things like the Shorty, things like the Judge, right, can all be used by specific agents that have the mobility to get to close range immediately. But even choose then, your agent. it seems very hard to use in a map like Breeze. So that's just sort of characterized by just how open, how big this place is. It seems that both teams have an interesting, oh no, they, there's, they decide to go with Arena instead. Similar matchups here with the only difference being the Phoenix, Phoenix and, and the Reina. I mean, that's how it's gonna go. Now, Polybrum, can they, can they make a comeback? What do you think, Zed? Given how the fights earlier were that close, I believe just an extra bit of firepower from Polybrum should help them get this win. And we're in the second map for the semifinals where Polybrum will make their stand. And it's going to begin. They're gonna go to their positions and we're gonna see how this goes. Oh, pause, we have a technical issue. <laughs> Seems that the tech pause is caused B -b -b by hyping. On the side of Unlimited Riz, it seems. Hyping again. I think they might have to remake the lobby for this. So... Lobby may have to be remade. However, we'll wait for the tech team to figure this out. has been resolved now we're gonna look here and edit just uh, well they're stacking at b but the attackers are actually at a so this is just a bit awkward and uh yeah they're gonna make their way on table b is already on that attack they're moving to a finding first contact with the kibe here possibly the kibe hall. decides not to aggress though they are still pushing though unlimited drizz already on site with the sheriff doesn't find anyone though. Dinko, Wait, Dinko. might find Alden. Wait a minute, he sees him. Alden. What? Oh, there's another doesn't one. Doesn't expect Karibo though. Ooh. Karibo gets the kill. Very he low, Alden. Unlimited Riz. Spike has been planted. Can he get the kill Wait, here? One. He gets one. They're able to, tra uh, they're able to trade. Can he find another one? Edit. Will he push? Doesn't seem to be. He does push, however. Wait Up a minute. Oh, he, he gets, gets the him. kill on Karibo. Unlimited Riz fighting over. Wait a minute. Alden and Brigade get one kill each. Edit, Edit pushing in. in. He He's able to get Humble it. God it's a 2v1. One. One. Two. Two Humble. One, one. Humble God, can he get it? One. He gets and one. Can Brigade he get the other? Look. Edit. Shock dart. With a scan. But the defuse, there. it has to come in at some point. Edit's going the long way. He's going to be able to find him. Yes, he, no, he doesn't. Humble God secures it. A 4k for Humble, Humble God. God. Oh, unfortunate start there. Four. Polybroom, 0-1 in a match that you want to get the win 
4-0 immediately by Humble God here. That start may be demoralizing. The fact you were so close to securing a 1-0, securing the first win, and you were just so close. You were so, so close, and it just doesn't work out. It's 1-0, but I want to believe Paula Brum is still, their head's still in the game. They believe it. It's just what one round. Hit? Let's move on from it. Once again, it seems like the call here is to stay a lot of A. I think this is the call. This is the right oh, one. Oh no, Edit crosses at the Ooh. wrong time and gets caught by Unlimited Riz. Phoenix might throw the molly here. Oh, but Unlimited Riz just goes straight in. Goes to the middle. And gets the kill Ooh. onto Unlimited Riz. On the other side, Omaki able to Class. find Karibu with the Marshal. Class the now with one Sheriff. Can he get at least one kill? He gets seems one. Get one. Does he go crazy? I'm not sure. Unfortunately, he, he doesn't get two because Humble God is already on the flank. Two quick two zero on the, on the side of a limited untamable no. beast. Untamable beast looks so clean right now, but this is where Polybrum can now mount a resistance right now with the items or with the equipment that they have, the guns. But it's gonna be a matter of winning these firefights, finding out the reads. Where do they go? Get control of the map as defenders, because that's gonna matter a lot. You have to catch them in a catch, a catch them in bad situations, right? You can't sometimes if you can't win these 50-50, make it 70-30 for the chance of you to win. And we're yeah. gonna see how that goes. Edit shows uh, shoots out the recon dart, not able to find anyone. And they're still taking the slow. We do have a lurker in the cipher. Okay, though, with an aggressive push here. Will he be able to find Dinkle? Wait a minute. Dinkle gets, oh, gets the kill Spike onto Dinkle. Down this is Cypher and Rick can actually swap also, positions here. Alden also pushing here. Wait, oh, thank you, he's fouled by the Kibe. The Kibe, though, gets, gets the trade on to. Right now, the four versus three. The going on to the side. Will he be able to get class, though? Class, oh. unfortunately, oh. gets shot through the box. Edit. Edit. Can he find oh. someone else? On he gets target. one. Can he get two? Is he good for two? Does he get another drone? Hides the drone first. Unlimited Drizz is spotted, him. however, is not tagged He's by the drone. Eddie. Spike planted. Scanning. Doesn't seem to find anyone. Unlimited Drizz patient here. Do we go here? Oh, he can talk. Edit though, he raids it. However, he is now fighting. Edit? Sova to Sova. Edit. 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 Edit gets the headshot, winning them their first round of the map. 12 HP, what a close gunfight that it's was. So, so reliable. Trusting in it, the trust in it must be huge right now. Securing this round, making sure we do not have three, because zero three feels and looks so bad. And this was so close, but Edit was supposed to get the, get the kill on the Riz. And now, within this firefight, Maki uses a few shots and he uses that opportunity for him. Kill him and able to get the round. It's 1-2 and this is looking good for Polybrum to get a tie. Unfortunately for Polybrum there, while it was their rifle round, they lost all four. So now it's a bit of an awkward buy here seeing Guardians and Bulldogs on the side of Polybrum. But it's what you gotta do. Unlimited Riz once Wait again aggressing class though. Wait a minute. This will is looking this, uh, spicy. Doesn't seem like contact will be made here. We have to look at the class here because this could be a game changer. This could be the wild card. And it immediately gets to kill the humble god within halls. And Alden pushing as well. They're getting control. You have a lurker from Cypher moving on to mid. Alden's dash though runs out. Bricky holding oh, Bricky this knows. angle as well. Bricky knows. Bricky knows. Bricky knows. Bricky knows. You're found. Oh, However, Bricky's shots job. don't land. The guardian seems to be a bit too much. Glass ah, though with the I double see. kill. With the judge stays there, is patient, and gets the kill. He's holding Adam out. Switches he out to Phantom. He turns around. He get the kill. Riz. Unfortunately, Unlimited Riz wins that gunfight. Now, the key bay. Is being swarmed by Edit and finally gets it's a one get killed by Alden. Flash! Flash! He's in the wall! Brickay. He's 38 HP, but doesn't go down just yet! Bricky. Bricky. With, With the molly. molly. Is he gonna pick it? I don't think so. Limited risk. Shock being dark. patient here. They Can don't decide to leave instead. He gets, gets one, one onto but Alden, but it's traded Brickay. by Bricky. That was a good round. Class knew they had to do something special to equalize the playing field. And him moving so early, moving to shop and hiding there with the wall and catching the members on the wall. That is a play to get back into it. Beautiful hat trick play there from Class. Brings his team back to two and two. Now, a weaker buy here from the side of Untamable Beasts. Can they get a thrifty? 
or can Polybroom start their momentum? That's the question, isn't it? Get out of We're my gonna way. have to look at how they're playing, but they're Jet looking knives better. coming out from Untamable Beasts. Where will this be? They're pushing mid. Will he be able to find it? Contact found through the Sova. Doesn't seem like they want to push though. Takibe and Alden quite might meet spicy. here. Looking at the elbow. And Takibe they gets the kill on to Alden though. Now they have control of mid. Unlimited Riz gets go the headshot Glass on Kariba as well. Glass, can he get but one? He gets, he gets one with the Ares. Unlimited Riz though gets another one He's with so the low. knives. Glass is not. Can, can he hold on? Really low here. 19 HP. He's going to be able to go through. Night class. It's one just there. But oh, oh, Riz gets him. Unlimited Riz. Now, Rikke, can you do something here? 1v3. 1v4. This is looking 1v4 so tough. He's with the Guardian as well, unfortunately. Waiting Spike for the wall planted. to drop down. Will he expect any aggression They're here? They're gonna play plant. This looks so hard, so difficult to deal with. He sees the spike, but it's so near yet so though. far. Unfortunately, he can't shoot anything. Don't hit and Maki finishes him off. 2-3 now on the favor of Untamable Beasts. That was around, and I think... Uh, I mean, the way they attack, they were able to get a lot of kills early, win those firefights, and even though... Um, Class was able to get the kill. He ended up being so low and he couldn't hold the site any longer. It's that was such a difficult position for class, but also a difficult position for Brickey at the end of the round. This time they're gonna have to look for something else. As now they're on the back foot once again, down a round. So much value there found by the attacking jet knives. Now though, all the entirety of Polybroom have their own ready class already using his. Glass is gonna hold him off, but Riz is. Wait a minute! I think he's being very disciplined with this. He's making them in. He gets him. One. He can has he another. He can get two. Oh, no, he can't. Unfortunately, Humble God gets the so headshot close. instead. Brickey though gets the trade off. Edit firing Looking. off his laser. The flash goes out. Maki has to go back here, can but he does have the recon dart. Does he find anyone? Brickey. He's gonna be able to shoot Brickey. Doesn't get him I'll just yet. Dart. Shock dart. Catch him the point there. Dart. He's so Brickey, low. Really low. 4v3 though, on the advantage. Alden. Never mind, 4v2, Alden gets the kill onto Tikibe. How Rick. do they want to play this now? They still have the Viper, they still have the Sova. Information can be gathered, walls can be put up. Viper though, scan. Cypher still holding B here. Rike gets ulted. One and one. One. He gets two, they were able to straight now, they're dying again. That's how you do it, bang, bang, bang with the mecha. And this is gonna not, they're not gonna die out. They're gonna go out with an explosion piece. Make sure that this game two is as close as it can get. Polyroom do not want to go home just yet. What a funny interaction with the Phoenix ult though. And now, Brigade gets those two kills to secure the round. So, now I think this is going to be a, fa a, ri a rifle v rifle match. Here. So and now, that, so now we can see who gets the lead here. Who goes 4-3, who, go, who loses this round? Alden off. though, detected. Humble God, in hall. going for a very aggressive push here. Edit, keeping watch over here at mid. Doesn't seem to find anyone, doesn't yeah, seem to uh, want nest. to aggress harder. Unlimited you Riz, oh, Takibe. Takibe and Alden might find first contact here. Again here, Alden though, this time wins it out. Oh, Edit with a clean one-tap onto Unlimited Riz. <laughs> Rikke also won with they're Humble God. They're all winning. Their firefights are all winning. A 1v1. And now they're going to be a 5v2. This is such a huge advantage Dinkle and Maki. for Polybro. Karibo is here though. LC Maki keeping watch. Knows the trip the is trip. there. Does he Does he accidentally tag it? Dinkle gets one on to edit though. He's going to be able to shoot it. Now it won't Maki. be much of an issue. Making sure he's careful. He uses the Can shock dart hit. instead. Welcome now, here oh, comes the Viper ult from Dinkle, wanting to reclaim territory here over at B. Wait now though, Karibu, Karibu, Karibu. will he be wait, able this, to play around this here? Is gonna, wait a minute, this that looks so Karibu sketchy! Gets Karibu it. gets two! And that could be 4-3! Karibu is able to kill them and hold off for the B side. And now, for the first time, I think the entire round, we have Polybrum getting the lead. Polybroom there with uh, showing their skills individually, get winning their yeah. individual 1v1s, and Karibu being able to hold Sai on his own. Ooh, this is definitely their map. 
they look very comfortable they know what they're doing and i think this is the this is the game for pops to come back in but they still have to be careful and they will be i don't think are gonna throw a match they're not gonna do it they're gonna you have to wrestle it away from them and now they're gonna be pushing into a Waiting to see if they rush in. They do rush in indeed. Glass has to run away. Wait for reinforcements. And it finds contact here against Dinkle with the Marshal. He's able to get him so far. He putting pressure. Now finally planting. It's a plant, plant off. Edit, Brickay, and Alden finally re recovering here over at A. Brickay still at mid though. Alden trying to challenge this. Unlimited Riz gets the kill onto Glass. 4v5 now. Unlimited Riz gets another one onto Karibu. Almost five cheated. HP. However, 5 HP still lives. Edit though gets the kill onto Humble God. Blocking Alden, sight. can he fight off? He moves on. Alden's pushing forward. Smoking Using the out. smoke. The good choice. He gets oh, one, gets one the through smoke. the smoke against the Kibe. They're gonna Shock have to defuse it. Edit's fired. gonna go for it. Oh, well, Alden though. The ult comes Holding up. it. He gets ulted by Iraqi. Last oh, dead. Wait a minute. Brickay is only one left. Oh, he gets killed by Dinkle. Dinkle hits Marshall off onto Brickay. And they fire back for another tie. Another 4-4. Four, four. And wait for the Beautiful combo play there by Untamable Beast. Having the Viper top. They had, they had to rush forward. They already knew they were playing for post plan. You can't just stay there because the Sova ult was just gonna run rampant. You had to do something there, and that was a valiant attempt. But once again, post plan is so important, especially if you have the ults available. It could just give you a free win if you're able to play it right. Now we're seeing how this goes. Game between these revealing areas. Now, though, it seems like untamable beasts want to aggress over at B. Cypher, though, ready and primed. He gets it. Finds unlimited risk. Gets the ult off. He's jumping over the wall. He's able to live. However, Dinkle gets him on the last second. They have information now, though. They're all pushing aggressively here to get to get spaces within the map. They're gonna they be able to. They can't run in because they they were able to find that Tekipe was over there. However, Brickay finally gets the kill here. They're gonna be able to go to all of the entrances towards B. I think this is such an advantage for Bolivar. The two vipers though might meet here. No, they barely miss each other. They're passing by each other like the ships in the night. No. Reyna really uses ready. the Empress, wanting to seal this round off. Flash out. Edit. Alden, can you do something with the Operator? He's almost able to find one. Humble God, though, finds the edit. Last player standing. Oh. Humble God finishes Alden Glass off. Is too Glass is too late. Can he make it? I don't think he can. Wait. Dinkle, though, has the post plant ready. Will he be able to? Oh, Unfortunately, no. not enough time here for already Glass. had it. Now they claim a one round lead, but this is still a close match. I think we want to see Polymer be able to claw back at least from one. But I'm not sure if their co economy will hold them up for that. We're gonna have to see. We have a Marshall, we have shorties. It's not gonna be the round for them. Unfortunate round there for Alden. Had the operator, was able to find two people, but couldn't shoot them because of coverage and ultimately gets killed down by the one person that he did not see. Now though, Humble God once again aggressing, and Karibu though, on watch, can he get the kill here? Class Wait a with minute. the same play, however, this is red now by Untamable Beast. Class has to run away, is able to live. Poison, <laughs> toxins go out, the poison Toxin might be able to stop down. them just a bit. Now holding on, yeah. Class. With the shorty, however, he's in really wrong range. Jump peeking, able to find unlimited Riz here. Wait, class is Knives just waiting. thrown out by Alden, misses Hold though. On. Unlimited Riz keeping watch. Alden trying to keep them at bay. Unlimited Riz eventually does find class here. Gets the kill on. Takibe is now planting the bomb. Karibo oh. able to kill. Unlimited Riz instantly. Uh, Edit another. as well gets one onto Takibe. Alden Wait. is detected, however, is fine. Edit. Able to find yeah, Humble God. Wait, one he gets him. Remaining. Gets My one. You know, defuse Maki, Maki. is right there. Someone Maki has to be able to stop him. Defuse. Maki. But no one's fighting him. He's, you might get this. No, Karibo was able to secure the round. And Karibo was able to get some very important kills there with the Marshal. Push them off. And like, it's not for a tie. It's a 5-5. And you look at this. This was so close. A bit dangerous here. But Karibo was able to cover for him and finally kill Maki. And win. Class and Alden there, surprisingly able to hold off Untamable Beast enough 
for all of their teammates to able to be able to rotate in time. Now five five. This one is a close one. It is again. They're going looking towards A, but you see how they're moving so far. Two towards B. The Phoenix is also there. Um, this could be an early flank if ever they decide to push, but we're gonna see how Untamable Beast area. plays this. Ah! Oh, Unlimited, unlimited Riz with an instant first blood onto Alden. Can Kalas hold off once again? Picks he has up the, the operator. operator. Wait, Will Glass, he can he do anyone? it? Wait, he's jumping around. Wait, he's trying to shoot the bolt, but he's able to back off. He's hiding behind the crate. He's waiting. He's bingo. He's getting shot to the crate. Glass, can he do it? No, he can't. Unfortunately, Riz is able to get him. exactly where you Cypher also used. Unlimited Riz, can he get more? He gets one more before being traded by Brickay. You bring Brickay? now, but Brickay does have the Phoenix Ultimate ready to go. Come on, let's go! Okay, he's able run to it run back. it back. He's yeah. gonna keep move on with the Molly. He's keep moving it. forward. Keep it walking around his cage. Wait. Oh no! This looks awkward. Last player standing. No, Wait, they won't. he's gonna get go back. They know where he is, I think. They're gonna rush him down, but he's able Brickay to kill it. Does one. he turn around and get he's another? Get another one. Oh no, no they're, they're hiding. Safe. They're buying time. No time here for Brickay. Now he just has to run away. Oh, I think that's the best he got to do. Close attempt there for Polybroom, given with how the round started with Alden Last immediately getting picked switch. off. Anyone needs now they want to get he Now they want to win this round to hopefully go to 6-6 six, six to end the half. We're going back. If, if they win this, if Polybroom win this, it's back to zero. It's back to another clean half where essentially they're tied legit back to zero because they go, they lose everything, they Let swap sides. The so Polybrum really, really want to win this one because 7-5 in a close match like Get this could be way. the difference from winning or losing. Untamable oh, Beast. Unlimited Riz with another first blood what? onto Alden. Edit though, Let's changes it. Able to return it now, real quick. Karibo, Karibo holds on, gets the kill onto Humble God. Is able to run away? Holding off. Oh. Pinko gets into the cut to break A. Eh? They're about to move on to B, but now they're gonna back off. They feel like it's a bit there's a lot of pressure here. That could be just a trap, a, a trip sure wire. They are behind is safe. Edit though. Once this Viper wall goes down, I believe he has the anger. Oh. He does, oh. but he does not hit the last shot. is the only one left again. And the ult goes out. This looks very difficult to do. Unfortunate for Polybroom. They had they were trying to get the kills, however, the shots do not land. Now, Glass. 1v3, can Glass do something? Don't. Unfortunately, he cannot. The Kibe gets the kill. And we're ending the half at 7-5. Switching sides. So close, so, so close. 7-5. What's get, um... A better spot, though. A better spot than before. A better the spot. the first map, I believe Polybroom still has a chance here. I mean, it's not 8-4, it's 7-5. Just only a 2-win difference. And they're going to be able to claw back from this if they could. Yes. And potentially we could see it over time. But we're going to see how they play on uh, how they play on attacking, right? They pick this map. I want to see what uh, what patterns they have, what approaches they can implement. Uh, but as well, we're going to have to see how Ante will be set up as well with their composition and be able to hold off the Polybrum advance. Uh, it seems like they want Polybroom wants to stack over here at A. Unlimited risk. They're going through Elbow. They're here. looking for it. He knives out. He gets Rikki one. He gets one kill. Dinkle though gets Alden. Unfortunately. He's still untouched. Maki. Edith oh, they're rotating Edith toward Edith him. And it gets another one. Now they're running all the way to B instead. Will they find contact? Maki, can you get a kill onto Brickay? He misses. No, he misses. Brickay no, get eventually gets it though. Maki, unfortunately, missing those shots. Unlimited Riz, can he get the platter? Oh, he gets he him. can get the class. Spike 1, 2, 3. Can he do something here? Spike he is dash. within his range. Brickay though picks it up. Starts planting behind the pillar. They yeah, know where he is. It's very will tough they now. simply play post plant or will they aggress? It seems like they want to play it defensively. Edit, watching that angle. Throw. It seems like they want to throw it out. Ricky <laughs> seems to want to flash here. And then it happens flash. now. He's panicking. Oh, oh he's getting shot. Hit. And that, the combination of trip wires, the flash, it gets him. That's a good clean win from Polybro, which could give them the tie if they win the second round in the half.
as, a, as we expect, this should end up being a 7-7. However, beautiful combination there from Polybroom. The blind causing the Jet to panic and land on the Cypher trip, unfortunately. I, it, uh, I mean, it's hard to stay calm in that situation. We get flashed, potentially getting pushed by all sides. Someone Likely trying to dodge yeah. all the bullets uh, while yeah. we're blinded. Yeah. Now, though, we're going to see if Untamable Beast can something. However, ah, Untamable yeah. Beasts with the Marshal oh, here. They're doing it again. They're going through elbow. Oh, humble god. Humble god. Wait a minute. Alden. He sees the smoke. He sees the... He's, you know, many people are coming. Oh, he doesn't down. get the kill, though. Alden gets the kill onto Humble God, dashes right on Alden's into the space. site. He's Will he be in. able to find people? He's able to find one. Doesn't kill him though. Brickay with the kill onto Maki, edit once more onto the key bay. And now this looks like a very good position for Polybrome. It's a 2v5. They it's kill though with the flank. Do they know? Are they anticipating it? Spike planted. I'm not too sure this might be... A Dinkle might have an angle here. He gets one. Under the Drizz, Dinkle gets one. Unfortunately, he doesn't get two because of the reload and the last finishes it off. And we have We now are tied 7 to 7 with the advantage with the guns onto Untamable Beast. We're so close. Just a reminder, Polybro is fighting for their tournament lives. If they lose this, they are eliminated from the tournament. They have to keep winning. They have to keep going for these ties. They have to keep fighting for it. Because the moment they lose focus, the moment they sort of go passive, I think they will give up enough space for Untable Beast to win. But we'll see how this goes. They're no longer going to go to elbow. This is a different approach. Unlimited Drizz, will he aggress? No, he holds this angle. Oh, yeah, he's just holding it. Just relaxing. And I think they're trying to get info through B or through elbow, but they're gonna move down here and potentially look towards mid. And Limited Riz holding it off. Kibe watching over. Going slowly, I think they're gonna decide A is the approach here. No one knows no where who's No contact made yet. so far. Oh, Adam. he jumps in! Adam but they didn't know Riz is there! Oh, Riz. I don't think they know. Oh, now, now they, they know! Do. Class misses, but he might get it. He dashes and he gets him, but this is two for one. Unfortunately, he gets another one on oh, the back. It's a 4v3. He might be oh, able to plant it. Here for class. Will he get the ult off of this? They're already on the way he here. Not. One more kill and he has he runs out. Viper ult. Runs out instead, deciding to play for post plant. Dinkle, though, gets a kill onto edit right over at mid. 3v3 here. Position advantage towards untamable beasts, though. They're backing off. Cage the poison's gonna be here. Oh, oh but he gets, him. gets kill through the cage. Karibo with the kill onto Humble Dinkle God. Alone. Dinkle, can he fight off? But the lineups are there. Class is already ready. ready. And it flies up in the air. I think he won't be able to defuse it. And someone has to be watching over. Wait, he misses a shot. Wait, hold on. They get it. Dinkle gets the defuse off. Unfortunate there. I believe there was a bit of a miscommunication. I think he had to reload. No, 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 I, I, I believe there should have been a more advance there from Birike. Unfortunately, though, there was not. I don't know why they stopped shooting, whether that be a miscommunication or running out the bullets. It's, Unfortunate so round there from Bali However, they do now have the guns off of their backs. Untamable Beast was cut down low, now having the lower economy on towards their guns. That this could easily go 8-8 eight, eight once again. Yeah, but I mean, that would might oh, come back to haunt people. them. Look towards Ness, they're about to go through doors. Brickay gets one onto Maki over at mid. Now they decide to aggress over mid. Viper ult was they're committed at mid. B from Untamable Beast. Dinkle is watching it over. Oh. Unlimited Riz with a but share to kill, right. to edit. They know where the spike is, the Kibe, holding this angle for with the judge. Doesn't seem like Polybroom has any plans of aggressing, though. Oh, it's gonna be hard to end if you be the... Dinkle. Oh, Dinkle, this, will he peek? Dinkle has oh. it. This looks a bit suspicious. Oh, he turned back at the wrong time. Gets, he gets seen one. He's by running. the camera, and now he has to run. Oh, he's going. Glass here. Turning out to the other side, and he's fine. Unlimited Drizz versus Karibo doesn't seem anything's he, happening. He drops Glass. the spike. Glass has a battle and the shorty to work with. 
inside this Viper. Oh, it doesn't seem like they want to Alden go in just anymore. Alden, Alden, Alden will he be able to find unlimited risk? He does! He and he two. gets the Kibe as well. Now they have a free entry way over left. to A. It's open, and I think he's going to rush in. They already know this is where the weakness in their Brick defenses lies. Brick might see. Oh, he does find Dinkle and gets the kill. Brick A, can he find Humble God? Humble God is running towards A. Doesn't seem like they saw each other. Brick A. Now looking for Humble God. They don't know where this man is. Humble God though, shots, shots are fired. I feel like they know now. Now, well, Brick does and gets the kill onto Humble God. 3K off of the back of that lurk. You just said it right. They claimed the round back, and they're so close. Both teams so close to victory. Each round being traded one for one, one for one, one for one. So, so close. Beautiful showing from both of these teams. Now, a rifle v rifle game. Oh, unfortunately, actually, the eco economy is damaged more than I thought it would be. Now they have to work with simply classics, and I think there was one, at least one sheriff in there. Let's see, though. They want... Polybroom probably want to get into the site immediately. If they want to secure the round, they would probably use commit the Viper ulti. However, maybe they're not too worried seeing as untamable beasts are on a save. Okay. Reyna here. Un unchecked though. Oh, they do commit the Viper ult. Oh, he gets oh, killed. God, gets killed by Karibu. Brickay playing outside of the smoke. Gets, gets one, one onto Dinkle. Yeah. LC Maki Done. though gets Maki. one on Karibu. Gets another one onto Class. Edit gets one on Unlimited Riz. Alden goes to win. He looks he away. Him. Gets Three. killed. 2v2. Two two. Flash though. Brickay doesn't have the kill. Brickay. No, Brickay gets him. Finally gets the kill. Gets Brickay. the kill though. Wait, he's only oh. right in place. He's holding right left and right. Oh. Smooth criminal right then and there. That was so close. He even had the ult moving left and right. But they secure the round. And that was so close. That was so close for Brickay. He, he accidentally flashed himself during that first exchange. And look at this. And then now he's left stuck and right. here. Left ult. and right. And if he ties there, it's an instant once again. However, Brickay able to weave and da dodge all of the shots and get the kill instead. I mean, he did not have like a rifle, right? All things considered, but that was so close. It's 9-8. Now it seems like Polybroom once again want to address Getting over to B. It's been working, and it is a free site currently. Seems like they understand the it. Now the they're gonna go in. Give them. The drone gives it the info they need. I think they're gonna rush in here for the plan. Karibu the oh, with yeah. the lurk. Understanding that they might get flanked. Maki throws out the drone. Doesn't find anything though. The oh, he does tag out. Now, oh, right how do they enter this site? They have rifles. They have ult. The and here comes Maki's laser. Looking for anyone. Rikke though gets one onto Dinkle instead. Now a 4v5. Brickay dies to the Viper Poison. Karibu though gets unlimited risk. Alden gets There's one on the key base. Can oh, he get more? Alden's gonna go out of the smoke. He's gonna be able to get it. No, oh, Maki's up there. Turn it. But Maki's not there. It's a 1v3. Humble Humble God God behind him. The it's a 1v2. Do Can he be able to do this? I'm not so sure. I believe they have post plants ready to go. Oh. Edit though does not matter. Says I can just kill you right now. 10-8 lead towards Polybrew. They want to go to map 3. They want to go to map 3 and that's what they said. If there was, this is their map, they should be claiming this. They, this should be their win. And now they're going to make it. It's 10-8. Relax, we got this. Let's go to map 3. Right here. Weaker by here for Untamable Beast. This could easily go to 11-8. However, Dinkle does have one marshal to work with. Oh, he sells it. it. Seems like they're going for a full save now. Dinkle though, aggressing towards elbow. Decides to not push. Mid control being taken now by Polybrew. Dinkle gets Trade. one onto Alden, traded by Class. Class also gets unlimited risk. I know exactly when. Cypher ult comes out. Now they know the locations of all the players. They know that it's at A. They're rushing B. Sova already there. They know Maki's there. Edit, does he challenge Maki? He does. However, decides to wait it out. The wall is gonna be the one in between them. This is gonna be a bit of weird position. Maki's trying to win this, but he does! And he gets the Sheriff kill. And he's gonna look for another. Ricky misses. Gets another, but no, Ricky returns it. The kill. Cypher also coming out of Untamable Beast. Can they win this 1v3? A3v2. 
Humble God with a flank. Class Wait a minute. does he expect it? Ricky does not. Wait, no communication. He might get another flash dodging. He misses. Flash when he's able to get it with Karibo. Karibo. With the backup, finally gets the kill onto Humble God. Do they know where the last Cypher is? Do they know where Tekibe is? Seems like they don't. Class, I believe, getting ready for any post plant poison. Goes one. Oh, this looks so bad. Oh, he can't. He can't defuse it. He has to run away. He has no more time. Decides to save the Phantom for the next round instead. This should be Polybroom going up 11 to 8. Next round, they're very so, crucial they're for Untamable Beast. They're so close to match point, securing maybe perhaps a game three, which is what they definitely need to survive and move on to the next round. Rifle v Rifle, a very important round here for Untamable Beasts. If they lose this round, the Econ is dead and they would Good. have to fight match point using pistols and a half buy. Polybroom now. They Keep know how coming. crucial this round is. Three ultimates up for them. They have all the ingredients they need to cook. Joke's over. You're dead. Brickay goes in. Will he find Takibe though? Takibe is dead. Brickay only ults. He's able to go back now. Now, Gribu with the Lurk over to mid. Does he find anyone? Unlimited Riz gets him though. Alden misses the shot. Can he get the kill? Oh, Humble God with the kill onto Alden instead. 3v4. Unfortunate situation here. However, they do have the Sova ult unlocked still. Post plants from Viper as well included. Unlimited Riz incredibly low here. Maki defusing. They're not. Deciding to ult, will they stick it? Class is kill oh, on to Maki though. Okay, two kills. 3v1. They get it. They move on gets to two kills with the Viper this poison. This is the match point. Perfect this is placement it. for the post plant here. Match point over here to Polybroom. They want to go to match to map three. They want to go one one. They want to make it to finals. But you can't really count. Untable Beast just yet. You can't count them out. They could be explosive, maybe perhaps win four rounds, but they have to go past Polybrum, who's been going on an absolute roll. Going Let's see the Econ on Untamable Beast's side. Do they have the guns to work with? They do. A hero rifle here onto Unlimited Riz. Can he get anything off the back of this aggression? Alan taking control over mid. Doesn't seem to find anyone. Unlimited Riz though gets the kill onto Karibu. Hero Rifle working out right now. Seems like they're being patient. Doesn't want to give too much seeing as Karibu had already fallen down. Seems like they want to regroup over to A. However, Unlimited Riz still here, still primed to get the one taps, get the kill, get the aces that he needs to bring this back. We have to hold on though, because they're gonna move forward here. This is looking quite risky. They're getting they ready. In. He's tagged. Oh, smoke, but he's still tagged. Dink Dinkle though gets the kill on to Rikke. Dinkle gets another one on to Class. Edit alone over here. But Alden, I believe, it is on site. Alden gets one on to Maggie. Dinkle, will he be found? Alden aggresses. Doesn't get the kill on to Kibe though. Now, Edit, can you work your magic once again to put left. your team into map 3? Unfortunately, Humble God just had the better aim this time around. 12-9, still in the favor of Polybrew, but Untamable Beasts live to see another round. It's, you just have to look out for it once again. I think the drop. more rounds Thanks. that Untamable Beasts win and the more like Polybrew's true in this like match point, it sort of reverses the momentum, the pressure, right? The pressure starts being on you to actually close this out, right? So they might get increasingly more aggressive when they don't need to be. That, yeah, that's what they have to be careful of. They, they can't Here be it goes, unlimited risk. First contact onto Karibu, but this time Karibu wins it out. Karibu taking control over at mid. Oh, and it gets the kill onto Dinkle as well. This might be it actually, the 5v3. Hey. Edit, does he aggress onto A all alone? He does, putting his body on the line with his 30 HP here. Getting any info Get that he could potentially need if his death 
uh, if if they are killed, this death will be able to give information. The drone goes out, going to the bridge, looking for Doesn't anyone. Find anyone does find Maki over there at spawn. This does prompt them to probably plant here over at A. Humble God though, going through mid. Class with the lurk. Spike who planted. finds who first? Wait a minute. We have to look at this. Humble God. Oh, Humble God Wait, stacked. You know, Alden with the know. knife onto Maki. Class he begins know. to kill onto Alden. Know. However, Class looks, looks the wrong way. Humble God. The black save. Oh, Run it back for Brickay though. Humble God. He's looking for it. He's gonna oh. Yes, get Terrible gets the kill on to Humble God. And, and it finishes the game. We go 1-1. One, one. We are going to map 3. That is clutch. This is a semi-finals This is match. a semi-finals. Two teams and fighting for their lives to reach the finals. We're going to Pearl. That gives Polybrum their confidence once again. But Untame will be... They're gonna try their best to get this again. Despite the loss, I think they will recalibrate, regroup, and see what brings them. I mean, in this in the, in this map, this is where they picked five duelists, but I don't think they're gonna do it again. I believe they I believe they have a lot on the line now that yeah. this is map three. For now, we will be going on a short five-minute break to let these players rest up and get the lobby ready. offer our followers an amazing opportunity to win a selection of perfumes, diffusers, essential oils, car scents, home sprays, and linen sprays from the Good Scent and Eno Parfum. The lucky winners will be selected from those who register through the provided link and are present at iAcademy Game Zone this February 25 to 26 at Ayala Malls, Manila Bay. So our winners for this raffle are... Maria Luisa M. Pajarillo, Rhea Talavera, Clarice Kua, Carla Yunsai, and Mark Lester Manapol. Please approach the registration booth to claim your prizes. So we're repeating the winners of the raffle. So it's Maria Luisa M. Pajarillo, Rhea Talavera, Clarice Kua, Carla Yunsai and Mark Lester Manapol. Please approach the registration booth at the front of the activity center to claim your prizes.
I got dreams of looking up, looking up, high as I can get. But nothing feels like how it feels to know these things are normal yet. The weight of everything, and everything's just thread. Sometimes I'm trapped inside and I don't know what I'm gonna do. But to take on the world is the only thing that we know. back for map three of the semi-finals match between Polybroom and Untamable Beast. This map is Pearl with Polybroom being on the defending side. Now, and now I was correct. We were split on who was going to win. You said Polybroom, I said Untamable Beast. But I'm sort of on the Polybroom train now because of like the comebacks here. And we're going to be now in the agent selection for Pearl. And we're going to see what they're going to have. Seems like both teams... Oh, never mind. I was about to say, like, there it is. Both teams looking to up <laughs> into Astra. Then, at least there's not five duelists being hovered right this now. <laughs> time, this time, it seems no more fun and games from Untamable Beasts. All serious business now against Polybrew. Caribou with his... Caribou has been looking so clean, once actually. Once again, Brickie, once again, bringing the Phoenix back. Edit now on a different agent, no longer Sova. However, similarly, they now have Fade. Unlimited Riz going back again to Jet, showing the world why he's their duelist. All right, they're already locked in. Karibo, Class, Alden, Bricky, Fade, uh, Edit. And we're gonna lock in for the other side as well. Seems like the difference here being the choice of duelists for Unlimited Riz and Alden. Alden opting to go for the raise and Unlimited Riz opting for the jet. Both teams though have the chamber and the fade and the Astra as well. But however, instead of going for another duelist like Polybroom, Untamable Beast decides to go for a Sentinel in Killjoy instead. And we get into the round. This is it. Game three. Whoever wins this is going to the finals. Can we make some noise for both teams for a great Valorant game? Woo! This is it. Semi-finals. Let's hype up. Let's hope for overtime. Let's just go all the way. But we're going to see how this goes. Let's see how the pistol round yes. <coughs> unravels. Seems like, seems like Untamable Beasts going for an aggressive play instantly over here at A with the Astra lurking behind. I mean, this is it. I mean, Polybrum look very clean. They're the ones defending here. We're gonna see how this goes. They're gonna go Polybrum towards does A. does have the momentum here. However, A, aggression instantly from Untamable Beast. Alden backs off though. I instantly destroyed. However, Unlimited Riz is inside, gets killed by Class through the smoke. Now they have no other choice but to back off. Right. Look at Karibu though. He might meet Astra over here. They're moving to the side. And he does. Karibu Ooh. though gets the instant one tap onto Maki. I mean, they have to move out here because this is such a bad position for and those beasts in now rotating beast. towards B. Sorry. Oh. Uh, they're still they're still relaxing here. Brick A is gonna move forward a bit. See if there's anything there. Humble God is now in long. Is he gonna be able to find Karibo in elbow? Is he gonna pick up? Yes, he does. But this is not able to get it. They're gonna keep moving on. Instant but Dinko, Dinko gets one. He might get another. He's trying to run away, but he gets killed by Alden. It's a two v four. But I think they might be able to get the, the spike up. Karibo in elbow. Gonna move to the side. See if they get anything. He gets one. Can he get another? No, he gets it. The defenders win. 
with Karibo, with the clutch. That's what we want to see in game three. Karibo's shape for getting all the hits in. Look at this. Just look at the replay. Let the clip speak for itself. It's moving on. Then we go bang. One, boom, two, two boom, boom. Oh, that was it. That was so close. But he's able to secure it. That was so good on his side. Good defensive play there from Polybroom, able to hold out the aggression from Untamable Beast. Now though, Untamable Beast going all the way to B instead. However, Caribou is watching with the Marshall. Doesn't hit the first shot though, gets hit. Decides to back off, wait for Edit's back up. Edit's just staying there, staying as a connector. Like he can force themselves in though. Elsie Maki though, with the one tap onto Caribou. That is one man down. Do they, do they decide to aggress now? I think they're gonna look for the rotate here. They get one. It may force them to rotate. They're having a feeling the defender may be able to rotate here, but they're gonna take some time. They're waiting here. They're gonna get some more info. They split up the team. One might be staying at B, seeing if there's anyone towards mid courtyard, or no, plaza rather, and they're gonna just wait there. And Seems see. like they might mid over here at mid. 2v2 yeah. oh, here. Oh, here we go. It's a 2v2. But wait, they're looking at the same place. Finally oh, seen. Finds the Kibe. Humble God, does he know there is someone else in there? Decides to run away. Likely regrouping with his entire team over at three. However, one. Edit gets one. Unlimited Drizzt though, gets one back. Alden one enemy with remaining. the trade. Alden, another Five one. Down B. Now though, Humble do God. they know where Humble God is? Humble God. Boombot this goes boom out. will likely find her. No, no, it's not. Right. Bring it. He doesn't get it. Ricky secures again. It's now 2 0 for the side of Tolliver, making a very good statement in game three. Able to keep three of their submachine guns available. Now, this is not, this is a rifle round for Untamable Beasts. However, if they lose this round, they lose a lot of hope to keep a momentum start. Because you lose round three, you're most likely to <laughs> lose round four. So that is something you look towards. You have to get this. This is why you have rifles versus whatever Polybrum may have here. The Tewo Beast have to get this. Karibu once again, solo defending B. Kalasto is found. Running away. But he's not dead away. yet. Doesn't get killed though. Karibu gets the kill onto Dinkle. He's holding Plas, up. Does he get anything here? Do they know he's still there? Unlimited Riz with the charge. Oh. Doesn't get the dash. Oh. Eventually does get the kill onto class. Karibu really low here, getting corralled in both locations. Is gonna he is he gonna be able to hold on? No I one nearly close his proximity. Unlimited Riz three fires already gets the kill onto Karibu. Advantage to Untamable Beasts. Maki's gonna be able to plant this, and this is looking good. No Humble God gets another kill. It's a 4v2. This is looking good for Untamable Beast. There's only two people left, and they don't have the gun advantage. It's looking quite grim. Edit's gonna be able to come from the fence spawn. He doesn't get it. He gets it actually won, but he's so low. 30 HP, and the rest of the team are gonna already know where he is. He's at main. He's gonna have to shoot it. He might have to run back, but I don't think it's worth saving a sheriff. He might as well go for the hero play. Humble God, just waiting. And he's gonna go to the corner. He's shooting at them. He got into the wall and Humble God secures the 3k for the round. They finally are able to hit back, get on the board. It's now 2 1. 2 1. Still on the advantage for Polybroom though. And now Karibu with that operator. Can he make some noise here over at B? We're gonna see. I think they're still deciding where to go. It looks like. Ooh, Karibo's gonna immediately good. stay up. And he has the operator yeah, actually, here. so this might be a good a good choice. Oh no, he goes back. Decides to go for the less All aggressive right. play. Will he might he get be someone. Able to find anyone. He smokes out though, he can't see anyone. Oh, oh unfortunately he doesn't hit the shot. Brike though gets first blood onto Tekibe. Alden with the support there. It's waiting. Humble God, vulnerable. Unlimited Riz gets the kill on to edit. Ooh. And Class, though, gets Humble God in return. Class might be able to win him. Oh, oh Unlimited him. Riz. You want to fight him? Astro Ult coming out from Untamable Beasts, trying to secure this round. Karibu, though. Oh, gets the kill on to Unlimited Riz. A headshot, even Karibu? though he was up in the Karibu? air. Karibu? Oh. oh! He doesn't get Dinkle it. 
gets the kill onto Karibo instead. 2v2 though, Maki and Dinkle against Alden and Brickay. They're gonna stay within Who the wins ball. the two duelists or the Sentinel and controller? Brickay. Brickay. Oh, he has the flash out! He has the, the flash timing. out! The grenade goes out, they know they're there. But one yeah, get him. he gets one. Alden, can he get the other? He's reading it. He's right there, but he has to defuse. It's not looking good for him because the Astra stars are right there. He's trying to fake it, but he, he can't do anything. This looks so bad. It gets out he and he dies. Know where Maki is. Unfortunate there for Alden. However, valiant attempt there. That back. Guardian things I do. That was crazy. And it was a very bad situation for him, for Alden. He wasn't able to get to bait him out because it was the Astra. Unfortunately, as well, from Bricky there had the flash out at the wrong timing. Now, though, an eco round here for Polybrew. Chance for Untamable Beasts to go ahead with a 3 2 lead. All right, they're moving towards A here. You see that? Oh, you see that jet? Unlimited Riz is already able to actually look into art. Karibu pops his ult actually over at B, still having the op there. And they have control at mid. This might give them the angle to push into A, but they are gonna play it slowly. They're not gonna get picked. They're not going to waste the chance that they have. Brick A keeping watch over there at art. Will he be able to find someone? He does. Doesn't know how many though. Alden okay. still holding this angle, yeah, throws the nades out, dissuading them from going in. Edit pushes in, Alden gets oh. one onto Unlimited Riz. Humble God though gets the kill onto Edit. Humble oh. God gets two. Can he get three though? His entire flash. team here now. Oh, Rooted everyone. Maki almost got a shot from behind last, trying to win this out. 2v2, Humble God last gets another. Stand. Karibu with the Tour de Force. Can he get anything? Fade ult is invested here. Spike Will he be able well to get it? One enemy. He yes, gets one. one. Can he get the other one? Can he get Dinkel? Oh. Seems to have the proper Wait a lead. minute. Oh, he oh. falls off. Oh, he shoots him. Oh! oh, unfortunate there. Dinkel simply able to get the kill onto Karibu. Valiant Karibu there on a eco round. Yeah. Karibu just very close here. I mean, after the shot through the wall, he, there was uh, a gap. Yeah. There. It's a gap between the shots. He just had time and he gets shot. That was a That's just how the cookie crumbles. It's this now 2 3. Hold, this does give us confidence, though, on the side of Polybrew. That was a round where they had no proper yeah. guns. It was now, very chaotic. Now, with the rifles, though, I, we, there is semblance you of hope play? here. Let's yeah. play. Oof, the two fades are changing their own. Shadows Bricky though with the first kill on to Dinkle. Karibu also with the operator kill towards the Kibe over there at B. They're still at courtyard or at plaza. Trying, trying to, to get push control the to art. To art. They're watching class. And I think they're not gonna find much contact just yet because on table beast are going to be a bit more passive here. After the two kills at the start of the round, they're going to look through here. They're going to go through Link, through B-Link. They might be able to find... No, they're actually going to work connector. And it gets the kill. Does he get another? And hold. Wait, Humble God's right there. Does he know one he's shooting through the scope? Remaining. He's not able to get anything. But Spike Humble God makes a. the move. It's a 1v4. Hey. Got hit. Now, Humble God is alone. It's him against the world. He's now at mid. He has to get the spike. He is alone. No friends to help him. And they're slowly circling like vultures. Looking for it. He's looking towards Art. He gets him. It's now be able to move forward. Hold on. He reloads. He might be able to get the spike. But Alden's right there. Yes, 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 he does. This is looking like a disaster if this goes on. Humble God's going to be able to move into A. But he's being cautious. I do like this mentality. He has a knife out. Hold on. It's the contact with the main. He falls. The flick. Humble God. Going towards B. This is. He has 10 seconds. I think he'll be able to make it. Break it. Break it. Break it. Break it. does have the ult though. He does. But Humble God's on the momentum, he's on the roll. He's gonna be able to plant it and he's gonna move. Will he get the, the 1v5 ace here? We're holding our breaths. We're waiting. Brigay. Brigay, does he know 
where Humble God is. Does he have an inkling? Humble God doesn't seem to know where this guy is. However, the Molly, the Molly reveals it. But he's not doing anything. Brickay Wait knows. a minute. Brickay, with the defuse, do, does Hold he know? On. Oh, no, the wall is up. But he have to fuse this. Wait, the wall might go down. Oh, he, he knows. Be he knows Wait, where it's from now. He's the one on timer. But it's half defused. This is going to be so quick. He gets him. I think this is a win for Brickay. That was clean. That was calm. Brickay was able to get it through the wall. And that was so close. Humble God almost getting a highlight reel for that round. But Brickay was just clean with it. Mollying Tower to know that he's a tunnel. Dangerous, dangerous round there from Polybroom. Almost bit them in the butt. That flick from that Humble God. Flick that towards, flick oh, That flick towards Chamber was an insane play. Almost cost them the round as well. Now though, because of that, Polybroom is uh, on, on a weaker bike. Get out of my way! I mean, that's just what's gonna happen. And right now, they're gonna go towards B. I think this is their bread and butter. They're gonna go through. Karibu, just waiting. I think they know he's there though. An elevator gets him! Oh, this is so close. Face your fear! They're able to plant it. Fade the ult comes committed. out. They're stop him. But you see Humble God, our edit is just right there. They're waiting. It's a 3 for 3. Uh, it, it's, three for th it's a round for 3-3. Three, three. And now it's a 5v4. And this is not looking for Polybrome. They're down the man. And they have to enter. Drop the ult. Alvin is jumping in! Going is he in. able to find anyone? He's jumping in the hall, but dies to Dinko! And Dukime gets another kill on the Bricky, but he revives. And Edding goes down. He gets a kill. He gets it. It's a 4v3. They're trying. Oh, he gets it. They're trading. It's a 2v3 again. Maki's over there. He's trading the wall. He's splitting the site up. Edit. Can you get it? The defusing. They're able to get it. Oh, no! And that's a 3 4. It looked like they might have had a chance, but. It's now in the favor of Unfortunate Unfortunately, they're from Polybroom. Committed so many ults as well to get that retake off. Unfortunately, I should play some Astral Stars in this Beast reality. just had the better there. There was just so much happening there. An absolute firefight. And that's what we're looking for in a game three of a semifinals. And it looks like they've been training round after round. If we follow the trend, this might be a win for Polybroom if they're able to refocus, but their buy doesn't look so good. Karibu with the aggressive play here, though. That's the play by him. Unfortunately, Unlimited Risk just has enough aim to get the drop done. Folks are down. They're going to be able to clear the side. Completely free sight here on the side of a Unlimited Beast. This is How looking familiar. How does Holy Broom want to approach this? I'm not completely Spike sure. Planted. This looks so, so risky. Mm. And they only have pistols. And Alden already goes down to Unlimited Riz. Here. Unlimited Riz keeping watch over Brickay now. Brickay jumps in with the shorty, hoping for another That's kill. However, Dinkel just shoots through the smoke. Maki gets one on edit as well. Now they're addressing towards class. And unfortunately, the shorty does not do anything. Humble God closes the round out. Flawless win for Untamable Beasts. And Need a drop. that is another inch given towards Untamable Beasts. And right now, it's looking a bit I'm tough. Really time to go but they have now the rifles. Thanks. They can't let them go on to have a three-round lead. Because in a game close as this, any round could spell the end. So they have to keep going at it. Polybroom should be Leaves looking to reclaim yeah. momentum here. They can't let Untamable Beasts I get on a roll as we've seen it before. Yeah, look, they're trying to contest Plaza, but the sort of the counterbalance to that is you see that Untamable Beasts might be able to move to A main without much issue, but they just have to be aware they don't get yeah, info. But, but Power Broom does. You Smokes goes run. out, and the Killjoy ult goes out. They might be able to secure this. Now they know this might be A, and they're still securing. Look at how they spread that around the map. They might have a lot of control, but there is a Lurker there. And they just have to be careful off the side. Class gets killed by Unlimited Riz. And the smokes are out. They didn't be able to plant it. And Edit gets a kill. Spike it's a 4 versus a. 4. But Karibu, they don't. Unlimited Riz. Can go oh. Unlimited Riz finds Karibu first. Alden, though, with a kill on to Tekibe. Alden gets killed by Unlimited Riz, unfortunately, now planted by Humble God. Brickay, though. Brickay gets a kill. It's a 2v2 now. Brickay. 
Can he find more? Edit. Brickay throws out the molly. Edit and Brickay coming in from two different directions. However, Humble God wins the 1v1 against Brickay. Edit. Edit. Can he make any magic? They don't know where I he is. He might get caught and that's what happens. Maki gets the kill instead. Close round there from Polybroom. However, Untamable Beasts claims the win again. It's a 3 6. Giving them a three round lead. But you know what? We don't count out Polybrum because they came back from worse. They came back from a 1 0 deficit in the game. And they're able to claim the second map. They have the mental of challengers. They're going to be able to keep going at this because Untable Beasts are the champions here. This is a revenge match to potentially go to the finals. And we have to make sure that they still have a fire in their hearts to keep going. Once again, with the aggressive push here. Does he find anyone though? Does not. Her oh, ego gets Kribo. run down by unlimited Riz. Astra ult drops down over at B to secure a plant here. Brigay almost gets tagged by the Fade Eye. Dinkle has the plant off. Now they're gonna reposition for a for a for defense. Humble God gets a kill onto Alt and Edit gets one on Unlimited Drizz. However, is shaded by Humble God eventually. Brick vulnerable here. Humble God has a guess where he is. No charges. Brick falls back. Will they aggress here? Class gets one onto Maki. Brick gets one onto Humble God. Dinkle though gets one on Class. 2v1. Spectre, Spectre only for Brick though. False flash. Hold on! Doesn't know where Dinkle oh, he reloads! Is. And Dinkle eventually kills Brick Unfortunate flash there from Brickay. I mean, I like that. It's just that reload, and that's just what happens. This is all he got. He has a Spectre, and it's such a disadvantageous position he had here. He flashes, which works out for a little bit, but then the TP happens, and he had to reload to kill the turret, and that's just the, the break. And now it's a four round lead, and I fear they might be running with it. Now we want to see if Polybroom can bring anything hey. back. They were all they were they're always hey. so close to winning these thrifty rounds. You want to play? Just Let's not play. enough firepower. Karibu though. Watching B again. It's a chamber V chamber over here at B. But unfortunately no one gets the kill though. Edit gets tagged by the Fade Eye. Unlimited Driz charges up the dash. Doesn't seem to get any value out of it though. I mean, they're able to control Plaza, and I think this gives them the freedom to go wherever they want, whether that be A or B. This looks a bit dangerous. I'm gonna is gonna peek, and so far, Brick is the one that loses out on HP, and he has to back off. I think he's gonna heal himself, and that's pretty good for him. He's gonna be able to fight, and Karibu gets a kill. Now, though, does Karibu reposition, or does he keep his angle? It seems like he wants to keep it. Class watching over. Oh, Karibu. Two people coming in towards B. Three now. Does Karibu hold out? Decide to reposition. Decide it's no longer safe. Unlimited Driz doesn't have the dash and gets killed by Karibu instead. Karibu, good for one more? No, he does not. Takibe gets one on Rikki. Maki gets one on Karibu. Takibe gets Kalasso. 2v2 here. One enemy remaining. Oh, that's a 1v2. Humble God gets the kill on to end it. Do they know where Alden is? Alden, if there's any point in time where he can make a comeback, where he can do a 1v2, this has to be it. He can't let them get a five round lead. He's moving up, he's jumping in with the jump back, but he's going from behind, but he doesn't get it. Humble God was right and ready, and now it's a 3-8. They're running away with this. Last it's a five round lead. And, last round and it was so close. Unless Polybrook can pull out a magic trick, trick here, this should be a quick 9-3 on the side of Untamable Beasts. They were so close to getting that crown. However, the Kibe and Maki just winning the gunfights over at B. And we're gonna see how this goes. They got I early got control at for, uh, in Plaza. I and I wanna see if they're gonna do that again. Face which I think fear. they're doing. Unlimited uh, Ridge is gonna be able to push into Art. He's gonna be able to find anyone. Smoke goes out. He's dashes in. He's gonna be able to give Rita a A. And he doesn't hit anything. Alden is able to survive. Riz is trying to jump away. But Alden is able to kill. And he gets another D-Train. But Riz is right there. It's a 4v4. Riz has 50 HP. And right now, the defender is at a disadvantage. Edit 
Moving on to your life. He gets one, but dies to humble God. It's a 2v3. They're both coming from spawn. And Riz comes again with the judge. He might be able to just keep going forward. Flash is right there. He misses all the shots, but he gets him. That was so close, but now he's gonna be able to move forward. It's now a 1v2. Fast has to do something. Fast is the astral, hoping to maybe get a defuse off to this wall. Unfortunately, Maki just hits the shot and takes down Kalas. 9 3 half on the favor of Untamable Beast. Untamable Beast roaring with confidence you after that. That's so important. Moves. Where you get and confidence now. in your play is where you have a and feeling now. that you'll never lose. And I think that's what they're gonna do. That's what they're feeling. And they're gonna really push that will for the next four rounds. They are so close for match point. But Polybrum is so far from it. What you Despite do? the score, though, these two teams have been fighting it out neck and neck. Winning rounds through inches only. Can Polybroom bring it back through attacking? We're gonna see if that's the case. We're gonna hope they're gonna pop off here. It looks like they're gonna be playing for Plaza. And we're gonna wonder if that if they're gonna be able to go through either A or B. We're gonna see how this goes. Alden throws a grenade into Arit. Doesn't catch anyone, but now they're pushing into Link. They don't find anyone just yet. They're going pushing smoke. They're actually going to connect here, and they find Humble God. This is going to be a very good approach. They catch one. Now they're able to go to sewers, but no, they could be just, you know, cross over into A, and they get it, and he jumps in. Molly goes out. Alden's going to jump back in. He's going to be fine. He gets Flash. He's going to be able to find him. He gets Takebe. He jumps into the pit, but do they know he's there? That's just alive, and Maki get, gets a gun to break A, and it's moving to sewers. Maki's just there, but he gets getting shot inside, and Alden gets him. It's now a 4v2. They might reclaim this an early, an early win for, for the half. And Karubu dies. Now it's a 2v2. It's equalized. Linko, Alden, Alden, he dies. Class is right there. He gets it, and now they get the 4 9. They keep and hold on for another round. What a close round there from Polybroom and Untamable Beast. Barely winning out there. But look, let's talk about Alden. Insane 4K during that pistol round. We've seen him show signs of brilliance and we've seen some whiffs as well. But it seems like Alden does not want to go home yet. I mean, I like the maneuver there. You go towards Plaza through Art. Link to connect there. You find the, the weak link in their fence. You get it and you use that to roll in and attack the rest of the defense. And I think that was good. They get momentum of that. They could potentially go to 5-9 based on the guns they have. But Tinko's able to dink Ricky. It's already 50 HP. Alden returns to kill the Riz. And they're just waiting. They're at long. They're, uh, they're going to be able to push forward. The grenade goes out. Tinko didn't have to retreat. Just get humble God, though. Tinko has to TP out. Has to regroup with his team. Alden pushing way forward. Feeling it right now. Does he aggress for more? No, simply holds out the angle. Shots are fired between the two. Both teams the key bay. Alden gets the kill though. Edit also gets one onto Dinko. Astra, the last remaining member. Can he get anything? Maki does get the kill onto Karibo. Alden aggressing. Aggressing. Oh. Maki still gets Edit though. However, finally falls to Kalas. Okay, two rounds for the side of Polybrum, but this is where you have to look out for it because now this is a round three in the second half. They're gonna have their rifles. This is gonna be very dangerous because 5-10 moves them closer and closer to the match point. And despite the disadvantage they have, this is a must-win situation for Polybrum. Polybrum are definitely fighting for their life right now, trying to just make break even, reaching that 9-9 half, ho hopefully. Now we'll see how they want to approach this. They do have the weaker buy right now. Grenade. However, Get weirder things have happened. Brickey aggressing here over at A. It's so tense. The silence. They can keep going forward. No gunshots yet. They're moving into art. They don't Shots find much. Uh, they don't find much yet. They might be looking A as a as a point of attack, as interest. They move in. No contact just yet. We're looking through class. He's probably telling the team, I have stars ready, let's go and do it. They're ready to pull the trigger. Shots have been fired, but none have been able to kill just yet. Karibo is gonna be able to find him and get the first blood. And that's so important for them. And they're able to pull the trigger. Alden jumps in and might be able to get Maki through the smoke. He does it and dies. Maki's still there, still alive, but it's 3v4. And this is so important. Edit can be able to plant it. Maki's gonna run away. He's so close to death. 30 HP. He's gonna be able to find anything. He's gonna get another kill. He's speaking, he's looking, but he's not able to find anyone just yet. And he's gonna stay there, stay in the pit. 
just relax. Shooting through the wall. He's able to get glass. And while being flash, he's able to get him. Ricky, it's a 3v2. It's so close. They're, they're just right there. And the Astro Star goes out. He's able to get the Frisk, gets the kill. And they get him. But Ricky secures the round. It's a 6 9. And they're returning. They're mounting a comeback, Zed. These map, these rounds have been so close. Neck and neck, one or two agents only surviving. Now though, they were oh, oh time out being time out. called by Untamable Beast, needing to regather themselves, needing to talk. I like the timeout. What went wrong in that round? I think it's not just the round, but we're talking about the pistol round, round two and round three, and oh, they get. They could be just getting water, actually. That could be true, too. Um, but the timeout gives him time to recalibrate. And, yep, the water was needed. Stay hydrated. You know how it is. And, uh... Now, though, Untamable Beasts weren't able to convert that round. That should have been a relatively favored round for them. Now we're 6-9 with Polybroom having the advantage here. Will they be able to walk away with a 7-9 for the next yeah, I, round. I like the timeout because I think they're acknowledging the fact that Polybrum A is getting that sort of their confidence back. They're going on a roll, right? This timeout is able to stop them for a bit and discuss, hey guys, where can we improve? What are we looking at? What are the patterns that we see in their offense? And that's going to give them a better idea on how they move on to this round because the more they win, the harder it is to come uh, to win the next round because the fact is they're going to have really good economy and keep rolling and eventually go for the tie or even get the lead. Pistol round here for Untamable Beast. What you want to do here is at least damage the building economy of Polybrew Dinkle with first contact. Hold here. on. Oh, he not get anyone out and with the first blood. Brickie gets one onto Takibe as well. Humble God pushed all the way here. There's a resurgence here. 3v5. It's already a disadvantage for them. Brickie is going to move forward right at the B. And I think this is a free site. Tunnel and Tower is where they're going to be able to come from. They're going to be able to plant. The smokes are hiding them. And this is going to be a good chance to be able to plant. Because Maki is shooting through the smoke but 60 HP. 3v5. Brickie shooting through the wall. No, no death just yet. This is chaotic. They can't see anything. Okay, but he dies. And it gets the kill into Riz. It's a 2v5. Maki is still in power. Trying to kill Karibu. And he gets it. Does he get another? No, the smoke goes out. And might hold them off. And the spike is ticking, ticking, and ticking. And this might, this is looking more like a Polybrim win. Beautiful aggression there from Polybrim. Acknowledging the fact that they only have... Pistols. One now though, oh, Alden finds Maki. Humble God though, able to kill Brike. Alden no, though, finishes it off. Okay, Alden is waking up. Zed, they're coming back. This was so ready. This was so close. They're coming back. It's 7-9. Seven, 7-9. Nine. Seven, nine. A yes. relatively clean round from them as well. So they still have all the rifles ready. But if you look at the side of Untamable Beast, Chamber has the operator. Dink has the operator on lock. However, Polybroom also used the Tour de Force here, trying to secure as many rounds as they can. You want to play? Let's play. They're going to be able to go into Plaza. They're going to see if they can get control. Four of them are there. Dekabe is waiting. The smoke goes out. They're, they're careful. They're using the flash. Takabe's gonna have to relinquish control as they back off. The Molly's gonna zone him away. And they're gonna be to move in to Link. The boom bomb goes out. Karibu gets a kill into Riz. And that's gonna be an important first blood. Maki's right there. He gets one. He gets two. He could have gotten three, but class shuts him down so quickly. It's a 3v3. And now they're moving into the side. Speedy aggression there from Polybroom. However, Untamable Beasts were also ready. Now though, 3v3, who has the upper hand here? Fade is ready for Polybroom if they decide to commit that. It and seems they are, that they will. They are gonna use it. And they're just waiting There's to pull the trigger Jackson. that they do. Proper direction as well. They have tagged two people. Humble God though gets the kill onto class. I thrown by the Fade here. And Edit, how do they want to play this? Edit gonna go for the individual 1v1 here. Edit's the only one alive. Look. Edit though gets one. Oh, he dodges. He's hitting through the screen. No, he dies. And now they're gonna be able to get the first round win for this half. It's now 7-10. It's so close. But they might still have the economy to get right to the next round. 
intense match between Polybroom and Untamable Beast. And as you said, I believe Polybroom do have the economy to buy into another rifle round. Who needs a weapon? Really close play here between Edit and Big My heart is beating dead. If, if as casters are watching this, I can't imagine what the players are through. The pressure's a, there. Look at how bloody this match is. It is. Every, you, every, every player except from, for Tekibe has 10 kills or more. Both, every player, there's no, there are heroes, but there's no, everyone is pulling their weight. Everyone is showing moments of brilliance. And we just have to wait on how this goes. Again, they're moving into Plaza. Getting control, whether they go through Art or go through Link, that's gonna depend on them. And it looks like this could be an A approach, an A attack, and they're just going slowly. However, Chamber here, Dinkle here has the angle, is prepared with the Tour de Force, I believe, holding off any angles, any approach towards A. Karibu still looking at Art, and nothing's happening so far. Right there. And they're Patience playing from slow. from both of these teams. No one wants to make a clear mistake. No one wants to overextend. And they're just waiting once again. But at some point, you have to pull the trigger if you're on the attacking side. If you're Polybrum, you have to do it because there is a timer 50 seconds in the clock. Okay. They might decide B. They're going to Link. Haven't found anyone just yet. Contact has been made. Shots through the smoke. But then Takibe gets the first blood on the edit. Come Not looking good. Go. And then to bring it back with Brickey. Moving in. Gonna use. Oh, but he gets shot from behind, but he does have run it back. He can run it through. He doesn't get it. But Humble God gets two. And this is not looking good for Polybrum. He flashes. He doesn't get it. He DPs. Flash gets one. Will he get another? Humble God gets it. It's a 3k. Brickey. Is he gonna be able to do this? This looks so scary. He gets one. Can he get the other? Humble God is into HP. He puts the wall. Wait, Ten seconds this left. is so close. He gets one, but he has six seconds. Because he might not be able to get it. He has to kill two. He's going to run. They're going to play for time. He's going to look for him. And this might be a win for the defense. And no, they don't get it. It's 7-11. Oh, unfortunately, for Polybroom, just not enough time to actually get it. Close play from Bricky, able to pop off enough to get at least three kills there. At some point, you had to pull the trigger. And that's what they did. They run out the clock, and that came back to make them lose the round, unfortunately, as they were able to hold them off from the side, prevent them from planting, and now they are one win away from match point. Defenders are so close. Antemo Beast are so close to securing a grand final slot. Haribo getting ready here with the Operator. Dinkle, though, pushed up. Really aggressive here. Doesn't find anyone, though. Mid being explored now by Polybroom. Will they decide to go to Ark? They left the spike behind. They don't want to risk it getting dropped. Give less inform uh, information than necessary. The smoke comes out, blocking Link. And they're going to try to get some more info. Once again, their bread and butter, they have been just going through Plaza and eventually probably going to go through Art. But they're going to reclaim the spike and probably going to try attacking A again. How they know he's there. Humble God's able to outgun him though. And Humble God gets the first kill. This might be dangerous, this might spell the end, but so far v 5 and anything can happen. Brickey, Dinkle, will see each other. Brickey though wins the fight there. Now, does he take the orb? Oh, the orb is no longer there. One point away from the you ultimate to though. It. Astra ult comes out. Polybroom oh, really want this round. Humble God on site, however, really low. Takibe though with a kill on to edit. Class trades it out. Humble God really low here. Unlimited Drizzt doesn't hit the shot. Fires away at Brickey though. Smokes doesn't get the sides. kill. Brickey's planting. Smoke dissipates. So Brickey's planting. However, wall banged through by Humble God. Fade ult as well committed. Class is detected here. And Unlimited Drizzt gets another kill. 1v3. Can Karibu get it? No, Unfortunately, he, he cannot. Unlimited Drizzt finishes the round off. Match point for Untamable Beast. Match point. Unfortunately, okay, I don't we'll think they money. have enough no to go for a buy here. They have to go for a thrifty round. Oh, I believe they do have. They have Vandals, they have Phantoms. They have to win. They have hope. They still have hope. They can still win this round. For even a chance to win, they have to win five rounds straight. And that is some, that is very hard to do, considering how well 
on table B7 performing on the defense after being able to time out, gather themselves, and we're gonna see how this goes. This time they're gonna go through A main. Karibu is lurking. Tekabase just holding the same spot as always. Ooh, the rope comes out. Armbot's triggered. Karibu dies so early, and that doesn't look good for the side of Polybrum. Four is still alive. They might push A and run back. They time it up. Alden has the ult. Will he even find anyone? No, not just yet. Just not, not anyone just yet. He has it, but don't go out there with the kill. He doesn't get anyone. It's gonna be a 4v3. Defending Killjoy. Oh wait, Alden's gonna be able to push. He gets it, he gets one, but he dies to Maki. It's a 2v3. Bricky, he's gonna have to be able to get out of the Killjoy ult, which he does. Dinkel has the operator. Bricky gets right. killed with the Molly. He does. And they're able to actually plant it already, so time is on, like, time's on the clock here. We have, it's now. sticking. Well, oh, oh, no, the blast 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 it. finds Maki! This is huge. It's now a 2v1. Astra ult, though, still drops. Nico has the operator. Can you find anyone? This looks so dangerous. Oh, he, he gets killed from behind. No, he doesn't. 70 HP. He has to defuse it. And this looks so bad. Rick A is going to flash it. And the they kill him. And they hold on for another round. It's 8-12. What a clutch kill there. Coming in from class. Able to kill Maki while in astral form. Oh. They're what not a match this they're, is. They're not letting it go. They're not letting it go. They're going to keep holding on for dear life. Oh, and it's it for seems. It seems to me that untam Untamable Beast now have to go on an eco. Does this spell another round win for Polybroom or will Untamable Beasts get the match win through a Thrifty? Looks so close. One match, one death could mean the end of the game. Karibo has it, he can do it. He keeps it ready, but he gets shot down. It's a one for one. It's gonna be a 4v4, but does he know that there's a lot of people in B long? I think they're gonna already make the call. They're gonna go A. There's gonna be a free site for them if they rush it quickly. And they're trying to be careful, make sure no one is lurking, and they're gonna be able to plant it quickly. They're planting it. Class is able to put it down. Raise with the knives out. You'll be able to find anyone. They're gonna group up here. This is it. Mano y mano. 4v4, they're gonna gun it out, they're gonna enter, and Brick is right there. He's gonna be able to kill Riz first, and out is it reinforced. The Molly goes out, he's gonna force him off, zone him away, Dekabe goes down, another flash, they're pushing forward, Brick with another one, there's one more! Humble God is alone, but he's one of those people that can't turn this around. He gets one, 86 HP, moving forward with the Phantom, but he might just choose to save it instead. Humble God decides to save it. It's the smarter play here for now without any time. Oh, actually, oh, he tries to toss out the off. So no one's oh, gonna be able to use it. Of Wait a minute. Oh, 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 Humble God with an insane flick over to Brigade. What Why was you? that? While they lose their round, they ins they damage Polybroom's economies by so I much. I know, I know, I know Polybroom won the round. But, but oh, Humble God oh, was a humble, highlight. Oh. Now though, rifle v rifle. That's a that's a low-key PC check moment right there. <laughs> oh, that's so crazy. The flick. It was it was a half a screen away. It was literally a screen away. And he turns around, but three rounds, and they save the phantom, which is so important here. Careful here. But Polybroom are finding momentum. They're getting more confident. So you're gonna push forward. Polybroom have to keep on winning here. Aggress at mid. Plaza, will they find anyone? Oh, they find the jet. Oh, jet gets the kill onto Unlimited Riz though. Edit gets on Kibe and gets one as well onto Unlimited Riz. Three Broom. versus four with the advantage going to Polybrew. Maki, can you get one here? Can you make it a 3v3? Oh, barely misses. Edit, gone really low through the wall though. Maki gets the kill onto Edit. 3v3, Alden picks up the I spike. spike. Where, do Poly Where does Polybrew want to go? Brickay. Seems like he wants to aggress here. However, Fade is a waiting here. And we've seen Humble God hit these insane shots. It's Humble God feels like a raid boss in this part of the in, in this so late game of Valorant. And you just have to be careful because at any moment Humble God can instantly kill you. But the 3v3, it's equal. Then they don't have numbers advantage, and Humble God is trying to be cognizant that someone might be flanking them but they're gonna be able to enter a they're gonna be gonna pull the trigger soon 30 seconds they're gonna do it you're jumping out it's gonna kill the corner who goes up but humble god is right there but they're it. it's now 2v2 
two, hey. three, two, and they're gonna have to run in, they're gonna have to plant it. And oh, now they're on the timer. Bricky, you have been so clean this match. Can you be able to hold it right then and there? Oh, he sees it, he gets it! Maki. Astra ult committed by Polybroom. They want this round. They do not Wait want a to minute. lose just yet. Maki. Do they know where Maki is? Hold They're not on. Looking. Maki. Oh, Maki Wait. goes to Astral form though. Do they know where he Knocking is? Knocking them. Oh no. Oh, oh no. And he gets it. We're going to send 12. They hold on for another round. Two rounds left. They're so close to tying into overtime. And do they have the money to get the That was so close. Polybroom. Living on a knife's edge, they do not want to go home yet. They want to beat on Beast. They want to go to the final. They want to get revenge because Untable Beast are the champions in the last tournament. And they're so close. They are good. They are great. They're good at what they do. But Polybrum is making a case that they should also be considered as one of the favorites for the tournament. And they move on, and we're gonna see how this match unfolds. The flash, they go flash, he doesn't, he gets caught immediately! But on the minute race, he's able to run away, but no! Do immediately down on the defender's side! And this is gonna be look good for Polybrum again! Out there jumping in with confidence! Gets, does it get Takabe? He kills him with the frenzy! 3v3, they're gonna look for the plant, this is so close. Again, numbers equal, it's no, it's not clear, but they do have the gun advantage from what I understand. And edit, they're gonna play for post plant, and this is so important. Maki's gonna lurk, gonna go with the flank with the sheriff. Blocking vision. Long flank here from it. Maki. Do they know that he is behind? Killjoy is going for the aggressive one. Karibu gets found. They now know thanks to the chamber trap. Humble oh. God throws the blind. Clash inside. Oh, oh, he knows he's there. Now gets hit. Fatal coming in. Humble God, he's going to defuse him. Counter Fatal Wait, coming in as well. Does he, he send the defuse? He no. But Karibu we're going to eleven twelve. 12 We're going to 11 12 One more round to overtime. We're so close. They're able to make it match point. They've been on match point for five rounds. Polybroom fighting, fighting back. They're, they're saying we it was aimed at earlier, but now we're fired up. There. 11 to 12. Can Untamable Beasts close this out with their rifles, or will Polybroom simply say, let's go to overtime? Let's go to overtime. It looks like they're gonna impose their will here. It's so close, but they've been winning these gunfights. They've been so quick. You want to Find play? Him. Let's so play. So close. And they walk. Calm before the storm, before the explosion. Oh, oh, they get, get the free blood! <laughs> they keep going. Will they be pushing forward? They're relaxing. They're not gonna be overconfident. Yeah. They have an advantage now, and this is looking precarious on the knife's edge. And they're gonna be going to be. They decide to re-aggress, going to mid, seeing if there's anything to be found there. They're going through spawn. It so seems that they close. want to make sure that this game is a safe one. They've gotten the advantage Karibu. and they do not want to push any further. Taking that back. It's... It's so tense. And they're gonna run around. They're going to be Maki shooting into the smoke, but no one's there. They're gonna keep going. And it looks like the final destination is gonna be B. Oh, quick flank here. From the Jet and the Fade. Will they be able to know, find Maki. this? Maki! Karibu though is watching mid. Alden's pushing Maki forward, he's retreating. Out. The rocket launcher, they're gonna have to shoot left. the kills right there, but they're gonna be able to get the side. Oh no! Karibu. Humble God finds Karibu, 4v4 now. Humble God pushing forward, actually going for the, the flank. But Bricky's right there. Smoke goes out, Flash goes out as well. They're gonna use everything. This looks so close. No one said it, just said it's a 4v4. Bricky, this might be it, and it gets a kill! And he's gonna be able to back off. No, Humble God gets another kill. They get two, and this is looking. Out then you're alone! He gets one, and it's over! They denied the overtime! And now, Untamable Beast, move on to the grand finals! A close match between these two titans. Almost going to overtime right there. Unfortunate. Congratulations to Untamable Beasts. You will be meeting Shadow Garden in the Grand Finals. And Polybroom, unfortunately, this was a great play from your team. You will now have to say goodbye. Can we give a round of applause for both teams for a great game of Valorant? And it was a series to be had. And now we move on to Grand Finals. Shadow Garden versus Untamable Beasts.
and that was a game. And now we're gonna have to wait until the next one. Time slows down when it can get no worse. I can feel it running out on me. I don't want these to be my last words. All forgotten, cause that's all they'll be. Now there's only one thing I can do. Fight until the end, like I promised to. Wishing there was something.
from the eye of the horus if you alexander the great then i am the force coming straight from the mud like i am a lord so hot in your cup well guess it's okay got to move zero cup take to kiss me lalu tum logo se aise na daru karu main sachi mein tarun pani pe chhod mein tum mein varun chahe main jiu ya maru jo kar raha hu main wahi to karu aata hai tum na kareeb tu bhi cheep chal na kare na teri ye cheep mera balli you gonna be pick up a seat getting your seat i'm the king of kings mother and i'm the son of battle you all gonna die if you act like a vandal bring the realms of reality from every angle this is the puppet service announcement from mumbai to the rest of the world i am the raja can grow flowers on a barren land break a mountain with my bare hands and step back and cause a literal avalanche should have been about to travel in i'm still for trying me to just a little and chill and i hate we told me that jab se purva jo ka gaya mila mere jaisa milega koi na tu aur tu aur chahe jo bhi tha sakti ka par maine khud diya tum lagao ke boli ya kam par de koli ya chandra ko tumne moriya ya dilla to loriya kam to me and you just gonna die that's really a given i am invincible and you are invincible see that's really Linnea and Miss Kimberly Ann Cruz. Please go to the registration booth at the front of the activity center to claim your prize.
Good old reliable ascent. Good to see it once again. We've seen it so much this tournament so far. However, who will come out on top? Untamable Beast starting out on attacking with Shadow Garden on the defending. Now, there's something that we have to discuss when we analyze this matchup. Unfortunately, uh, not unfortunately, but Untamable Beast, the reality of it is that they had a harder bracket, right? They had to fight harder opponents. They had to fight Polybroom, who I think were one of the strongest teams coming into this. And, well, Shadow Garden are undefeated. They haven't dropped a single game, right? But you could debate that they went through a weaker bracket, and you won't necessarily know how they match up against someone that might be stronger or as strong as them. Because all of the games they've been playing in are stomps. So what could change here is that if they're going to play equal footing or even from behind, what can they show? Because we haven't seen anything from Shadow Garden on that regard. A little bit of history here for Shadow Garden and Untamable Beast as well. Untamable Beast who were fighting Polybroom not too long ago went 2-1, went toe-to-toe -to -toe with them. However, last time Polybroom actually removed Shadow Garden off of the tournament during the semi-finals. And Polybroom lost to Untamable Beast. And we haven't seen this matchup in the previous game zone. So we actually don't know what's the direct, you know, power levels for both of them, but we just know by relative positioning that if based on the record, they should be technically below Polybrom, right? That's the, the underdog. That's the story here. That is going to be the reality from what we're able to see. But underdog stories sometimes go on the favor of the underdogs. Now we'll see if climb the beast that is the untamable beast. They are the beast and they look so strong and... Seems we are starting off yeah. with the yeah. map agent select, rather. Yeah, and I don't think Untamable Beasts are going to do anything for fun. Even if they feel strong, they're not going to risk the grand finals. So, you look at that side, you look at the limited Riz, who's been so good alongside the Humble God. But almost every player from Untamable Beasts have had their moments. Now the Instalock, all of their agents feeling very comfortable with the agents they want and have for Ascent. However, Shadow Garden here still deciding Arctic or Jumpy goes for the Reyna. We've seen him be very proficient here in Ascent with this agent. Now will there be any other changes for Shadow Garden? It seems that they're going with the Myojo on the Killjoy. Seems like it's very standard draft here so far. Will they lock another double duelist for Ascent? Oh, HKS is hovering over Jet, and that could be it. And he locks it in. And now all agents are locked in. We're gonna load into Ascent. Both teams gonna be focused, primed in, and they're gonna try to fight for the victory of Grand Finals in Game Zone 2023. We're both feeling ecstatic here, on edge, excited. Now, your opinion, Zed, are you a believer? I want to believe in Shadow Garden. However, data shows that Untamable Beast should be preferred here. My brain says Untamable Beast, but my heart says Shadow Garden. And we're already in the first game of the Grand Finals. Shadow Garden versus Untamable Beast. Can we give them a round of applause so we can give, so they get confidence and have a good game? And see, let's see how this goes. And they're gonna set up looking towards B here. And again, there's tension in the air. The first round, who's gonna get the first blood? Who's gonna get the first step towards victory? And that's what we're gonna see. And the double beasts are on the attack. Cover going out. They're moving Cover slowly, they're ready going towards mid. Contact being found. We're on here. Humble God gets the first blood onto HKS. Unlimited Riz gets one on Yazeo. Arctic gets the kill onto Kibe. He's now they force their way all the way to B side. He gets him. Arctic gets the kill. One more. Maki gets the trade on Arctic though. Is it 2v2? Myojo. Myojo. 
Does he find it? Unlimited Riz! Misses oh. the shot. Oh. He gets Miojo him. eventually gets him with the right click. Jumpy shooting at the door. It's gone. Shadows. And now they're gonna be pushing into B. It's equal numbers. Maki Spike. spotted both players now. And they're moving in. Maki Last hiding in the corner. Oh, God gets it. He looks to the side and they both die. They claim the first victory. Looking good on the side of Untamable Beasts and claim that round. First blood for the Untamable Beasts here in our Game Zone 2023 Grand Finals. We'll see how Shadow Garden adapt towards this playstyle. That was a very quick conversion. They immediately go towards mid. They're able to kill both the people within market and pizza, and then they just jump straight in. And that gives them the number advantage. They were still able to fight toe-to-toe, -to -toe, but they got the positions, and it's not looking good for Shadow Garden into this round. That's the second round. It's gonna be hard for them to win, as they are now on Shadow's a eco traveling. round. Cover going out. Seems like they want to rush A, though. They're in. Will they be able to plant this or will there be some sort of retaliation? Humble God gets a kill already onto Miojo. Wait, someone's in hell. Someone's in hell. Spike. They jumpy. Jump, they spot Jumpy. Jumpy gets him. He misses. It's now a 3v4. I think he got ready to spot it. HKS using the Marshall. Oh, he's gonna get him. And now it's a 2v3. And oh, he gets a Riz. There's one person left. HKS with the Marshall. But it's gonna be so difficult. He's gonna be able to do it. He has the ghost. Oh, he's getting behind him, and Riz was able to flank him, and now it's a quick 2-0 straight into the first round, uh, the first, the first game. Quick rush here from Untamable Beasts, understanding that Shadow Garden were at and gun disadvantage. Beautiful rush there, perfectly planned, time, time well timed utility there to assist the jet entry. Now though. Shadow Garden on a rifle round. Will they be able right to bring here. this back into a 2-1 game? Right yes, here. chaos with the Odin. Right I think he's looking, he's feeling good about it. I mean, usually this is a combo you love to see. And shooting straight into B, but no one is found. And now this knife is able to detect both Riz and the team. Moving forward, the smoke goes through. He has the dash, he has the judge. He moves forward, and the Nano Storm goes out. Humble God is zoned away, and the Killjoy utility going well. HPS is waiting in heaven. Not able to find anyone just yet. No blood has been spilled. Planting is Maki. HPS lo loses to Dinkle, and it's gonna be what they trade back one for one for one. And now it's gonna be a three versus three. Arctic activates the ult. It's gonna jump down, and they're still equal, and they're waiting. They're in three. Jumpy is looking right over there. And they're just gonna wait. They're playing for both plant. Maki gets the kill. Arctic is already down. Maki three, the suppression doesn't do anything, doesn't spot them, but they should know their tree. Defusing, able to find it. Humble God gets one, he might get the other through the smoke! And now to the fifth, it's 3-0 lead. Unfortunately, there for Shadow Garden, he's able to read their play. And you see here why Untamable Beasts are so good. They're so coordinated. They're, they know where everyone is. And they just look so quick to the uptake and able to punish you for any lapse of judgment, any lapse of focus, and get you down. Shadow Garden, they have to find their composure if they want to get a round off them. I think we can expect a quick 0-4 here given the guns that Shadow Garden currently has. But weirder things have happened. HKS forced out. Jumpy though, scan. Stay down. And one down. They're hunting for the rest. They're moving forward. Right into catwalk, then into tree. No one's there. HKS might be able to find him. HKS just dies instantly, not even given a chance, not even given a second, saying they're making a statement here for the grand finals. And they're gonna move into A. Arctic is dead. There's only two members left for Shadow Garden. And they are gonna have to lurk. They have to get there slowly. And Yazeos is already gunned down by Humble God, telling them to sit down. And Miojo's right over there, misses the shot. Humble God hunting them. And now it's a 0 4. As you mentioned, it, it's a quick, a quick round. Flawless round there from Untamable Beast. Shadow Garden seems to be out of choices against Untamable Beast now. Can they adapt? Can they think of something else, something new? to counter these beasts. I mean, 
They're looking so clean from aim, from coordination, from movement to control. You look at so many things that they have and they look unstoppable. But for a Shadow Garden, they have to look for a single step forward and find a chink in their defense. And that could be where it all begins. They're gonna start it. And really know oh they're trying to they're trying to be able to shoot right through. And Riz moving at the side. Oh, from Arget shooting through. They get two kills immediately. Yuseus is ready down. He loses to Odin. And Arctic is able to return to kill. And now they're going to be moving in from spawn. Holding the Vandal. Arctic trying to shoot on through. But they have the hold. They have the position. Arctic has to find a way in. To try to get this round. Will he be able to find anyone though? It's so hard, but he does have the Leer. Oh, oh. Shock dart. Oh, get another, but he doesn't get hit. Lear's gonna go through. He's going, he doesn't get him. And that's just another wipeout of 5 0. This is looking dominant from Untamable, Be Untamable Beasts. Untamable Beasts seem so poised and ready. They're saying this isn't going to, gonna go like the semi finals. We're going to make this a quick 2 0, and we're going to be back to back champions. I mean, one thing to consider is that maybe they're already warmed up, already ready to go. Because they already played such a high-level game with Polybrook while Shadow Garden was watching that game, right? Maybe getting information, but they could be less warmed up than Untable Beast, but they are already so good. Oh. Untable Beast, and they're going to be pushing through. The ult has been activated. They're pushing in, and right now they haven't been able to find anyone yet. Suppressed, but they're still hiding. And the Lyric Grid gets one, and Arctic gets another. And it's a trade one for one. Humble God is moving into Miojo. Miojo gets a kill with two sheriffs. And that's what they're looking for. It's a 2v4. He gets a third. And that might be what they're looking for. Miojo the mastermind. HKS, but he's so low. Second base down. They finally get around. It's 1 5. And it's a thrifty one at that. That looked so doomed for Shadow Garden with Untamable Be Beasts committing all, most of their ults. Oh, wait. No, actually, just two of their ults. However,. Yojo with a hold over there at B side. With the sheriff. That was a three kill with the sheriff only. Now though, we have rifles once again for both teams. Can Shadow Garden get the momentum they had from that round? Or will Untamable Beasts keep running away with the game? The one round win shows that they aren't vulnerable, that they're not immortal, and that they're gonna push forward and keep going and keep being adamant that they can probably win this match. And they're gonna keep you should looking. Run. Killjoy ult coming out from B. But it's quite slow, not a rush. Cover going out. And they're still holding out their position. So they're rotating to B, but they're ready at A. Jump is reinforcing. The ult comes out. I don't think I found anyone just yet. And Riz is gonna get space here. Gonna go to spawn. She might be able to find him. Jumpy falls, but they return to kill. It's a 4v4. It's not so bad. But now they're gonna have to look out. They might go towards A. Unfortunate overheat there from. Ooh, Ooh Tekibe gets a kill Another on Arctic, return. but Yezeos gets one on Humble God as well. Tekibe now at Catwalk. He'll be able to spot anyone here. Dinkle pushing Dinkle. through the smoke. Will he aggress? I think they know. The drone's gonna spot the drone. I don't think he's gonna push it. He might get the other two! Dinkle! But the Fendi Kill Joker's out. Miojo might be able to get the space that he needs, but the spike's already down, and this might not be the best thing for him because he might be just missing post plant. It's not in the best of positions for them. They're just gonna hide up at mines, and the killjoy is out. Sova also available here for Untamable Beast. They could just play this out, they can play for time. However, they both swing and get the kill onto Miojo. That was so close, but Untamable Beast are not gonna let go of control of this game just yet. Sure, they lose one, but they've won six. And that just shows how dominant they are. Uh, unfortunate there. I believe the plan was to commit the Killjoy ult and then go in as three there. However, oh, there is a pause. Seems, oh, there is a pause. But once again, talking about that last round, it seems that the plan was to commit the, the Killjoy ult and then enter side to fight them. 3v2, essentially. Or 3v3. However, the push there from the Omen simply too good. Untamable Beast looks so good right now, so dominant, so clean, and even to be able to fight back on, let's say, unequal footing, they're still able to win uh, win rounds, and that's when you just know it's really up to the players, the coordination, the aim, everything, and when you look at it, Untamable Beast look like they're winning in every department.
Not to lose hope though, we can still see a comeback from Shadow Garden, maybe a resurgence of sorts. I mean, now we'll just wait, have to wait for the technical problem to be resolved and we'll have it going. I mean, we talk about it, Polybrom made their comebacks in the second half, right? So they, we shouldn't count out Shadow Garden, who could potentially come back in the second half. But they have to already show that they're better than Polybrom, at least are better than the last match. Because what the way it looks right now, Antigo Beast look like they haven't been sweating. They look entirely calm. They look like they were ready to take Let's this see. finals by storm. Now though, Shadow Garden, what is the answer? How do you play these fights out? Yeah, because you look towards uh, someone like Iseos who's been buying Odins and not being able to get the value from them. And that really hurts. You lose the Odin, you lose the money. And as defenders, they haven't been able to hold the sides as well as they could. Because on Table Beast, when they entry, they enter, it's so fast, it's so coordinated, it's so strong. Com combination of all the utility holds them off. So, if you were Shadow Garden Zed, what do you think? What are you going to focus on to get back into the match? That's a bit hard to say because, as you said earlier, Untamable Beasts are just winning in every front, every type of fight that they're taking. Be it utility, be it pure aim, it seems that Untamable Beasts have Shadow Garden's number. In my opinion, if you're Shadow Garden, you don't let up. You stay aggressive. You make a lot of risks because what... Sure, you may lose the Grand Finals now, but the way it's looking, it looks like they're dominant. So you have to push the aggression because maybe to catch them off guard. I think that's what we're looking for, for Shadow Garden. And if those plays succeed, give them confidence for those plays. Going for those takes might be the better play here for Shadow Garden, but we'll have to see what's, their, what's on their mind. Now it seems that the tech issue has been resolved and we will be returning to this round. Yeah, Arctic is going to move into Cubby here. Let's see if they're going to fight over mid. It seems that they're going to do it. Recon Dart, shots down. And you see HKS is going to retreat. Doesn't like that fight. Maki is at, looking at Catwalk. Nothing else. The dash in. Zeos is right there. Arctic gets one. He might get another. And he's going to shoot at it. And then HKS is able to follow up. It's a 4v3. And this is what I'm talking about. Get those kills. Make it an unequal fight so that you're able to get the win. But Picks up the Vandal though from, from Reyna, from Arctic. They back However, off. They back off, understanding that there may, might be too many people here. He decides to just wait it out. Oh, I don't know what happened, but Omen and Sova are really low right now. They were already in the fight towards mid, so that's probably why. And the thing is, Tekubi may not be in the best position, actually. Hold on, Jumpy's not looking! And RKS, HKS is gonna fall down! And that's a disaster for Shadow Guard and Yuseos. He's the only one left. He misses the shot. He misses another. And they're already gonna be planting towards B. And he has to make a journey around the world to be even be able to stop it. Will this be a save or will Tekubi read it? Oh, Tekubi caught it and gets, finishes the round with a 3k. Takabe finds them sleeping just a little bit, able to kill them at spawn and towards heaven at A. And that's just how you're gonna do it. And it's so, so dominant. 1 7. But you look towards each round individually, they could eventually go for a 7 2. That was a very close fight there. Seeing as Omen could have turned around and gotten the kill there on Takibe at any time. But it seems that Lady Luck is on Takibe's side. Now we're gonna see how they defend here. You see HKS is already moving into mid, trying to see if they catch anyone catwalk. But you see the rest of the team are gonna move here. The smoke is out, they jump out of the way. No one's dead yet. There's so many smokes here. They're gonna have to be able to just wait it out because pushing through smoke is incredibly risky. They're gonna wait it. And you see, oh, we have lag, but I don't think you'll be able to pause. I don't think we'll be able to, to pause, pause mid, mid round mid though. Round. So this can be look. Oh, seems that they have to play this out. The timer is still or, ticking or down. Or the, the opponent might be respecting it actually, just waiting. Because you're not. Unfortunately, we're not able to pause this. Unfortunately, I don't think a pause mid round is possible. But they're gonna wait. Oh. Is everyone lagging? I see. There oh. is, seems to be internet connection issues for both sides. 
as we can oh, see, so that, so they, they both are respected. spiking. 42 to 100, back to 42, and then back to 100. Oh no, unfortunately, this doesn't seem to be an issue that we can fix this round. Seems that both teams left. have to play through the lag. Who has the worst internet at home? <laughs> Let's see who has more experience with the bad internet MS. Unlimited Riz gets one kill onto no, HKS. Look at that. Humble look God at getting oh, into it. Humble God gets a one tap onto Myojo. Jumpy though, is he ready? Can he fight them off? He gets, he gets one, one, he gets, he gets two, two. He he reload. Yazeos gets a kill to Takibe. Unlimited Riz gets one into Jumpy. Arctic though, pushing from spawn. 2v2 here. They Are have they enough planting? time to... Uh, I don't think they could plant because, because, of, because the of the lag. Unfortunately. Okay, we there. have to call a pause. because Now that we is... have to call a pause uh, yeah. on the side. We're gonna have to pause. Tech, Tech issue. pause. Unfortunate. That was a very close fight, unfortunately for both teams, or rather, unfortunately for Untamable Beasts. They weren't able to put a plant down because but of the, the, the lag. The, the lag, the, the time. time, the lag. They're waiting for it to calm down. Unfortunately. Well, they them. got 7 2, and you but gotta now, take those. If you're Shadow Guard and you take those, that's an extra round win for you. Although I, b I do believe there are round callbacks, so I do not know if we will be using that function for this round, seeing as both teams it's had lag issues. The lag, yeah. But to be fair, it was unfair to Untamable Beast because they were, like attackers are always on the timer and they ran down the timer, so it is going to be up to the marshals to decide if they call back the round. We'll have to see if they do decide to recall that round. I mean, they could easily let it go. It is a 7 2, uh, but it is grand finals. You know how I said that they have to look for something special? Well, they found the lag. <laughs> uh, it seems like lag is the secret ingredient to start cooking. If both teams are lagging, who wins? Who has the, that's it, who that's has the, who has more who can, experience who the with future? the worst internet provider? It depends. Are we talking about which internet provider we're going to talk about? I believe we are not allowed to specify any internet service provider to avoid any issues. But we love every ISP there, but some are better than some. Some are better than some. <laughs> not saying any names. No name, no name drops. That's what you'll want to see. And hopefully we can get this technical issue solved quickly. It'll be a shame if we have to redo the entire lobby to get this game going. For now, we will be taking a short break and seeing and seeing to the technical problem. Hopefully, it gets solved. Please keep your eyes open. issue has been resolved no more extra variable which is the lag but it is sort of a pseudo timeout for both sides be sentimental talk about it what could be better what could what has gone wrong but in a way unfortunately i think untamable beast has to give away that round unfortunately for untamable beast but i don't think they'll be too sad Standing about ahead. it considering how dominant they have been no this quiz. round unlimited riz though going in into the arctic, arctic though gets the kill another one Oh, wait a minute. The, the Arctic is still there. He gets the third. Gets another one. Mike, wait, he might get finally two. cut down by Mati, though. This is it. This might be the moment they're waiting for. The shock dart doesn't find anyone just yet. One this AO is shooting through the smoke. There's only one person left. And Mati is the only one left to find. They're shooting through the smoke randomly, but not able to find him. And this could be a TTP. TTP to the other side. And finally, they get a win. 
another win, two round winning streaks, one by lag, the other by Pure Serena. Skill. Pure skill. Pure skill. Pure skill. Arctic there coming up huge, Arctic coming off was that huge. pseudo timeout. A one, a two, and a three. And that's why timeout is, I think, very important to be utilized, right? Just having a moment to talk, a minute to talk about the situation and recognize what's going on is so important. Yuseos might get caught here, but he's gonna shoot the recon dart. Doesn't, wait, it's a triple bounce, and they get it, but it doesn't spot anyone. It's only one shot has been heard. Yuseos, the smoke's already out, they already know. The blinds are out, Raze is able to jump in. They're gonna get the site, they enter the TP from Dinko. Nothing else has happened yet. The Nano Swarm is able to get Riz just for a bit. They're gonna be able to plant it. It's a 3v, it's, it's a 5v4 right now. Arctic is able to get first blood. Yuseos is just shooting into the smoke, but no one has been found. And Dinko is gonna get one kill. They're gonna trade it, it's a 3v4. Okay, he pulls out the drone. He's gonna look for him. Jumpy's able to kill him one on the side. This time it's a 4v1 again, it's Maki. But Maki is right there. Wait, he gets him. And then that they able to defuse. Okay, that's we're able to have it. And that's what we're talking about. They're Beautiful use of slowly climbing. By Shadow Garden. They're slowly climbing. Shadow Garden, you're the underdogs. You're the challengers here. Last and round they're able to get the off some more rounds. Two <laughs> rounds. Three. <laughs> but if we exclude the lag round, three of Unstable Beast. Three hits towards them, and they're inching closer, and they want to win this last round before the half ends. Last round here, you want to go 5-7 if you're Shadow Garden, and keep that momentum going into the next half. However, though, you can see Untamable Beast seems like they want to stack here at A and go for another rush. However, it has failed twice in a row now. Do they want to commit again? Zeo tries a different recon, and then the attacker Kyotoi goes out. Doesn't come in entire sight though, but it's gonna push, the, it's gonna space them out a bit. Arctic is actually holding, shooting through the wall. I don't think it's catch anyone just yet, and now they're gonna have to retreat. And now they're still playing slow. They're relaxed. One player is actually detained. And I'm not sure who it is, but the blind goes through. Yuseos gets first blood, but it's straight immediately from hell. They're able to go claim the site, and they're gonna be able to plant. But the shots are being fired. It's a trade again, it's a 2v3, not a 1v3, and Kyotoi is alone against Planted. members of the table beast way. yojo mastermind he's been called can he do it can he outsmart them he's gonna have he's gonna choose heaven as a mode of attack dinko get the look for info shots have been fired immediately shooting to where it was yojo they get the info that he was gonna approach heaven but time is running out and he has to go for it it's the last round he breaks the window to bait them now he's gonna go to the side, no but way. the door is Ura. right there, and there's so no all close, and he might get, and he gets shot down, and it's a 4-8, but it's not looking as grim as before. A really difficult position to Switching be in sides. as Myojo there. All of them committing all three ults there. It is, it was the last round, so it was understandable. However, the pressure that gets put on you as Myojo there, very intense. Okay, I think Shadow Garden has found their footing just a bit, but now they're on an attack. And I think Shadow Garden feel much more alive on the attack from previous rounds. Especially, we look towards their game towards Lotus, and they were so dominant on attack. Maybe they'll be more comfortable here, get some more rounds off on Table Beast. But on Table Beast, they're clean. They're good at both sides. So we'll see how this goes. Similarly, two Untamable Beasts. Shadow Garden seem to want to stab over at the area. area. Ooh, there. a push from B, a push towards B though. They don't find anything. Information game. They now know it's either through mid Jumpy or through A. He's reading. He hears this. Jumpy! He gets one and he's gonna be able to run away. That's what we're talking about. And he's still gonna look for one more, but that is it. They they should know that no one's at A. Dinko's able to get some shots, but now they're moving into A. They're able to claim it. They're running through. They close the door, and then they'll be able to plant it. They smoke out the relevant positions, and the HKS is going to move into heaven. It's a 4v5, and this is an advantage for Shadow Garden with five members on their team. The plant is down. Shots are being fired. None of them are hitting. The TP comes in, and the Kibe moving close. Maki doesn't find anyone. 
Dinko's able to get the first kill to HKS. The Raider goes out. Dinko gets another. And Dinko dies. That's the Arctic. But then they're trading. Arctic gets another kill. It's now down to a 2v2. Is this going to be it? This is very close. He gets one. He gets the other. Now he's going to be able to get the overheal. The time is on their side. Arctic, can you get it? He's speaking. He's going to play slow. He goes to the side. He goes to the left. He's just they're playing around. They're tangoing. It takes two. And now they're moving around. It's 100 HP. Arctic has the advantage. He speaks to the right. And he gets it. It's 5-8. They claimed the round. And this could be a start of a comeback. Because now they can easily get 6-8. Core 4k. However, for Untamable Beast, very unfortunate and unlimited risk. So far, their star player got picked off so early. Arctic was at the corner of that door. Gets to. That was momentous. That was really important. And this, like I said, this could be 6 8. You cannot lose this. Despite the gap being only. Three, right? If you lose this one, you will, you will concede two rounds, basically. So they have to win this. It's a must-win situation, despite how early it is Shadow in the half. Seems like for Shadow Garden, though, this is another easy entrance all the way to A-side. Maki oh. shooting through the smoke. HKS, HKS with the, the judge. They're moving in. They're going to be able to plan it so quickly. And there it goes. Now they're able to claim another site for themselves. And they're going to hide the door. HKS going to take the same position as earlier as his teammate. Maki is looking for it. But ready, ready Nick. Ready now to turn HP. Wiz and team are going to be able to shoot down the door. But they have such a disadvantage with their guns. It's going to be shotgun versus pistol. It's going to be so difficult. Yes, they going to get another kill. Arctic gets another. And they're going to be able to reclaim it. They might get the sixth round. Maki gets a kill. 30 HP. He has the recon bolt out. But he's so low. And they get it. It's 6-8. And they might be mounting a comeback here. This is so important. But round three is another challenge. Another beast entirely. Seems like they're mounting the comeback. Shadow Garden seems to have warmed up now. Beautiful play coming in from Arctic, who has the Empress ready for this round. She def he definitely has the avenue to get his team to a 7-8 start for this half. But you gotta look at the buy here. It, there is a gap. Rifles versus Spectres. Ooh. Rifles versus Submachine Guns. Oh, and this is so important. Like we're gonna see early contact here. They're just rushing in. They're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna play with Riz. They're gonna play with Swagger and Confidence. They're ready to get one. They're ready to get Dinko. This is so important. Riz is blinded. He's gonna get shot. Might get another. He's holding it down. It's gonna be a two of three v three. They're gonna be entering. Arctic is still alive. He gets the Vandal. The Nano Swarm goes out. They're planting. He might get another two in market. The ult is activated. They're gonna keep going. One is down. The Arctic's able to trade. Will he get another? He DPs out. And then DPs out. He's invulnerable. And they're gonna move back into side. Yezeos, Arctic have to hold on. They're holding the speedway, and the knife goes out. Last the flash goes out. Standing. Maki is down. Arctic is alone. He gets killed on both sides, and now they're gonna get the win. It's six nine, and that is a devastating loss for the side of Shadow Garden, who were so close to winning that round. They were so close yet so far. Beautiful flashes there from Humble God, assisting Maki to enter the site and get the instant kill on both of them. But it was a good effort. I like the decisiveness there, where they decided that rush B, don't wait for it, they get the first blood, and were able to get the Vandal and the guns. But the gunfights, the firefights did not work out on their favor. And I think they still have a chance here. It's only a few round gap. But they're losing more and more space to lose. The margin of error will get smaller and smaller from here on out. Now, if Shadow Garden want to get close to that nine, that, that nine round win spot that Untamable Beasts are currently in, they need to win this rifle round with decisiveness. Arctic gets oh, two instantly. Now, though, do they aggress? No, it seems that they only want to plant. They want to play for the retake immediately after. No one seems to be challenging anything without the Spike potential planted. of a trade. Now, how do Untamable Beasts fight this? LC Maki, uh, Maki and Humble God both clutched the last round. Will they be able to do it again with the assistance of Unlimited Drizz, their star player? Moving in, there's five members. And what did get do? This could be another. This going, they're gonna enter both speedways. Jumpy gets the first kill, but there's one person left. This could be it. No way, Humble God might get another. He gets, no, he's not able to do it. And now they go to 7-9. It's only a two-round cap. Do not count them out. The Shadow Garden are here to play.
and look at that replay. It was so chaotic, and they're able to get it. Humble God was not able to get the kill into Arctic. And we have to mention Arctic getting so many frags, getting those important kills. And Arctic is the hero of Shadow Garden, in my opinion. Arctic climbing, the, cl helping his team climb their way back into a potential 8 9 here on this side, considering Untamable Beast only have pistols here. However, Unlimited Drizz with the ult. Find oh, one. Get Arctic. Arctic! He's gone already! And Riz gets the reset. He still has the dash. He gets another on Yaseos with the knife! Our limited Riz tells him to sit down and tell them that he's here. And now it's a 3v5. A reverse of the situation. Jumpy is trying to try to shoot them, but now they're gonna have to hold out here. It's their position. And Riz just pulls the trigger. Number ad numbers advantage still on the side of Untamable Beasts. However, Shadow Garden still have the gun advantage, seeing as the kills weren't on their side, so they were not able to re retrieve the guns that were go this gotten. Might the be bay, though. This the might be bay, dangerous. This might be dangerous. With the sneaky, sneaky positioning here. Sneaky, sneaky. They don't He's know. Will they know? This is so Will they check? Scary. It doesn't seem like they will. Now he's Keep moving. moving. None of them are watching from the behind. This is so scary, but he does have a classic. Oh, but he found him. He's able to hold him off. That the Kibi has to run, but he might be able to get the guns from the fallen, from his, the fallen teammates. HKS moving into pizza, then into market. They're still moving close. The blind left. activates, but he turns back. HKS gets a kill. Then he's gonna move into spawn. The teleport goes out. They might be able to get the plant. 20 seconds out. Maki is gonna Stop be done. able to. He has the ball, but then he moves forward. HKS doesn't get the kill. He's gonna have the frenzy, but he gets. He's jumping around. HKS gets a kill. It's a 3v3. They make it an equalizer. You should they run. They equalized it. And Riz still has the ult. The killjoy comes out. But God gets a kill. Hunter HKS remaining. gets another. There's one person left. The killjoy didn't have to destroy it. Jumpy's still there. He's not able to kill it. But it goes down. Jumpy, can you do it? You can't do it. It's an 8 9. And they inch closer and closer to a tie. What a retake there by Shadow Garden. Oh no. Win. What yeah, a but, defend! But it's a hold! What a hold there but by Shadow Garden! he doesn't destroy Garden. it! He tries to destroy it, but he gets killed by Jumpy! And then gets humbled in the end! That Jumpy. may have been a slight panic Jumpy. there from Unlimited Riz! Jumpy! Jumpy though with the 3k to save that round! 8-9 now! Rifle v Rifle! Can Untamable the Beasts hunt. halt the advance that Shadow Garden is in? Or will, Untamable, or will yeah. Shadow Garden? Continue this momentum. The underdogs making a statement here that we can fight on equal footing. They're moving into B and they get the TP. No one is in both house. And now they're moving, but Tiki is inside. Gonna activate the util. They already get two kills already. They get one. Tiki is inside. He might be able to hold it. He's the only one there. He misses all his shots. AK HKS gets the shot. Humble God's the only one left. And they miss it. They tie it up. They come back in the second half. This is it. It's tied, said. It's tied. Shadow Garden equalizes the match against Untamable Beasts. I think clearly from the audience's reaction, Shadow Garden is the fan favorite. <laughs> now no though, favorite. how will Untamable Beast respond seeing that the audience is on their side, is against their side? I told you, my mind is saying Untamable Beast, but my heart says Shadow Garden. As a, as a caster, as a commentator, I just love underdog stories and they're gonna keep going and they're gonna see if they can find anyone. But I don't think Untable Beast have already fought strong opposition before, comebacks, and were able to shut them down. But HK, HKS, the crew, have the advantage with their guns. Now though, even though Untamable Beasts are disadvantaged here, Unlimited Riz, their star player, does have a hero vandal on his hand. Will he find value? The knives earlier almost got them the win. Now they just need to commit Not ready yet. to any type of win, or else this will end up as a quick 10-9. No the ult comes out. Not able to find Maki just yet. Ah. Misses both shots, but Arctic gets a kill too. Humble God, now the call has been made. They're now gonna probably go to B, and that's what it is. The smokes goes out, and they're rushing there. They're finding, uh, they're finding the weakness in, in their defense. They get the. They get the turret. Oh, but the nanosword goes out. Arctic is a bit hurt, but not too much though. 
but Arctic is pushing forward, potentially going to market. Riz yeah. does have the dash, looking for the spawn. The Leer goes out, nothing happens just yet. HKS gets a kill, shuts down Maki, he might get another. But 12 HP, HKS getting shoot through the wall. Riz is not able to find him. It's so close, the plant is going through. It's a 5v3, can they find it? What does market, but the door is closed. Riz is pushing through, might be able to kill HKS, but he has to hold off here. And it, Arctic gets another kill to 2 and then Riz gets a kill. He gets another. Riz reloading, has to dash. Arctic gets another, and that's it. They finally get their lead. It's a 10-9. Untamable beasts, despite the, the sad, sad first half, able to bring it back to a 10-9 lead against Untamable beasts. They turned up the dial to 11. They turned it up. Shadow Garden mounting a comeback. And that's what they said. They were aggressive. They don't give up. And that's what we're seeing. We're seeing the snowball effect of confidence, decisiveness, and moving through. At this point, Untamable Beasts might be feeling the pressure a bit, but maybe, they already felt it before. Maybe Untamable Beasts really needed that internet issue round. However, we'll continue with the game now. Jumpy challenging this area. Let's it, see if they go for any sort of A push. All of their success so far has been towards B. It's a, you talk about the internet issue. We talk about how they not need it, but now they do. Yuseos shooting through, not able to find anyone just yet. Tinko's holding it. And they're waiting for weaknesses. They're waiting for picks. They're looking for anyone to overextend. Dinko goes to the other side and they're waiting. When you're at the knife's edge, the precipice of a first victory in the grand final. You cannot risk, you cannot make a mistake. And they're gonna take their time. 50 seconds on the clock. Maki was able to get information earlier through the drone, understanding that both HKS and Myojo were cat last time that they were seen. Shock dart. Maki. HKS oh. though charges up the dash. Does he find anything? I think the decision Arctic. is gonna be BZ. They're looking through. Get out of my way! Nano Swarm activated early. 30 seconds left. There goes out. They're suppressed by the knife. Already they're so close. to the HP. Now we're gonna see how this entry defended Killjoy out. They have to rush through. Humble God gets two. And now it's looking so bad for the side of Shadow Garden. And the defended Killjoy might be able to detain him. He's alone and he's detained. And they can Ten do what they wish. Myojo has to watch and they're gonna oh. knife him. Knife killed by two players. That was, I believe, Maki as well as... We have a game. The Kibe. It's the 10-10. We have a game. 10-10. We have a game. Untamable Beast said, sit down. We're still in control of this game. That was a good defender kill, Joy Alt. They knew they were pressed for time. They couldn't back off and potentially go somewhere else because the time pressure was on them. It was a good ult. Pressures them. Take firefights and they lost. Ten, In my ten. opinion, there, the winning, the winning ult there was Gosh. actually the KO ult because the suppression uh, as well. The suppression, they weren't able to throw out a leer and they couldn't enter the site it's, freely. It's a combination, and I think you're right. The suppression was the first thing that put them to a loss, and then the killjoy ult pressured you them next. Run. Here because the ult activated. This time it's our turn. The killjoy should be activated, and Arctic is going to push forward. Now we're gonna see how this goes. We're gonna get an overview. Two kills already on the side of Shadow Garden. It's gonna be a 3v5. The ult has been activated. One player is detained. We're gonna see how this goes, but he's gonna be fine. The door goes down. The spike has been planted. We're gonna see how this goes. The door has been shot. Dekabe gets one. It's now 3v4. And now they're looking at Garden. Do they get it? The grenade goes out. Maki gets killed from behind. Jumpy's able to get it. And this looks so hard to enter. Deck is gonna look for it, has to shoot the turret. Looks inside, but Arctic is right there and there. And they get another! It's 11 10, and they take the lead towards match point. It's one more win until they get that match point. It's so close there. They're close to it. Shadow Garden all fired up and ready to go. They said if you can win around with your KJ ult, who says we can't win with ours? We have very devoted fans for Shadow Garden, believing in their comeback, and now they're getting their juice, they're given, they are rewarded for their faith. And they're so close, just one more win until match point, they can feel it. But Untable Beast, once again, have fought against the pressure, have fought Polybrum from a five round winning streak, and they get, they, they're, this is, they're no stranger to this position before. Now let's see how Shadow Garden want to play this out. 
You want to get, you want to be aggressive, but you don't want to get too hyped. This this match is still in the reach of Untamable Beasts, and as Shadow Guard, and you don't want to throw that away. Both sides have pressures, failures potentially, failing a comeback or failing a lead. The pressure is on, and now they're gonna look for weaknesses. Shadow Garden composed, Cover going and they're gonna be able to do what they can, showing that they are grand finalists. Riz with the dash activated, not able to look anyone just yet at mid. Not able to find anyone, but they're about to walk into catwalk. Riz is gonna be first contact, and here we go. He's gonna get one. He might get the other. Smoke goes out, but he gets gunned down by HKS. It's a trade, and Jumpy reloads. And now this time, they find that they're gonna be able to enter to catwalk, maybe, into tree. And right now, they're still shooting. There's so many things happening. Humble God gets a kill. He might get another. Yo, just right there, and he gets the kill with a Spectre. It's now a 24. Dinkle is right there as well. HKS is alone. He's gonna be fighting against the world to get another round. He's gonna have to run around 70 HP and he loses. It's now 11 11 the tie. This is so close to maybe overtime What a close fight between Shadow Guard and, un and Untamable Beasts from that first half you'd think Untamable Beasts had this in the bag However, Shadow Garden fighting back. Thank you Shadow Garden for proving us wrong. We're talking about how they're better in every department. Now, I'm not so sure they turned off the dial and I'm, they're looking both like equals. Jumpy, Arctic, looking like monsters to fight against Humble God and Unlimited Riz. HKS are going to move into A with the drone. We're going to see how this goes. The shock dart goes out. And Maki is gonna use the lineups. He can't get information. They're gonna go in. They pull the trigger. They enter, but no kills just yet. But Jumpy is able to get the kill. They get the first blood. And now gonna be able to plant the ult goes out. Zeus is looking for it. Doesn't find anyone. He actually gets another and is able to at least hit one shot. It's a 4v5. The plant is going through a default. Zeus plants it. And now they're gonna. The, the door is already down. The shot starts not able to find anyone. Riz is gonna push through. Kills the turret. They're moving. Dekabe gets two. It's a 3v3. Riz is there on heaven. Arctic is holding the door, but he's gonna get killed by the Nano Swarm. He gets, and Killjoy is alone. Miojo holding the hell. He might get another, but does he know? And Riz gets him. And can get match point. Antimo Beast not letting this go. Unlimited Riz showing why he's the star player of Untamable Beast. With the 3k to save their round, Miojo. Valid effort there, however, Unlimited the Riz just had too much. For Shadow Garden, so close, yet so far. They can't lose hope, they can't lose their focus, despite the loss. They're gonna call a timeout, this is a very good timeout. They need a minute to think what they're gonna do. Timeout, weaker by here on the side of Shadow Garden. Will they be able to get this round and take it all the way to overtime? Or will Untamable Beast say, sit down, this map is still ours? Now the thing is, both sides are able to talk. But Shadow Garden may be the ones that need it more because they are on the timer. They are on the pressure. They're about to fall off the cliff and go to a 0-1 Grand Finals. It's so dangerous here. And if I were to say, I have to think they have to play to the strengths. They look so good at B before, but they could try a Hail Mary, do something different. Zed, what do you think Shadow Garden might pull out? I think a quick B hit here once again would be the best option. However, from the map setup, I think Untamable Beasts have the read. They have Killjoy, they have their star player, Unlimited Riz over there. Let's see if they're able to take control of B side. They have a Karambit. Jumpy just jumping around. Maybe a ritual. Here we go. They move forward. The blind activates. I think they're gonna not relax on this. I think they're just gonna push through. HKS has to judge, but they're already suppressed. There's no way they're gonna be able to enter without the dash, without the smoke. Oh my god's waiting at Market. They're gonna be able to kill the turret. 95 HP on the side of HKS. And now they're gonna push through. HKS, Arctic gets the first skill, and they trade. It's a 4v4. HKS falls down to Humble God. It's a 3v4, but they're still fighting. It's a 3v3. It's explosive. And Jumpy's gonna be able to go inside. The they're about to enter through Speedway. Maki 
and the rest of the crew are jumping in. Riz gets a kill. Jumpy, they're fighting for the legitimate lives here. One more. They didn't really get it. One person left. Myojo is dead, and they secure it. 11-13. They don't miss these. And first blood, first win goes to Untamable Beasts. Valiant effort there by Shadow Garden almost brought that map back. However, the two-point lead before the half ended proved to be the game changer there. And if you are still believing in Shadow Garden to bring it back and split, come back in a few minutes for we'll have a break for both teams to recalibrate and move on to the next match. But it was so close. It was so close. We actually didn't expect it. That's really like we like. <laughs> like, was, like, like there was a there was a kill there where we both went.
And I think we heard that sound. I think they were about to jump in to map two, which is split, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, it is. And this time, we have the Shadow Garden on defense once again. And then they will beast on the attack. But this is a pick for Shadow Garden. And after such a match where you're so close to coming back, it's so important to just move on from it. They have to recollect themselves, or realize that we were close, but this doesn't mean it's over. We can still fight back. We've proven that we can go toe to toe with these untamable beasts. I mean, you take a page out of Paula Brum's book, they won game two. Despite it being close, then you have a fight at game three because that's what you're looking towards. You're playing the long game. You have to keep going. Untamable Beast, in my opinion, they should not joke around here. They should end this as quickly as possible because Shadow Garden, it seems like when they get rolling, they keep going. Now, it seems like, once again, Untamable Beasts very confident with the agent selection here, having them all locked instantly earlier, but now the response from Shadow Garden Different sets of smokers. Oh, wait, no, it's the same set of smokers here with both having Astra. However, different choices for Sentinels here with Shadow Garden having both Cypher and Sage, but Untamable Beast only having the Kibe on the Killjoy. The Kibe has shown his proficiency on this agent and will look to see if he can keep it rolling. And. When you look at this time, Humble God and Olympic Riz are both on duelists. Potentially really good for both of them, able to shut down and pop off. We've seen Humble God's flicks. He could be here, and now we're again in map two of the grand finals. And they're gonna keep going. And now we're gonna see how this plays out. Seems there's going oh, we to might be have a, a ping issue. The boss timer has been activated, and we're going to have to wait. Make sure that the ping is down. Now we're back after the ping issue has been resolved and now this is gonna be it this is gonna be shadow garden stand fighting for their lives to get a chance at winning everything but Untamable beasts are so close to winning it all and they're not gonna let it go defense is shadow garden versus the attackers of Untamable beast and let's see how they set this up reach stun hits the key bait Hots him down. Unlimited Drift chasing oh. down. Yazeos though gets the kill. Is 21 health though. Will he, will he decide to aggress? Arctic with one kill. Arctic with two. Spike Not good for three. Eight. However, traded one by Jumpy. Remaining. Jumpy gets another one. 3v1 in the flash. Now though, 
How does Astra want to play this? How does Maki play this? He has the ghost. It's a very good weapon at this circumstance. Able to one tap when needed. I don't think he heard him. He misses the fourth shot. He misses twice. He gets one. He might get another. He dodges out of the way. He hasn't been hit a single time. He's going to push forward. He's going to get shocked, but I think he wants to take it. He doesn't want to miss out on cover. He's going to push from heaven, looking to see if there's anyone in his sights. No one just yet. It's a 1v2, but he doesn't have the spike. He's going to have to enter the other side. And oh he's going to have to expect to this. Do oh, they know? I think Miojo. Oh, Miojo wait a knows. minute. He misses. But Maki, he's going to use the Astra Stars to his advantage, potentially. And Miojo is just speaking left and right. Left. And he has 30 seconds to kill both members of Shadow Garden. They retreat. They're going to be able to find him. They're going to both sneak at him. And they get him and secure the first pistol round. That is so, so important for them. Shadow Garden doesn't seem to be faced by that previous map win from Untamable Beast. Beautiful playing play by Jumpy here with Cypher. Able to make it a 2v1 instead of individual 1v1s. And you know, that is so, so important. And now they might be able to get a 2-0 against the Titans that are in Table Beast. And when you look towards them, you have to give props to Shadow Garden. Now though, how does Untamable Beasts want to approach this? Oh, Arctic gets the kill onto. That is really good. That gives him momentum to go oh, forward. No, he's being bombed from all areas oh. now. And he in, dies. Instantly dies to Humble God. Humble God now retrieving the short to Yazeos, blocking it off. However, instantly destroyed. Start the chase. Yazeos, though, is ready. Kibe. Getting the ready. Dinkel ready for good. the flash though. However, Miojo goes aggressive here and kills oh. both of them. Traded by Maki. Now Jumpy. Does he find Maki? Maki was in a 1v3 right position earlier, was unable but was unable to convert. Will this be the same? Oh, Yezeos though. Getting ready. Hiding behind the smoke. Maki. He can look oh, for a weapon here. Stun. But this is shot. going to be going. Do they know? Are they gonna go in? Yezeos patient. Doesn't want to go too early. Oh, Yazeos gets him! Yazeos with the kill towards Maki. A clean 2-0 on the side of Shadow Guard. Up against the champions. Now this is where their metal is going to be tested in round 3. Where, where Untable Beast will have access to their rifles. It looks like Shadow Guard are not disheartened by the loss. They want to keep going. They want to keep fighting at game 3. And that is so important for them to keep up the morale. And this time, let's see how they defend. And it seems like they will Beasts are gonna change their approach. Now, seems like Untamable Beasts have a different idea in mind. Going through mid instead, however, blocked off by Yazeos. Now though, does this dissuade them? No, it, it gets broken instantly. However, Unlimited Risk finds the kill onto Yazeos. How do you want heaven. to approach it? Unlimited Risk Three. gets two more! Three kills now for Unlimited Riz. Does he go for more? Does he go for Miojo? Miojo found four kills for Unlimited Riz. He's gonna go hunt for HKS. However, HKS is found by Dinkle they were, instead. They were out for blood. They're not gonna allow them to get a 3-0. And that is so important for them to, uh, to get a foothold within this game. But if you're on the side of Shadow Garden, you feel good. You already won two rounds. At this point earlier in the first match, you were losing multiple rounds, right? This is going to be a better look for Shadow Garden. 2-1, feeling comfortable, and they're going to have a go at it again. They're going to defend. And Jet was able to rush through the wall, go through ropes, and we want to see if they're going to replicate that. And we'll see how that works. Rifle v rifle now. Yazeos with the same wall from earlier. Miojo, unfortunately, I believe, failing that one way. One way cage. Unlimited Riz though, spamming through the smoke and through the wall. Doesn't find anything though. It seems that they want to go to B. No, they're changing their mind. They're going around, exploring the idea of going through mid. Yezeos though. They're moving. Ready. Stars. Smokes dropped. It seems like they actually do want to commit to B. Unlimited Riz. Going with the rush, is blinded though, has to smoke himself for coverage. Yazeos gets the kill onto Dinkle. Do they get more? 4v5, Riz hit him by the smoke. He said we get one, but HKS is ready on the mark. Humble God gets another kill. It's a 3v3. And this is going to be an equal chance for both, uh, for both sides. They do both have guns, but I think they're going to be able to plant 
now. They're able to plant it. Maki gets it. Iseos is looking over at heaven. No one has been able to be caught so far. He gets shot just a little bit. He goes down. He's able to get it. There's one person left. And it's Maki again. It's a 2v1. He might be able to convert this. But he gets killed by Arctic. And they secure the fourth round. It's 3-1. And Shadow Garden hold on to the lead. Maki unfortunately flails another clutch here. However, Arctic putting on a stop to Untamable Beasts. Hopeful resurgence. 3 1 now I on the favor of Shadow Garden. Now, can they fight back? It seems, that, it seems Untamed Beasts still have rifles on their hand, even though if it's not everyone. There. Shadow Garden looking so much different in this match. Warmed up, catching Untamed Beasts on the back, Untamed Beasts on the back foot. Now it's 3 1. They're all stacking it A. Oh, this might be unfortunate for Untamable Beast. If Arctic gets a read on this, Arctic has the razor ready to fire. Doesn't seem like he'll use it instantly, he's, though. He's not they pulling the trigger. Stock, they are stacked up here over at A Lobby. Yeah, they're waiting. This oh. could be so good for yeah. Arctic if he pulls the trigger. He's hearing the boom bot. This might be it. We don't hear it just yet. Wait, Arctic. he's gonna hold it. Now he finds the call. He jumps it. He doesn't get anyone. And he gets one go. But he loses. I think they got all low HP from that. Just two of them. Zeus is holding for the sheriff. He misses it. Chris not pushes it. In. But now HKS is able to return it. They have the rifle still. Myojo. 3v3. Equalized. But I think they're gonna move towards mid. It seems and... though. Shadow Garden have the read. They're rotating back to B. Now, will they be able to get this? Doesn't seem like it. Will he push through the smoke and get two kills? No, they are able to drop down back to sight. Now, Dinky, Dinko. They're gonna try to Spotted get it. by the cypher camera, though. They will they be able be. to fight it. Oh, look at around the A. Astra and Breach might find each other. They will. Will HKS. they get the kill? Last player Maki, standing. Humble God gets one kill each. Now, HKS on a 1v3. Can he pull it off? No, he doesn't. he cannot. Humble God with the finishing this round, 3-2. to two. Now you see that they were all in different situations. There's a 2v2 at B and a 1v1 towards heaven. And that was so important to, for both sides to confirm on their end. And Untamed Beasts were able just to secure it. But the fight is not over. They still have to climb up another round to tie it. But I think Shadow Garden, they might feel the pressure still. Because they were having momentum. And they should, and by the looks of it, they I should be winning this, right? So I want to see them keep up with the pressure. They don't crumble onto it, and they keep doing their best. The knives goes out for unlimited Riz. Looks for anyone, but it's not able to look. They might be able to just push forward into ramps, into A. But never mind, they're able to hold out. The boom goes out. The smoke goes through. Jump pad goes through. Riz is right there, and he gets killed by Arctic with a Bucky. Just saying, not in my watch. That's a 4v4, and Jumpy. He's gonna get shockwaved and he's gonna get hit by the charge and dies to Dinkle Yezeos. They had the disadvantage. The pistols are out. Off your feet. Frenzy. And that's gonna be the ult out. Not sure how much how much people caught, but HKS gets a kill. It's now on their side. They're holding on to it. The sheriff goes out for Yezeos. Much better gun. And Humble God's right there. He, now God he's gonna look. look. And oh, he misses the first time. Now he's gonna back off. He could have taken his time with it. And now he's gonna back off. Humble God thinking that he is now smiled upon. He's lucky. And the plant goes through on the side of Untamable Beast. They get one. Humble God gets one. He might get another. He gets two. And that is gonna be haunting Isaiah. We're not able to kill him. He's gonna get the third. But the shockwave goes out. He's at the corner. He has the sheriff. He gets another. And they're gonna be able to secure. Three, three. And it's a tie. Unfortunate there for Yazeos doesn't hit the shots. However, Humble God going with the kills here. I think the timing here from Shadow Garden was a little bit unfortunate. Everyone peeked in solo, not able to trade anyone. Jumpy must have ran in thinking he was able to hit Humble God. However, he was not. Now though, rifle v rifle. Let's see. Three, th three on three. Can they get a four three here? At this point. Every round is so important in such a tie, in such early contention for each round. They're moving into B quickly and fast. No one's going to be contesting into heaven. Yzeos is in ropes. And now they're going to be able to enter B quickly. And now they're going to be able to hold it. What's going to happen? They're going to be able to kill. Myojo gets the first blood. He gets another. And 
Yuseo scooping in from heaven, but gets killed from behind. But I think... Oh, I think there was a team kill here. Yeah. Takibe killing, accidentally killing. That's a bit of a misplay. That might come back to bite them. It's now 4v3. This bike has been planted. It's actually dropped in the middle of B. Oh, they, they can wait this out. It. They can hold it. Well, Arctic, Arctic drops down, through. gets one kill. DB1. Straight it though. HKS getting a kill Maki. on Unlimited Rezir. Maki, another clutch situation. Can he finally pull a win out? My ult's ready. Let's see. Grabs the ult orb. Does have the ult now. Doesn't seem like he wants to use it though. Going around. Thirty seconds left. Seems like he doesn't have an avenue to claim this round. Maybe they'll be able to get something. Maybe he'll be able to get one, at least one. Doesn't seem like Shadow Garden wants to give him a chance though. He is Maki. found in heaven. He's being challenged. Stunned, doesn't hit. Chased by HKS. He gets one. Looks at the wrong location Ten though. Seconds left. Oh, Jumpy, Jumpy misses it. He misses the chance. And then he's able to get him. There's a cure for three. Jumpy getting the kill on there to Maki. Maki with another unfortunate clutch fail. However, it was another 1v3. We can't keep putting the pressure on Maki when he's stuck in positions where it's a 1v3. I gotta visit the Astral to play some stars. You know, the screams are kind of lining up with what the, what's happening. It's pretty funny. Now the Omaki has the ult here. Might want to split B in. So for a free plan. That's how you survive. And how do Shadow Garden defend this? Isaios only throwing the small now. Slow now. Wall comes down. HKS is found by the Boombot. Ran down by bullets through the Humble God. Oh my god. Oh! I think he saw the barrel. Miojo's Miojo. gun barrel. He's right there. Down. I think he gets killed. 5v2 though. Arctic, can you get one? Gets one onto the Kiwi. Gets a rifle. 1v4 though. Is this possible for Arctic? Oh god. Being patient. LC Maki though. Gets the kill onto Arctic. We are, not, we are tied once again at 4-4. This is such a close game. 4-4. And no team is giving an inch, and that is gonna be the moment someone loses focus or someone goes into the zone, brings it up to 200%. That is when they're gonna kick things off. If anyone were to get a two round lead, that might be a very good momentum shift. But right now, each side is only able to get one up over the other, then bring them back in. We'll see how this goes. Sometimes the economy dictates what happens in the round. We'll see how this goes. They trade it. They actually jump again here in A. And they actually win out. HGS gets a kill. And this is going to be a 5v4. Thank you, he's looking for one. Someone in the Phantom. He gets one. He might get another to ramp. He doesn't get it. And now the kills are coming through. It's a 2v4. The disadvantage of the guns is now showing. Humble God is going to be able to flank it. He's able to find someone. No, he doesn't. And one person's left. It's a Cypher who was holding B. And now he's just waiting. Gonna be trying to find anyone to kill. It's gonna be a last stand. Boombot goes out. And he's gonna be gunned down, I think. And that's what happens. Untamable Beast get a clean win charges. there during Shadow Garden's eco round. Full respect being shown by Untamable Beasts committing the Killjoy ult despite knowing that Shadow Garden was on an eco. I think they're already feeling it that they have to keep winning rounds. They can't possibly save the ult here. I also like the idea coming out from Shadow Garden where they decided to just push A very aggressively, catch him by surprise, which they sort of did. We're able to get the first blood, but unfortunately we're not able to confer that, convert that kill to a rifle and get more kills. Unfortunate. But now, rifle v rifle once again here. Yezeos, does he put the wall up once again? He does. Quickly shot down by Humble God and Makito. Do they force here? Doesn't seem like they want to. Bomb goes out. They're looking for something. Iseos right behind it. If you grenade, Humble God gets killed. It gets timed out. But Iseos is able to get killed in return. It's a 3v4. Arctic is going to have to push forward into ropes. Not just yet. Relaxing. Miojo right in B. I want you right in A, relaxing an elbow. HKS might be able to find him through the smoke, but actually it was just so close yet so far. HKS is now moving back into screens, right into A. The Astro Stars are all down, the smokes are going through. Is HKS gonna push? I don't think so, but 
This might be advantageous for it's a one for one. Spike it's now two v three. Arctic is hunting, and now it's a one v two. Arctic, we've seen you clutch before. We've seen you pop off. This is it. You have Spike to planted. get yourself back into the round. So close. Moving forward, this is gonna be it. Contacts can be made. It's very possible that they might both peek it. And it's so dangerous. Arctic has to get both. He's peeking. He doesn't get it. And Riz is able to return the kill. It's 4 6. Now they get the lead. Unfortunate there for Arctic. Couldn't find a win individual 1v1. And actually just loses it straight up. He was able to see Riz. But Riz was prepared. And was able to return it. And it was so close because that was actually something that could have been in the favor for Shadow Garden. Didn't work out. Now though, we're talking about the two-point lead that you were talking about earlier. Can dance. Shadow Garden bring this back to a one-round one deficit? They both have buckies. I mean, at best, they might have to deal with a three-round lead. Feet. And the ult already goes out into B. They're already going to yeah. rotate so quickly. They know there's going to be a commit. Miojo oh, is stunned, but is in the smoke. Doesn't get killed. We switch to Humble God. Nothing is happening just yet. Miojo is yeah. pushed out by the smoke. The, okay, the Cypher smoke goes out. The Boombot going through. He might be able to shoot it. It's not able to be found. He's going to move in. The site is in chaos. Oh, never mind. They're about to hold it. Miojo jumping in. Jumpy as well. Doesn't really find anything with the Bucky. Arctic might be able to find someone, but he's going to get chucked from behind. That's the look. For it. He gets it! It's now a 1v3 and he might be able just to look for the save, but I'm not so sure. He might try Spike to be a hero. Planted. Arctic, once again, in the position of a deficit of manpower. 1v3. Arctic slowly pushing into heaven and it's tense. He knows the team is relying on him. Moving forward, looking to see if there's anyone. Humble God's right there to the right. Does he know? He jumps up and he's able to kill him and Humble God secures the win and now it's 4-7 and now they're gonna get that lead. Last even round without in the Humble, half. Even without Humble God winning that gunfight, you can see the Astra suck as well as the Breach stun came through for support. So even if Humble God, say, missed those shots, he would have still been able to fight it off thanks to the utility provided by his teammates. And just an instant reaction, but just a reminder for Shadow Garden, they have come back from worse, right? They can definitely keep going. They have their rifles out. Let's see how this goes. They're going to be able to enter through B. And we'll, and we'll see. They're going to have the dash ready. I, this might be a rush. You want to fight it. And we're going to go here. They're going to go enter B. Humble God shooting right into the smoke alongside with the teammates. Get Nothing's able to be found way. yet just yet. We're going to see how this goes. The jump is already in. And they choose to pull the trigger until they're so going to go enter at B. And this is where they're going to make their stand. Now they're going to fight. Miojo gets the first blood. The Humble God. The shockwave goes out. It's a trade. It's a one for one. Grenades are being tossed. They're looking. They're fighting on both ends and both fronts. It's a 4v4. Smokes are going out. The church might be able to get the one in the backside. And Jumpy gets two. And now it's a 2v1. Maki again is the lone wolf. And this can be one where Zeos is coming from the edge. From Garage. Just shooting through. But Maki is right there. Wait. Oh, it's going to be. Oh, they're turning around. This is so awkward. Maki is just right there. The spike is there. This is so close. Now they're going to both gonna be peeking it, I think. Are they holding it? They have time. Maki gets killed by Yaseos! Maki with another unfortunate clutch attempt. Yaseos with a resolute Because it was the last round. Maki unfortunate here. But maybe I should call you Kwasia because Yaseos hits the shot and gets the kill. 5-7 round, better than 4-8 from the earlier four, map. This is what, that was the exact script for Polybrom. 7-5, again. And if we believe in patterns, if we believe in the data, this might be a comeback from Shadow Garden. I'm going we'll have to see how they play out their attack now. Humble God getting ready with a frenzy. And... Seems like the choice is around either, either B or mid. I mean, when you go towards these, they swap it. Isaiah is going to be the one going at mid. He was there before as a defender, but now as a attacker, they push forward. The smokes are out. Arctic's going to put the boom bot. Might be able to find someone. They can be trying to shoot it. But now they know Humble God is now really low. He's going to have to look for it. He won't be able to get any sort of healing. They have no sage. They move up. Dink, Dinko gets a kill, they trade it, he was at Stewart, and then uh, Arctic doesn't get the kill, 92 HP, he's gonna push through smoke, it's already gone, he gets it, he might get another, and they secure it, there's one person left, and it's gonna be Riz, does he get it, yes he does, but the grenade gets him, it's a 6-7, they're gonna fight back again, they're gonna keep going,
going. The Dermot lives are on the line and they're gonna keep fighting for it. Heart tick. A bit unfortunate that he wasn't able to trade instantly. However, he gets two kills and then throws the nade, knowing where Unlimited Riz is. Unlimited Riz does win the, the gunfight. However, the nades have already been thrown. 3k for Arctic. 6-7 now. I believe we can expect a 7-7 here unless Untamable Beast has something to say about it. I mean, they might play really aggressively towards A. They were able to move in from sewers so, so quickly. So this might happen again. But now they're playing slow. And they might be pushed towards mid. This might be the area of conflict. This is where things may be decided. Humble God is waiting at the middle. Arctic is pushing forward. The QB is trying to get it. He gets shocked wave. Disoriented. Now he's going to back off. Right now, they're deciding where to go. Is it B or A? It looks like the answer may be Seems B. Seems like the lag also kicked in there. However... Oh, ping, high ping, uh, fluctuating ping, could be seen through the camera as well. well I'm not <laughs> we have to continue playing. Who has better experience with bad ping? We're, we're both in the Philippines. It's something that both teams should be familiar with. And now they're going to be able to get it. Arctic, <laughs> this is a bit of able to plant though. A bit of a messy it, fight here. It is messy because of the lag. There's no... It's happening, but ART gets the first kill. They might get the second. They're going around the flank. It's happening. It's a power point. It's a power point slide. Oh, they can get the kill. ART and HDS okay. get another. This is so laggy. They might have to go for a pause. But it's three versus two. Dinko. This is so, so close. The flash goes out. They get him onto the side. Dinko might get another. The reload goes out. He misses the shot. And Jumpy secures the win. It's 7-7. They go for the tie in a laggy round for both ends. The internet gods have chosen and their pick is Shadow Garden. <laughs> in both rounds, Shadow Gardens when the lag happens. Now they might go for a boss, which is probably what they want to do. Yup, they're going to get the ping. It's We're going certain. to get the internet fixed up, but as you can see, it seems like both the audience and our internet provider want Shadow Garden to win. And let you take over you want from me Try and leave me with nothing, that shit don't pay me What kind of girl you take me for? I don't need your petty company At least I know you good for something you entertain me Go on and entertain me, boy The stage is yours, so why don't you take it? I'm sure that you've rehearsed all your love that we have resolved the internet issue. The internet gods give and take, Zed. They give and take, and they give the win to Shadow Garden. But I mean, they were both lagging, and they somehow pull it out. 7-7, seven, seven, Arctic with the Spectre. Okay. Right now, this is sort of round three. This is a bit of a bonus round here. Can Shadow Garden convert and put Untimable Beast behind even more. Humble God, though, could find contact here with Arctic. He gets killed. God gets another. Humble God gets another. He throws a grenade. And it's not going to be finding anyone, but the Spectre's now on the ground, potentially, for any of the teammates to pick up, particularly Yazeos. And they're waiting. And the, sh and the ult comes out. It's going to give time to Humble God to push. So does Limited Rage. Jumpy, and they're just stuck Jumpy there. Grenade. And they get killed. They're going to get gunned down. Yuseos is right there, and they get the dub because of such an equipment difference. Honestly, loving the respect Untamable Beasts is giving Shadow Garden. Even though they know they're on the stronger buy, they don't hesitate to pull any triggers on any of their ults, continuously getting the advantage over Shadow Garden. And it's a matter of if you save it, right? Potentially you waste points for ultimates in later rounds. So it's really good that they're going to use it in such a timely manner. 7-8. But this is when I think Shadow Garden will be able to strike back now that they have the guns that they need. 
Limited Dreams with the knives. Does he find anyone? He does it. He jumps away, but the shockwave goes out. They're both down, and HKS might be able to push forward. The Boobot goes out. HKS is going to use the smoke, but he misses all the things. And now it's a 5v3. They're going to push into science. This is going to be what they're looking for. And they're going to keep going. Capture the orb for the revive. Humble God is going to push through. You're going to see there. Arctic might get the short end of the stick. And he gets walled up, but he's not gone. But Arctic turns around and gets. Him. It's a 2v5! And two are towards heaven. One from spawn, one from heaven. And they're gonna wait. Arctic's gonna push forward. Look for it. Tekkebe has to turn it out. Baki has to shoot down the wall. Tekkebe has been staged slowed. And they're gonna be caught out here. So difficult to enter. And it's gonna be incredibly hard for them to enter here. Arctic goes forward, finds Tekkebe, slows down on the rope and gets him. And the grenades go out towards the spawn. Maki gets killed and it's a flawless round for Shadow Garden. 8-8 eight, eight now is the score. Shadow Garden being able to equalize against Untamable Beast in a matter of rounds. Unfortunate there earlier for the uh, defending race. He was actually brought up by the Sage Wall and revealed unfortunate there. It was, it was. And at this point, 8-8. Eight, eight. And again, I'm gonna point out, if anyone gets a lead, whether that be two rounds or three, it's gonna be so important. It might be, it's a, they're both on the scales. And we're gonna see which one's gonna end up with victory as we're gonna look at towards defense attack and Shadow Garden are gonna find a way to approach this and they decide at mid. Humble God. Staying here, watching any rotations that could come. However, this is a three-man play from Shadow Garden. Walls off. Ooh, almost gets the key base there. The key bay is disoriented. The grenade goes out. Arctic may be able to push forward from here. He does, he does have to jump back just in case. And the ult. Arctic activates it, shoots it into the corner. Doesn't get anyone. Arctic is shooting through the... Through the, through the crate, it's able to get into Maki. It's a 5v4, and right the shooting at spawn. They're killing everyone, it's a 3v5, and this I could be it. Exactly Arctic is shocked wave, and now they have to re-enter. Now let's see, Humble God is found. Cypher ult was able to locate everyone. Unlimited Riz though, with the kill onto HKS. 4v3, Arctic gets the kill onto Unlimited Riz. Humble God though, is head tapped by, HK, by Arctic. Now, can this breach do it? Doesn't seem like he wants to aggress any further. Dinko, you are at the time Dinko here. is tagged here. My Does he Dojo. Know? He gets, he gets, gets him. Kill on he gets him. No, he doesn't. Now they get the lead to 9-8. Yazeos finishes it off. Now 9-8. One point lead for Shadow Garden. Can they extend this to a two point lead? It's a matter of inches. It's so close. And... In terms of adjustment, it does look very difficult for the side of Untamed Beast because unfortunately they only have pistols to their name. Shadow Garden's aggression proving to be really strong here. And they did not commit a Sage Ult during that round, so the rest is still up. It's Astra here. HKS can pick up an Ult Orb and get their wall. Seems like that is the plan. I think they're gonna hold on to it. They're gonna relax for a bit. They're not gonna commit to anything that's too risky considering their position. They should be able to secure this round based on guns alone. There but it is, Astro Wall. Will they use it now? Do they Seems use like it? Seems like they're holding it in. I think they're repositioning slowly and in the moment Sage is able to recollect with, uh, reconnect with the team, this they would pull, pull the trigger. It's so close. Humble God, will his position be found? Seems like they want to enter now. Anytime now. You want to buy it? They call for it. They and he's gonna get pushed out the corner. Blocks. He's gonna get shot. And they go through, but the shocked wave and the Astra pulls out. This is so close. And they're able to keep killing it. It's a 2v4. They're able to get it. And right now, they're waiting. Now they're able to plant it. The Astra wall is huge, but Tekkebe is able to return the kill with the classic. And Hojo is down. 3v2. Two are heaven, but they're blocked off by the Astra wall. And the ult comes out. HKS is fine, but they're able to shoot it, and they're gonna get the last member, it's 10-8! Jumpy finishing the round with two kills right there. Seems like our idea, it seems like uh, Shadow Garden had the same idea of getting that old orb to get the Astro Wall, to get a entry. 
jumpy, beautiful ability usage there, forcing the raise yeah. out of that yeah, awkward that position. That was really important. And if Rays wasn't stunned or forced out of position, it could have been a bit of a disaster. But they're able to avoid it and able to secure 10 8. Next step, 11 8. But Untable, Untable Beasts, they've been in this position before. Momentum against them. Comeback imminent. And they always find a way to shut it down. And let's see if they shut it down for game two. Breach is already for Shadow Garden. However, even if they use it, none of the Untamable Beasts are on site. Breach ult does come out, however, none of them are hit. Arctic, though, gets the kill onto the keybase. Drops down. Operator seems to be on the hand of Unlimited Riz. Gets what? Oh, actually, Humble God with a 3k. Humble God, can he get more? Arctic, though, pushes him in. Gets the kill. 3v2 on the favor of them. Arctic gets another one. 2v1. Arctic, can you pull this off? Spike is right there. Bit he needs to get the ace here to get the clutch out. Does have the rocket. Has an idea of where they are. Seems like Untamable Beast though. Perfectly content with regrouping with each other. Oh! Arctic finds one. Finds both of them. And he pushes off a bit. I think this gives him pushes time him to off. get the spike. And that's what he does. And he's waiting. And he plants it here. This is where he makes his stand. A 1v2. Hoping for 11-8. Doesn't get stunned. But he pulls out the rocket. Will be able to find anyone. He puts it there. Will it get them? No, it doesn't. He jumps down just in time. It's a 1v2. Arctic, can you hold? No, he doesn't. And Maki will be able to go to the fuse. It's now going back to 10-9. Maki pulling out the clutch there. 1v1 against the god that is Arctic. Let's see this replay once more. Arctic being able to dodge it. Unfortunately, he doesn't get the kill on the rocket fuse. I think he was able to jump down just in time, which and was Maki. so important. Because Ma if Maki died, it becomes a 1v1 with defenders on the timer because of the spike. And right now, 10 9. Don't let them get the ahead. Untamed Beast might try to shut this comeback, uh, shut down this resurgence from Shadow Garden. Patience, though, from both teams. Seems like they understand that this round is very important. Either you go 11-9 or you go tie at 10-10. Both of them want it so bad. And we're gonna look towards mid to see if anything happens. Unlimited Riz dashed out, but he might be able to get the operator. He misses, but he's now also shocked. And he's gonna push through Arctic, looking for the kill, not able to find anyone. He's gonna reload, and those Astro Stars go out. They're looking for it, the Breach flashing, and now the Boombot is used. Dinkle shooting in heaven, but not able to find anyone. They're all at mid, and right now someone is lurking, but no kill has been seen just yet. Look at Astro though, will he get the kill onto the Killjoy up in heaven? Seems like he will. Oh, it doesn't seem like they were able to see each other. Takibe Close. able to reposi reposition himself He's against covering. HKS. Now it seems like the commit wants to be A. Ooh, if HKS would have found Takibe there, this might have been a different hold. They're playing so slow, but I think their decision is gonna come down to A. And they're taking their time. They shoot down anything they could. Grenade goes out. I think the decision is A. The rotation is going to come through. Now this is time to pull the trigger. Going to be able to find Humble God. And Arctic gets it. And this is going to be immediately a 5v4. The defender kills during all this use. But they're going to be able to push it. Arctic is pushing. He doesn't. He, he gets the kill during ult though. Now it's a VB3. And Dinkle dies before using the ult. It's a VB2. HKS is going wild. He doesn't get it. Deku Bay 1v1. Fighting for 11. 11-9 or 10-10, Myojo, full HP, has the advantage at Heaven, attacker. But Spike is down. He actually has a good position. He doesn't need to move until he hears the defuse. Takibe, you are in a precarious situation. This is looking, and he finds him. He's just gonna shoot on through. He might go for the defuse, but he can't. He's gonna shoot him. He's down to 16 HP, but he's gonna, I think he's gonna stick it. And no, he's ready down. It's 11-9. Battle of the Sentinels and Myojo comes out on top. The Kibe with the right idea to simply stick it. However, all the shots hit through. So close. Shadow Garden. That's their team name. And shooting through the wall. That's the post plant play. Dekibe had no other play to do except for that. 11 9. And you have to look towards. How they're gonna do this because you look towards Maki who Ready only has a sheriff. 
Oh, uh, forced by here, it seems, from Untamed Beasts. Breach Ult, I believe, was used. Will it find anything? Myojo gets the first kill on two. Oh, Limited get Drizzo two. will get two. Arctic trades Unlimited Drizzo. 3v3. Ults are in the favor of Untamable Beasts. However, the momentum all on Shadow Garden's side. I mean, they're getting control here. They're still on attacking. They're at mid. Deck base is going to look for something. This is so, so close, but so far. And I don't think they're going to meet. But Deck Bay might have a really good position here. Hold on. HKM finds him, but he dies. Deck Bay gets the Vandal. He moves out. It's a 3v1. And the Arctic might get it. He gets the two. Then he gets three. Deck Bay, he gets him at three. We're at 12 9. Chance there for Untamable Beast to get a round win. However, Arctic freezes them in place. That is it. Arctic. Go, oh, sorry. Going at it. That was a moment for Arctic. Arctic playing a game for his life, playing for the tournament victory. It is so close. One more win for them will lead them to a game three. Arctic does not want to go home after that heartbreaking loss in Watching map you. one. He's saying, I'm here to stay for map three. Now, though, patience again from Shadow Garden doesn't let the hype get to them. Ooh, Flankier coming in from the defending raise, though. It's being watched by the attacking breach. Oh, Riz shutting it down so quickly. HKS is gone. Arctic staying close, relaxing. It's a 4v5, but with Arctic looking so clean, they might be able to pull it out. And now, though, how do they want to play this? They're a man down. They have the Cypher ult, however, they still need well to get a kill before fighting for it. There. They're looking towards B as a moment, as a mode of attack. There. They're holding, they're waiting. And there. before the storm comes and rolls in, just a bit of calm. 30 seconds on the clock. Boombot goes out. The signaling for the moment to, uh, for the attack to begin. And unfortunately, the knife doesn't even go through. He gets shockwave. The Asher pull is out, left. but no one gets caught in it. Nico has to push forward with the flash. He's gonna use it now and push it forward. Through. Oh, flash! This might be it! And he's gonna get one more, but no! One person's left, but he goes down. It's not 12. Then they hold on for another. Beautiful flash there from the breach. Getting everyone, Unfortunately, he doesn't get everyone, but he has done enough damage to get them that thrifty round. That, that flash, monumental. Absolutely a game winner for that one. Now, if ever they come back, you look towards that moment, that flash, as, as one of the key parts of this game for them to re-secure an overtime. But, match point, once again. But you look at the guns, not looking so good. Let's see how Shadow Garden want to approach this now. It seems that they are on a weaker buy. However, we have seen weirder nope. things happen. Arctic with a hero rifle on hand. If you want this, if you want a hero rifle on hand, it's on this man with 31 kills. Arctic, can he make something work? He's holding towards A, but no one's gonna be peeking so far. I think Untable Beast are going to be more reserved, more passive. They're not going to make any mistakes. They're going to wait for the attackers. They're going to wait for Shadow Garden to make the moves and then react kindly. And they're going to wait and they're going to move around and find a chink in their armor. Jumpy is going to go forward. And it's so, so tense. And we're just watching. This might be it. They have the gun advantage. The shockwave gets Dinko, though he has to jump out. Then a flash into heaven. No one has died just yet. They're gonna be looking for guns, though. Dekabe is pushing forward, but might get caught. No one dies yet. They're now all gonna meet each other. Jumpy can move forward. Dekabe uh, gets the first kill. Humble God gets the second. Jumpy is left. They're looking towards rope. No one, nothing happens just yet. Spike carry is down. And Mac gets one. Spike Arctic gets down. another. It's a 2v3. We thought this might be such a win for a table beast, but there's still things happening. The plant is down. And Jumpy gets one. 
It's a 2v2, they come from heaven. Jump me with the sheriff. Can you do it? He doesn't get it. No, Reese shuts them down. And they're so close to an overtime. This time, on Tibo Beast playing for it. Oh, a close round there from Jumpy and our star player in Arctic. However, on Tibo will still get the round with However, that was an eco round on the side of Shadow Garden. This one is a rifle v rifle. Can they get? Can they close this out similarly to how they were closed out by Untamable Beasts? Or will Untamable Beasts succeed in bringing this to overtime? You can talk about tactics, you can talk about skill, but there's an X factor within every player, and that's gonna be a thing that's gonna matter here. Whether they make the plays, whether they do something great, it's gonna be the deciding it? factor. Whether they win, the ult comes out, and they decide this is it, we're going B. No, they're gonna go fast, they're gonna do it. The Ashu wall comes out, they sync up their ult, and now the rest of the team has to go and react to this, because now they're gonna plant B. The Sage wall comes out, the Zeos is starting to plant, and this is gonna be a re entry for the tournament. They're going in, and one person is lurking. It is the Astra. He might be able to find something. HKS, does he find anyone? But the jet is behind him. He gets a kill. Riz gets it, but the kill going on the south. Mildred gets a kill. It's a 4v4. And now the defense the ult goes out to get info. Yuseos actually is able to ult HKS. They have the ult south. Jumpy gets another. They're going down one by one. It's a 2v5. Defender Killjoy's out, no players are detained, but Maki is pushing on through. Will they be able to find anyone? Maki, not just yet, but the spike is right there. They have to do something. Maki gets another, and he's defusing it. Will Humble God stick it? But it goes out. He's done, but he's not able to get it. It's a 1v3. It went it's half. Did he get it? No, he does it, and it's secure. Game two. We're going to fracture for map three. One one in the grand finals of Shadow Garden versus Untamable Beast. Please stay for match three. The deciding game will happen in a few minutes. And they're gonna have a break and recollect themselves for map three. Untamable Beast will be attacking on Fracture. the eye of the horse if you alexander the great then i am the force coming straight from the mud like i am a lord so hot in your couple guess it's okay got to lose your local take to kiss me learn to look at that and i don't know the room is the matter on funny but you don't have a room to have a new yammer on to run at home every to go on i hit on a creep to be cheap to be a pet in a city it's cheap 
better believe it. you're gonna bleed. Take up a seat, get your thing. I'm making a fiend. Brother in arms in a battle. You all gonna die if you act like a vandal. Bring the realms of reality from every angle. This is the public service announcement from Mumbai to the rest of the world. I am a Raja. Huh. I am the Raja. Pedega to Tega Jana Sana. I can grow flowers on a barren land. Break a mountain with my bare hands and step back and cause a literal avalanche. Should have been a lot traveling. I'm still poor time, maybe just a better than Chilana. Hey, we do the mirror, just say put over to Camilla. Made it just a million got going up to her to her. I hate to be past the peak of her. And they could be a couple of coffee, fully a comfort, a coolie, a chunk of the memory. I got the love to Lori. I come to me and you just gonna die. That's really a given. I am invincible and you are invisible. See, that's really a difference. Get out of my way, I'll leave the world a choice. Is yours. I don't kill my enemies, I play with them, that's what the toys are for. From Mumbai to the rest of the world. I am the Raja. Pedega to Tega Jana Sana. And welcome back to the siding map, grand finals, fracture, Shadow Garden versus Intimo Beast. This is going to be Intimo Beast attacking for this map. This is it. There is no next map. It's either you win or you lose. Both games have ended in very spectacular fashion. Both are 13-11 for each sides. And that is just a absolutely so a very intense series we have in our hands. A beautiful sight to see for the viewers out here, either online or here live at Ayala Malls, Manila Bay. Now we are moving to Agent Select for the last map of the Grand Finals of I Academy Game Zone 2023. And when you talk about Fracture, we do know that Shadow Garden has played here before. They have played against, um, I think it was GG side. And they did win, right? But we don't know the knowledge that um, that Antebo Beast has here. So we don't necessarily know how comfortable they are or how dominant they could be. So we see that's going to come into play, essentially, because they look so equal right now. Seems like so far, though, this, it will be similar agents here, having the, both having the Breach and Brimstone if these are locked in. KO, though, already locked in. For the side of Untamable Beast, the Breach and the Brimstone do come through along with their humble god going on the raise now. Unlimited Riz no longer on Duelist, finally going through the initiator role. And I think they're gonna trust Humble God to frag out, and that is so important. Humble God was instrumental in the in the game against Polybrum. He was your agent. top frag, doing absolutely crazy flicks that are VAC ban worthy. And now we're here, and they're gonna lock in their agents, and we're gonna get into the final game. Standard comps here so far from both teams. Who has the better setup, and who can win the match? They both have a duelist, and that is Raze. So Arctic versus Humble God. 
Shadow Garden versus Antemo Beast. And that's gonna be what we're gonna look towards. Arctic Hero of this game, of game two. Humble God showing he has so much skill. Can he pull out something? Because he's been a bit absent for the last two games. Riz taking that spot. But now Humble God is now put front and center to be able to absolutely dominate this game and be in the limelight. Different choices here for the secondary initiators with Shadow Garden going for the fade. Meanwhile, on the other side, Untamable Beast with the option of going to the KO instead. How this changes up their engaged should be seen throughout their gameplay. And we're entering the last game of Game Zone 2023, the Grand Finals. And loser goes home and winner wins it all. This is all or not. And we have a lag. We we we're, a lag. La we're lagging. Okay. <laughs> Unfortunate <laughs> timing, but we will likely do a re lobby because <laughs> of the ping diff. I think they'll make a new lobby. How about we leave this match and call it even? <laughs> We share the win. <laughs> what if everyone just wins? <laughs> what if we both win? Seems that now though, I we think will they will be the unfortunately, yep. the, unfortunately for us, uh, this Grand Finals has been riddled with internet issues left and right. Hopefully for the entirety of the map 3, this is the last pause that we need that is internet related. Here's the thing, right? What if internet problems come in in like a 12 12 scenario or 12 like 12 11 scenario that's gonna be so sad for both teams i believe we'll, we definitely have to do a rollback of the round there now we'll wait for more updates regarding the ping issue but for now can we hear who is hyped for the grand finals who's for shadow garden who, about Untamable Beasts. And it's your, okay! There, oh, it there's, seems that contrary cheers. to our belief, the cheers for both teams are actually equal. I like the fans here. Very dedicated to their respective team. Pretty awesome, pretty good. And Zed, about us, who's your bet? Uh, I want to ride the hype train of Shadow Garden right now. It oh seems like gosh. the underdog story is the best option here. Here's the thing, right? I was so hyped, I was so believed, but now they're in equal footing, right? No, I'm also on the Shadow Garden train. Let's go, baby. They came back in game two. They proved that they can win in game one. And this is game three. But honestly, on Table Beast, you can't count them out. It's by the slimmest of margins, and they could totally pull out the win. So we're going to have to wait and see how they play in Fracture. They are the reigning champions after all. Shadow Garden here are the challengers. Can Untamable Beast go for a repeat of Game Zone 2023? And can Shadow Garden actually stop them? Chicka, 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 chicka. Choo choo! <laughs> the train for Shadow Garden keeps going. And I think they're loading into the map right now. We hear the load screen. Should be any minute now. Zed, what if us voting for Shadow Garden makes them lose? Ah, the good old caster curse. The good old caster. It, it does exist. If you watch tournaments, it does happen. But you always believe. <laughs> you gotta believe. You gotta believe in it. And do you think experience matters in this last match? Because Shadow Garden, first time in the finals. Ante will Beasts have been in finals, but also look much more experienced than your Shadow Garden counterpart. Do you think that might give them the edge? Well, I do think Untamable Beasts are slightly more experienced. Shadow Garden has shown that they are able to keep up even though they have less experience than their opposing team. I mean, you can just look at the, at, at the photos. Shadow Garden, young, scrappy, and hungry for a victory. And I think they're going to keep going for it. And right now, they just have to keep their, keep their composure, right? We also talk about how you can overhype yourself and go for a place that may be nonsensical. So we have to be wary whether or not this is going to be the case. And for, uh, for Antibo Beast, I think they can still be comfortable though. Because in this scenario against Polybrom, they won the third game, right? They're no stranger to this. And 
potentially endurance might come into play here, right? Because until until we'll be has played six games today. That is true. That is true. They went for it. the games so far have gone so long. But we'll look and see if Untamable Beasts can keep their composure here. So, I pointed out earlier, Humble God, Arctic, right? And also, Riz. Who do you think will be the best fragger here in this game? Ooh, for fracture. I believe Unkillable Riz might be off the list. Given yeah, he might the be off the list, but now playing. the two candidates are seems to be Humble God and then Arctic. So who do you think might secure the top kills in this game? A bit of recency bias okay, here with go for Arctic. Arctic. Seeing as he went for 30 plus kills in the split. However, for today, I don't believe we've seen too much from Humble God. From Humble God. Oh, Humble God. Oh. Yeah, I mean, in my opinion, he had some crazy moments, right? He was able to secure certain things. I think there's still hype in his skill. And he's able to top frag and has those crazy flicks. But I think I have to agree with you there. Arctic was the one able to convert those crazy moments to wins. Now, let's talk about the players again, though. Uh, which player caught your eye the most? Let's go for oh, each yeah, team yeah, so that it's a yeah, bit fair yeah, with yeah, the analysis. Yeah. So, okay, for me, this is my favorite, right? Yuseos. Yuseos yeah, yeah, has been just your... it's, Sure, there's the play side of it, but you also, as we're here live, Yuseos, I think, had a lot of pressure himself for this match, right? And I'm rooting for him to keep going because he's not too frazzled. I think he's hyper-focused right now. If we take aside skill and more of like just a personal preference kind of thing, Yezeo stands out to me because it seems like he cares a lot. He wants to win. He has the hunger. And immediately after game one, he had to recollect himself and then come back for game two and they were able to secure that win. To me, it's probably likely Myojo. Myojo has been Myojo. like a secret star here for oh, Shadow he, yeah. Garden. Not getting noticed too much as we've been calling a lot of Yezeos, HKS, as well as Arctic. But yeah. Yojo definitely pulling his weight as well. As for Untamable Beast though, so far, I believe mine would be Takibe. Takibe has pulled out a lot of clutches, looks really proficient on the Killjoy, and it seems like he's a shining star here in Untamable Beasts as well. Now, I sing the praises of Riz and Humble God, right? And they both stand out to me. But if I were to sort of give a sort of call out or a shout out to one of the players, it the thing is, they're both of the same. They also more of like more behind the scenes Dinkle and Maki, right? Now here's the thing when it comes to talking about players that stand out, and if you're watching them, is that all of them just had their moments. But if I were to see Dinkle had a lot of moments in the games, he was there, he was fragging, he's using a lot of his util. And I think Dinkle is one of those like key players on the table beasts that may be able to flip things depending on how well he plays in game three. But you can't discount Maki, you can't discount Tekebe, Humble God, you can't discount any of them. As for the upcoming map though, based on the picks, the agent picks that you remember, who who do you have your eyes on? For me, for Untamable Beast, I have my eyes on Unlimited Riz because this is a new he's position not a he's been put in. He's no longer the duelist. He's now the initiator. He has to stay back a bit. How much value can he get compared to when he was playing the Jets or yeah. the Razes? Because now it's not about entering as Jet. It's going to be about setting up um, Humble God, right? That's gonna be the difference here. He's gonna pass on the torch of Humble God to enter and frag out, and that's gonna be what's gonna be important for Untamable Beasts. And I think I get you there, right? Because it's now a huge shift. It's an adapt adaptation made within Game 3 that they decided to make. So now, Riz can still frag out, definitely, but it's now put in a more supportive role for the team. And yeah, I just looked at that and was, we might see something different. But what about for um, Shadow Garden? Considering the agents that they went on, it's not, there's not too much 
new territory for us to explore. However, I do have my eyes on Yezeos for this game. I'm curious to see how he'll be able to use his utility to support every other player in his team. I mean, like I said, he's my standout player. I believe in him, right? But as someone that's been watching this series, both teams have, have the credentials to win it, and it will only be decided within this map. But now we're going to have to still wait and still hold on to it. Um, we, we just have to wait for the, the ping issue because we don't want this to be decided by lag. So that's going to be a thing that we look towards. Again, the ping issue has been resolved, and now we're the last game again of Fracture Shadow Garden versus Antimbo Beast. It's gonna be a winner takes all, a winner takes all, and loser just goes home with nothing. Where you're gonna be first loser if you're gonna be able to lose this, and you're gonna be second place to whoever wins this. And Arctic and Fade, just Arctic and Fade seem to be having a lot of fun together. They're just they're just looking at each other's eyes, Zed. Oh. Before this adventure begins, a new game, a new match has and started. Still going to be able down. to enter. Steam goes out. They're going to be able to enter the B. HKS gets shockwave. The grenade goes out. Humble God may be able to find someone, but HKS and BG gets a kill. He's right behind there. HKS gets two kills. That's going to be huge in a pistol round. Yezeos is in the smoke right now to 4v3. But this, they still have to be worried. It's a 3v3 because Fate is not in the area. It's still equal. Yezeos shooting in the smoke. No one to be found. Jumpy and the rest of the team are together and they're able to plant it. Let's see how far they can get through this. Spike has been planted. This is a 4v3 retake. Very realistic for a comeback. No. However, Unlimited Riz and Maki get one kill each. Yezeos, though, a kill onto Tekibe. Maki, really low. Yezeos finds another. Last one. 2v1. How can they fight this? Unlimited Riz going for behind. Reveals his location with that fire. Yezeos with a 3k and finishes that round. You want to win that pistol round in game three. Secure a good lead. That's and the they still have to win the second round. But this gets them a good chance. They set them up for success. And now, and Anubis Riz has to look. He had to be careful here. But then Yezeos wins the gunfight and returns it and gets a 3k for the round. While Yezeos did finish the round off with a 3k. I believe the MVP of that round was actually HKS. Yeah, he was hiding. He, he was went right there. undetected and got a free 
double kill before get getting info. traded. He got info as well. He was able to see how they were walking, potentially say, guys, they're all going towards B. And that's going to be so important. Smoke. And we're going to see how this win converts into round two. Because there's still a chance that it's going to be played out. Smokes go through. Humble God has what his classic ready. They're going to walk in. Once again, the tryout to B. It's another tryout. Jumpy is almost dead. They reduce two to three. It's actually 3v3, actually. But HDS gets a kill. Maki is right there. And HDS throws an alarm. Up as, uh, oh, Arctic gets a kill. 2v1. Maki's alone. He might look for a stray gun somewhere because gun death is around the battlefield. And he could find something. Oh, he's relaxed though. Biojo might know where he is. It goes through. It catches him. He's hiding behind the crate. It goes through. He's trying to shoot. It doesn't get him just yet. There's no planting. He's not 50 seconds. They both jump and they both get him. Shadow Garden seem hype carrying the momentum from Map Beautiful use of the utility here by Myojo, getting all the informa information that they need to find Maki, the last person standing. I like the raise, the fade, they coordinated to peak at the same time, so there was no way he was going to be able to kill both of them. And those little things build up to wins, to victories, and now to 2-0, but... Uh, they will be stuck in this position before in game 2, and they have the rifles locked and loaded. 5-1 here for Yazeos, one point away to getting his ultimate. Rifle round though, for the side of Untamable Beasts, can they convert to get a 2-1 match start? And they're playing slow, which is fair. Looking out, they're, gonna, they're moving towards A. This seems like more of like an A angle for, uh, for Untamable Beasts. However, Shadow Garden has the read on this. Four players are Probably over goes here. Out. Oh, however, I believe Yazeos almost got caught by the nades from Raze there. Humble God getting a bit of, getting ticked a bit by the Yazeos Molly. Ooh, now they peek in. Yazeos, does he find the kill? Oh, he doesn't. Door closes just in time. Humble God gets the kill onto Yazeos. Myojo though trades it. Are they able to keep fighting? 4v4. Yojo gets the kill on to Dinkel, gets the Vanda. Arctic, can you play some magic? He does, gets in, however, is shot down by Maki. Tekibe, though, has the plan. Do they know? HKS is found by Maki, shot down. Maki, Maki with a 4K to keep his team alive. You can't count anyone out from Untamable Beast. I'm telling you, all of them have the chance, all the capability to pop off, and Maki was the recipient of that, of that moment. And that was a 4K, as you mentioned. But Shadow Garden played it really well as well. Shadow Garden able to get three out of five players from the side of Untamable Beast. Now, this should mean a broken buy for the side of Untamable Beasts because they lost three. Spike we'll here. see though, it seems that they still do have rifles. Enough money from the plan to keep their economy alive. Arctic going for a really aggressive push here with the fade. Myojo walking back. Seems like Untamable Beasts simply waited for the utility to be used before they go on to push A. Getting information. Seems that now they've decided, okay, a is probably clear, we can go here. Let's fight any of them, get a 5 on 1, hopefully, and then take the site by force. I'll find you. Well placed smokes, though, by the side of Shadow Garden, dissuading any random pushes by Untamable there. Beast. Enough time for them to rotate. Will they read this? Seems like Ezeos patiently waiting in the middle of spawn. Humble God almost gets stunned, able to go into sight. Arctic though gets the kill on to Humble God. Reach um, Grimstone old comes out rather. Yazeos going through the smoke. Gets almost gets the kill. However, Unlimited Riz does get the kill instead. Takibe gets the kill on to Arctic. 3v2. Now there is a fade ult available. Really low health on the side of Untamable Beast. HKS gets one onto Takibe. But they're on the timer here. Really low. Yojo with the fatal able to find Vaki here on site. Can he kill him? Yes, the he answer does. is yes. And, they get and HKS from behind gets the kill on Dinky. 3 1 lead going to the side of Shadow Garden. Now that is a win that you look at Shadow Garden. You, you now fight an equal footing, rifle versus rifle, and they get it. 
I think this TV, they had the confidence to say, we win this, we're better, right? And that's gonna be that feeling, that sort of swagger, that's very important here. It's a 3-1. Now we have to see what adjustments are made towards defensive positions here, or at attack patterns rather, because it's a table beast, the ones that have to adjust, they're currently in the 3-1 position. So we have to look towards it, Humble God, we're still looking at you to pop off, as you are gonna be the focal point of the team, as the duelist in 3-1, and it looks like they're gonna be setting on their sights towards B. Ooh, quick movement here though, from Shadow Garden as well. Seems like they recognize the push onto B, going through the A site instead. Now though, Untamable Beast have the site on lock. Jumpy meets with Humble God. However, Humble God gets the kill. And they're ready, they're ready able to secure B. But right now, you don't count out Shadow Garden. It's a 3v4. And they're going to be, they have the guns. Maki, Arctic tries to shoot, but he is suppressed. He won't be able to use anything. He jump, he goes away, goes into the tunnel. And he's going to be able to go to the other side. But it's a 3v4. And he gets one tapped by Humble God with the Bulldog. It's going to be HKS moving forward. The spike is there, time pressure, ticking down. HGS shooting through the crate, nothing else is happening. He gets one, can he get the other? And he's still looking for it. He doesn't get the second, it's a 1v3. Arctic with the share, can he get it? No, he gets one, maybe he could get the other with the one tap. No, he doesn't, and Takabe secures it. 3-2, and that was important for Untamable Beast to win. Really close game from Shadow Garden and Untamable Beast going through inches. HKS with a valiant effort to, pro to hopefully get Two, at least two kills to support Arctic here. Arctic though, misses a bunch of shots, but is able to land one. However, the Kibe finishes them all. That could have been a one-tap, but unfortunately it wasn't. Probably towards the body, only putting down to 50 HP. It's 3 to 2. And this matters a lot to both teams right now. And they're gonna be pushing towards, I think they're gonna stay on one side here. Check if A or B are available. But you see they're running through. They're actually rushing towards Hall at A. They keep going. Jumpy's gonna get another. This is it. It's a DP3. They're able to catch him by surprise. They have to spike. The ult comes out. They activate the kill ult. It's out of the ult. Akimaki gets both. Yaseos is the only one alone. It's the only one left. And Okimaki gets it. That was so close. And they get it. Explosive round. They made the decision to push through Hall. They got three members. It's a 3v3, but they get split up by the ult. The Killjoy ult goes out as well, but Maki just gets both of them lined up perfectly to get them that win. Really well played there by Maki. Able to get both of those kills. Shadow Garden, though, knowing, understanding that they right have there. the weaker buy, decides right to go for a push. Almost works out, but it was also able to get the Killjoy and Brimstone ult off of Untamable Beast. Now they have the Breach ult to work with. Oh, Will they use it? Nothing. Yes, they do. But this, this oh, doesn't the comes Arctic, out. Counter ult thrown out by Shadow Garden. Arctic remains unchecked here. This dissuades a push Pumps from them. Down. Will they continue? They might decide to go push it at A, and that's what they're gonna do. And they're gonna push in, go on all sides. They're going. Arctic gets a first kill with the rocket launcher. Grenade goes down, but I don't think he's gonna catch anyone. He's looking into Hall. He gets another Arctic, and they're getting all the kills at 3v2. And Miojo goes down now to 2v1. They have to hunt down the spike carrier. Dinkle is the only man left alive. And he's going, he's rotating around actually. Wait. Okay, this is gonna be very important here. This might give him a plan, put him in a position where he could win, but now they're holding out in spot. And this shockwave goes out. I think they've heard it. They know now it might be at A. So precarious, so scary, and he has to hold out. Arctic, peeking, looking for anyone. Doesn't find anyone at that side. Waiting again. And wait. He's actually going for the flash, but he gets him! Arctic with a 3k to finish it off. I believe Shadow Garden choosing a really smart play there. Instead of trying to look for Dinkle, they decide to go through the center so they could possibly here either plant on A or B. Deciding to go for a 2v1 instead of a potential 1v1. However, Arctic does find a solo kill anyway. I think the play there was he was going to try to kill one. Like immediately, be the one to be the aggressor, attack time them, and catch them by surprise. But he was able to react in time, turn away, gets only half flashed. And now, we're gonna see the lead is now on the side of Shadow Garden. And they keep going. 
Another quick rush though from Untamable Beast forces everyone out. HKS though gets killed. Oh, close 33 health. Could have gotten a kill there. Jumpy try trying to reclaim possession of Sight. However, B Sight is in complete control of Untamable Beast up until Yaseos gets one kill. Brimstone Old comes out. Forces Maki into this situation. 3v4v1. Yaseos with a 3k to push them to 5-3. They're putting... I said before in this tournament, Untamable Beast were not pushed to their limits. And this is it. They're getting pushed from Shadow Garden, the underdogs initially. But they're looking like winners. Let's a five, their day. three, two round lead. Shadow Garden, let's see if they can continue this, this momentum and see how this goes. But I think Untamable Beast feels that this could be a call to try something else. Credits to that round to Yazeos. Able to get the first kill for Shadow Garden, immediately popping the ult on site and forcing everyone out. And it's a type rope for both teams. And we're gonna see how this goes because it seems like Untable Beast are split up looking for an angle. This time, they're, this is the first time going through Dish. This is their first time entering on this side of A. And they're gonna keep going. No longer going through Hall. They might be able to catch someone by surprise. The smokes are out. The Shockwave doesn't find anyone. Maki with the Sheriff. Humble God pushing forward, trying to see if they find anyone. Going to be able to smoke Link or anywhere else that may seem problematic. They're holding on and waiting for the trigger because two members of Shadow Garden are, are not Shadow Garden, but Untable Beast are getting into position. Miojo is waiting. Lying and waiting. They pull the trigger. Humble God doesn't die just yet. He trades one for one. Arctic gets another. He gets two, but he dies. It's a 2v3. Now it goes explosive. The trigger has been pulled. Maki goes for the phantom, but dies to jumpy. It's a 2v2. Yazeus is looking for a kill through the crate, but no one dies. And they're just going to. They're fighting it. They're doing it. And Yazeus gets two. And the 6 3. And the momentum is on Shadow Garden. The train keeps chugging along. And there. this underdog story might have a happy ending. I said before the match, I was looking forward to Yazeos the most, and he comes up clutch here, able to dodge the breach stun, uh, the breach blind rather, which was able to hit two of his teammates. However, being able to cover for them, gets the kill and wins them the round. Now we go back. Now they're gonna try it from this side again, from bottom side, and they potentially are gonna go towards B. They're split up again. Looking for picks, potentially, but nothing has been found. And if you are a demo beast, you want to stop the momentum here. Because the longer this goes, the more confident Shadow Garden becomes. And they decide maybe the mode of attack is going to be through B. You're going to check it out. Nothing's happening yet. They're going through the tunnel. And they're waiting. And they're being disciplined here. No one is pushing unnecessarily. And they're not really biting on too much, which might give Untable Beast the control of the rest of the map. And they might go from both entrances here, from Arcade and from Main. Patience here from both teams. Who pulls the trigger first though? Man advantage right now to Untable Beast. They pop the KO ult. Will they be able to go in? Takibe on a, on a pincer here. Humble God able to enter side. They're free here. 5v5 retake now starting for Shadow Garden. Will they be able to pull something off? Now it's Fade old coming out. It's straight 5v5. They're gonna enter. No kills. We said Humble God gets the first. Arctic gonna push through. It's gonna be two kills on the side of Shadow Garden. And they're gonna keep pushing through. A 3v4. Two on the tower. But the ult comes out. It might stop him from planting. Maki's gonna go to the tower. He dies. And this is gonna be a 7 3 for Shadow Garden. So much commitment with the ults there from Untamable Beast. However, Shadow Garden survives with four players only losing one that round. When in a retake like that, it's about the X factor, I think, especially in a match like this. But the 5 and 5 things tend to get messy, things get a bit chaotic, and at the end of the day, Shadow Garden were able to win up uh, to win on top. Now 7-3 is the score for yes. the first time. Untamable Beast are will the... not go positive into the half. This is actually the first time. Shadow Garden riding on that confidence. And let's see how Untamable Beast, Untamable Beast gets into this position. The shockwave right now. They're gonna keep going. They're... Okay, Humble Guy gets one. He doesn't get the other, but Tinkle secures the other. It's a 4v3. 
Zeus, they're trading one for one. And now, if it's BB2, it's an advantage for Untamable Beast. And they're gonna keep going. HKI, HKS going through the smoke. Not pushing through just yet, waiting for the smoke to dissipate. The plant is on. Spike now planted. they'll be able to beat. Uh, the clock is gonna continue to tick for Shadow Garden. They have to push through. HKS and Yezeos, can they find anything? Oh, you can find them under, but Shockwave is gonna catch Jumpy. He's right in the corner, he dies! And Dinkle's able to get them. HKS is also, oh, he's gonna get charged down. He gets, and he dies, it's now 7-4. Untamable Beast claiming a round for themselves. The beautiful Last use of the utility the here from the Breach. Perfect placement of the ult as well as the stun, as well as the blind. Set up there from Shadow Garden earlier was to use the Nade Seize combo from Fade and Graze. However, the stun actually prevents them from throwing a proper one. That was a very good ultimate from Breach. Was able to hold them off. 7 4. This is where they have to mount a bit of a comeback here. And it's the last round of the half, and they might be the one 7 5 or 8 4 actually. They usually tend to be the other side of that result. But this time they're on the back foot, and let's see how they react. Ults though available out. for both Brimstone as well as Rays. Ult economy on this play. Now though, how do how does Untamable Beasts want to fight this out? Seems like they want to split and then recollect with each other. Now they're going from top side to probably gonna be entering from Dish. This might be unexpected on the on Shadow Garden's end for the last round. Will humble God see it? We'll see the fade. I'm not so sure. This is going to be really, really awkward. They're still holding it. Nothing's happening. And they're just... <laughs> they're oh, just there. The angle. Humble you God should decides run. to back out though. Attacker Killjoy ult is dropped down. This, this bait everyone to rotating. This is the standard. I think they've done this before. It That's is up. the Killjoy bait. He jumps in. He finds Miojo, but he's not able to kill him. Miojo's going to be surrounded. He's able to trade one for one, which is really good. Arctic gets it. And now that's going to be favored for Shadow Garden. One or V2. Arctic gets another. He gets three kills. Killjoy is left. Will they be able to find it? Deku Bay is roaming, though. They Hold do, on. Do they know where Deku Bay is? Arctic now with a 3k. Will he go for four? That is... Oh wait, this does not look good. He's gonna go to the side, hold on. Ten seconds he's left. right there, he gets one. He's gonna turn around, but he's right behind him. And he gets the 8-4 to the next round, to the next half. And it looks like Shadow Garden are the Switching ones sides. putting their foot on the gas. And Antemo Beast have to be the one to come back in this game three. Shadow Garden are making a statement here. Fracture is our domain. That was so, so clutch. With the Killjoy ult, I don't think it was very convincing enough, but the initial entry was already shut down by combination of two defenders holding their spot, holding um, Yojo and I think it was um, Arctic, able to get the kills initially, which was so important. Now they swap though. Maybe we can see that uh, Untable Beast might be better at defense. We'll see how that goes. Humble God seems to plan on aggressing here. Doesn't find anything. Shadow Garden being really patient, letting the yeah. utility be thrown out by Untamable Beast. Humble God really far forward. Will he get the orb and inform Shadow Garden of his location? Patience. They're waiting. And I think they're not panicking here. They're just relaxing. Humble God's really pushing early into Hall. Not able to find much. But I think they're still waiting to see if they're at the top or bot side. But nothing happens just yet. They're waiting. Tekabe is waiting at tower. This is when contact's gonna be made. But they don't do they know that he's right over there. Humble God, she's not able to get a kill. Jump in Arctic, get a kill each. And now it's a 3v5. But the shockwave comes too. It's now a 2v5. But multiple members on the side of of uh, Shadow Garden is our low. They they could get killed by a single bullet. Maki is right there. Could be a sharp shooter. He gets one. Can he get another? He doesn't because Zeus returns the kill. It's a one v four. They're gonna shut down any sort of comeback for round one. Takabe has a knife up and he doesn't die to HKS. Eighty seven HP. He gets the ghost. He's now gonna wait. They know where he is. Turn it down. Do they shoot it? No, they don't. The 
The shockwave is gonna come through. He's shocked down, but he actually gets a kill with the turret. 27 HP. But he has to be he has to be ready. 27. He doesn't get it, and it's now 9-4. They have to be careful because now it could be easily a 10-4 for Shadow Garden. So many clutch scenarios you're being won out by Yazeos. Takibe though with that turret kill almost getting them the round. Now I believe we can expect 10-4 here, but does Untamable Beasts have anything to say about it? It's they're gonna go towards arcade here as a uh, as a method of entry, and this is definitely different. With confidence on their side, with a cushion, they can be really really aggressive. And they keep going through. Arctic gets shockwaved, however, and they might be able to find them in tower. Takabe doesn't be able to kill anyone just yet. Arctic gets the first kill to Takabe. He can't, but Riz kills two with the stinger, but it's straight in. 3 v 3 Dinkle is right in and there, but dies. It's one. Humble God, can you do it? He gets two with the sheriff. He gets three. It's nine to five. They get it in round two. Humble God comes in out of nowhere and gets an instant triple kill. For the side of Untamable Beast, beautiful plan there from Shadow Garden. However, ah, uh, Tameable Beast right there. just bang, go bang, forward. Bang. He gets three kills. Now, this is very bad for Shadow Garden because they lose a lot of momentum in terms of economy as well. You look at their guns and they it's look so chaos. down. We talked about the standout players so far from Untamable Beasts being Unlimited Riz and the Humble God, and they showed up that round. Now, though, new round. Can they get it? They have the guns, though. I'm very confident the Untamable Beast to get this. The orb is going to go towards Humble God. Unlimited Riz already gets a kill to Yazeos with the Vandal. And now they're scattered around. They're all around looking for picks. Maybe 1v1 scenarios. The spike is going to be with Killjoy. And Arctic looking for a kill with the Sheriff. But it's going to be difficult. Because they're fighting against vandals and rifles. Nekbe gets one. Jumpy gets spotted by the turret. And they won't be able to push anymore into arcade because Nekbe is holding it so well and it's not dead just yet. 84 HP. They're moving onto the other side to the bridge. But nothing Caution is happening here. just yet. They're holding on. Now, can they get a push here? Aggressive. Nekbe go gets the kill. Dies to the Arctic. Nade though, that's Unlimited Riz gets another one onto Miojo. That's a now, potential Vandal. Yeah, it's a 2v4, but Jumpy now has a Vandal. But you have to understand there's still an advantage for Antemo Beast on the defense. Last and he gets killed immediately by Unlimited Riz. Left. But the plant is coming through, but he gets killed. Oh, he doesn't get killed by Hobogun just yet, but he gets him with the Spectre, Run and Gun, and that's gonna be a 9 5. They are gonna be choosing their. They're now gonna be able to come back. 9 to 6, 3 round deficit. We talked about the sudden roll switch here for Unlimited Drift. However, it seems his statement is, I don't care what my role is, my aim is crisp, my aim is right. And it finds true. And it's 9-6. If you are in Shadow Garden, you have to keep building your lead. You can't let them come back. Now it's a rifle, rif uh, rifle versus rifle. And this might be deciding round, actually, because it's going to show who on equal footing is going to win. Is it going to be Shadow Garden or Table Beasts? And that's the question that's going to be answered in this round. 9-6 is the score now. Who gets the round for this one? Do they go 10-6 or do they go 9-7? They're both in bridge and spawn, respectively, looking towards A. And they're, they're going to see how they're going to pull the trigger. And they're still waiting in the smoke. The boombox cuts out. It is activated. Humble God shooting into the smoke, but not able to find anyone. Nothing happens just yet. They're relaxing. They're two members at the side of B, but nothing has happened just yet. They prompt them to rotate. Humble God shoots the, na the nano swarm. He immediately gets HPS. He could definitely get these AOs, but he's so low with 10 HP. He's so close to death, but he's still able to be alive. He potentially could get the old orb for the rocket launcher. Unlimited Riz pushing alongside Humble God. And they're gonna push forward. These AOs gets another kill to Itekebe. It's a 4v4, and I think their decision is to go towards B. Face your fear! Fatal coming out through spawn to detect whoever is in there. Now the 4v4, can they get a retake? Can they get back in time? Myojo though holding this angle. Can he get one? Maki tagged by the Fade ult. Do they know? 
Arctic keeping watch in case of any funny business. Humble got really low here. But the flash goes through. Yojo gets a kill. But it's a trade for one for one. It's still a 3v3. They're gonna push into tower. And Jumpy's right there. But Humble back. Can he get him? No, he can't. Jumpy gets a kill. 3v2. And Jumpy gets another. And Yazeos gets it to the ult. It's now 10-6. They're close. Two rounds away for that win. For the match point. 10-6. Really close fight there by Untamable Beasts. However, Shadow Garden just had so much more utility set up for that hold. For Untamable Beasts, this is an unfamiliar position. To come back from such a deficit, do they have it in them to potentially overcome a four-round deficit? That's what has to be answered here. Because if they continue to win, the economy is gonna keep snowballing and they'll be able to keep surviving, keep getting the rifles, keep going. And we're gonna see how they're gonna attack here and they choose B on both sides. Carefully, carefully deciding how they want to go. HKS though, getting the orb one point away. I believe they want to get both orbs for HKS to unlock that Killjoy ult. It seems to be the play. And they're gonna be able to get the ult. HKS is gonna be able to get the Killjoy ult. Gonna put it below B. I think this is so, so important here to allow them to be able to secure the site. And they're gonna pull the trigger in run. 3, 2, 1. And it goes and now gonna keep going. Unlimited risk. He hasn't doesn't found anyone. The grenade hurts him, but doesn't stop him. Are they gonna be able to enter? The Molly might stop them from advancing, actually. The members from Arcade can keep going. And Arctic goes through and they keep going. And they do the similar play, and now this can be a 4v5 retake with two members from Shadow Garden really, really low. They're pushing. Humble God gets another kill. Arctic trades it back to Humble God. It's a 3v4. Can they do it? Unlimited one miss. But there's only one member left. Maki can't do it. Jumpy gets the final kill on to Maki. 11 6. Really close fight between these two teams. Untamable Beast almost getting that reclaim back. However, Arctic, we have to talk about Arctic. He gets one kill here, he gets another before ultimately falling to unlimited res. And now, 11 6 facing match point. Does Untamable it Beast looks, have anything to say about it? It looks like we talked about how Fracture, as the deciding map, might rely on map knowledge, experience, comfort. And while I said Untamable Beast might be the experienced ones, maybe I was wrong. And Shadow Garden has poise, and Arctic gets a match. This is the first skill, a good first step to. 12-6, but we're gonna see if that's gonna be the case. And the bit is gonna rotate, gonna use a knife to the press. HPS gets another kill. They're gonna move on forward. They're gonna roll in. And Riz only has a ghost to his name. Maki in the smoke. Yaseos planting. He's right there. Maki is gonna be so cold. And he gets him. It's a 3 v 3 The ult comes out. He gets the vandal. He's gonna go shoot. And he's gonna be able to find it. This might be a win, actually, for the side of the team piece. The defender Killjoy comes out. And they're both at Hall. How are they oh, able to yeah. take this back? I'm HKS not. It just fighting. happened. Oh, oh Breach ult committed to stop the defuse there. Killjoy stops. Unlimited Riz gets one. HKS. HKS. However, the defuse is going through. Really stick through. It. But the defuse is going! Ah! The Rifty rounds there for Untamable Beast. However, HKS does eventually finish them off with a 4K. Right to death. That's a win. Rounds, That's a win. That's a win. Now, Antemo Beasts, with that win, might be able to give them the energy to come back for their later rounds. 11 to 7. They find themselves in the challenger position to get it to overtime. And it's so close. Do they we have the guns for it? And learn. Can we see? Do they have the guns to reclaim one more round, slowly inching back to get an 11-11? Let's see how Shadow Garden are going to attack. They look like they're going to go to A towards the time. Unlimited Riz is going to push forward. He gets one. Can he get another? He's running back, reloading. But he gets gunned down by Arctic. Pushing him, pushing the tempo. It's a 4v4. And they might continue pushing into B. Oh, it seems like they might go for another similar play as earlier. Two Jump. ult orbs to claim for the Killjoy ult here. Humble God goes down. 3v4. Both Riz and Humble God are down. So we're relying on the other members, Dinkle, Tekebe, and Maki, to be able to secure this win. 
And they're waiting. One minute left. They want to be able to secure 12, 7. And you still have one member on the side of A, which could be very important. The Killjoy, Tekebe, could absolutely ruin the chances for a 12, 7. But we have to wait and see. Bulldog, though, for Tekebe. Is this Bulldog enough to dissuade Shadow Garden from pushing any further? That's All of his setup, set up. They're now gonna pull left. the trigger. They're about to enter. The flash goes through. You have to stop and play. The attacker Killjoy comes out. And they're gonna be able to tickle trade skills. Two for it's a two versus three. And the Killjoy might be able to detain someone, but Baki has to wait outside at the wings. Not able to do anything. Tekabe is gonna have to get detained here. Now Baki's gonna be able to run in. This could be Ten it. Seconds. They have to plant it. Then Maki goes down. They go for 12-7. Jumpy with a 4K to secure the match point round for the side of Shadow Garden. Unfortunately, he's there for Takibe. He just had no avenue to exit that Killjoy ult range. Maki, a valiant attempt. However, Jumpy just has the aim. Okay. Arctic. Ooh, look at good. the buy. Look at the gun, it's so unfortunate here for Untamable Beast. That was a must-win round for them. Now they need to pull another Thrifty in to Haunting possibly stay But they look like they have a plan here, they're rushing in. Humble God has the rocket launcher but gets the nine. They get two, they get three! Arctic gets them! This might spell their end. They're gonna plant towards me, the rocket launcher goes out. But we have to relax. Two members from Untamable Beast are still alive. Can they make Spike magic planted. happen? Can they make anything happen here? It's found by HKS. HKS, HKS that gets the alone. kill. Does he rush it? They're feeling it. They're gonna go forward. I think they might try to hunt him down. Kibe. He gets him! Gets and we have a new champion for I Academy Game Zone. Untamed Beasts have been tamed by Shadow Garden. These young kids are for blood! <laughs> Excitement surging out of Shadow Garden. They finally got the championship that they were looking for. Semi-final exit from the previous tournament. Woo. Now, two champions. Shadow Garden, take your bow. And a table beast have been tamed. And it's over. And that was it. A good series for both teams. Congratulations to Shadow Garden. And a good showing from a table beast. They have to go for a final exit.